Hello, guys and gals, and welcome! Uh, so we just finished our Saturday horror game, and now we're going to hop into some Diablo. So I was lucky enough to find myself yesterday a grandfather sword. That's right, a grandfather sword. That's not a grandfather sword, that's a Pocky. But, yes. And I also found a shako. A shakalaka ding dong. Shaka licka picka licka 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 ding dong. Shaka licka picka licka 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 ding dong. Shaka licka 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 ding dong. Shaka licka licka licka. Shaka licka 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 licka. That's right. Shaka shaka licka 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 licka. Y'all can be jealous. Y'all can be jealous. You can be. You can be jealous of my grandfather. And you are also allowed to be jealous of my of my shake a a luke a a ding dong. That's right. <laughs> Let's hop into chat with everybody else so I can brag about my grandfather. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Hey yo. What's hey, up, Xylor? What's up, Leon? What's up, Lulu? What's up, Dev? Somebody's in a good Hello. mood. Yeah. Well, yeah. after Why complaining for me after getting my own personal grandfather sword. <laughs> grandpapa. I got the grandpa. Grand, I got the grandpapa. He oh, got the grandpapa God. and the shako. Same night, dude. He was blessed. Leon, Leon, my blessed. kick hits for 10 mil now. That exploding kick, it hits for 10 mil. <laughs> that's that's, that's pretty juicy. Pretty juicy. That's not 10 mil single target. That's 10 mil everything within radius of the kick. It's freaking insane. It's literally just kick and everything dies. Doom. So it was you who came over my house and kicked my dog, huh? I kick your dog? I do not kick <laughs> dogs. I hit them with a shoe. It is much more effective. All right, where's ground stop? Yeah, basically what happened was is yesterday I was streaming and a uh, guy named Crisp Apples. <laughs> he was like, I got like a hundred runs. You want to come run with us? There's a lot of runs. Uh, he, we didn't even do a hundred. Apparently we did like 60 out of the hundred. He still has like 40 more runs. Bring him back tonight. Bring him back. More grand pop us. Go. <laughs> We're all getting papas. <laughs> We're all getting a grip. Uh, we actually had a um. One of them got a melted heart of Sayleg. Another one got the Esh, the the Eshevaron spear or whatever the staff. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, the the guy who had the melted heart of Sayleg wasn't very enthused. I'm like that thing's really good. Yeah, I like it on my basic bird. It's really strong. Like defensively, it's yeah. really strong. Well, not only that, but it gives you a thirty thirty Interact extra range. resource, which is freaking insane. You got to be bre breaching like 300 resource on a, ca a character with that amulet. Yes. Yes. I mean, easy. Easy breaching 300 defense. I mean, uh, a, a 300 fury. Yeah, I was at 267 with Shaco, so if Tuskhelm was on, it'd be closer to 300. Because Tuskhelm has like another 20, right? Yeah. And then you pop the resource elixir, then you're at like almost 350. So that's insane. With Ram with Ramaladnies. So so now that I have a grandfather, <laughs> I was actually thinking, um, because I I tested it out very briefly yesterday. Just I didn't I didn't change everything. I only changed a couple points here or there, but I swapped out for gushing wounds, and then I went with uh, Flay, and then I grabbed the three points and cut to the bone. But I was actually using Ramalani's, so still a very similar setup to what I'm doing with the Frenzy Bar. But I was running Flay instead. And boy, I was hitting a million bleeds. One million yeah, damage. Flay is insane. One million damage bleeds. And, and, and that was without like yeah. actually fully building into it. Yeah, so I didn't crazy. So I didn't have um I didn't have the what is it, the berserk ripping. I didn't have um Obviously, if I was going to run that, I would definitely get the stomp. So, you know, the stomp that you could solidify the bleeds, that would be really effective. Um, I, I, I think Flay would actually be better for single target than any other one. Like, Flay has got to be insane. Dude, the bleeds that I could build up to was insane. 
I don't, I don't doing... even I don't even know. I feel like I feel like we need to theory craft a flay build with this grandfather sword. And with your Shaco, I mean this is awesome. So much damage. I mean I'd, I I it's this is the point I wish I'd I wish I had loadouts. So I could yeah. just so I could just load out my character. Well, do you use uh what, what do you call T bolts? Um I don't. I have a Tibolts, but I'm not using it right now. But I could. I could definitely. I could definitely swap that in. Basically, for people who actually spend resource, uh, you're not supposed to level Metamorphosis. So a lot of us have to re-level all of our characters. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, I, I. That that's unfortunate, right? Like I. I definitely have Metamorphosis at three with my uh, ball lightning. It's unfortunate, but. Oh, you, you're supposed to have it at a lower level yeah. one. Because it helps with the proc or whatever. Because it's every time you gain unstoppable, you gain fifty resource. So yeah. you want to you want to gain it and lose it as fast as possible. Oh. So you keep you keep that fifty resource coming in as frequent as possible. Hmm. I bet. Huh. How well, uh, this is going to let's theory let's... craft up a a character real quick. Why not? Let's do it. A world boss scene, but yeah, I'm down. I'm not... well, I'm up When's there. world boss? Eight I'm minutes, seven minutes. Up, oh, minutes. Top of the hour. Up, uh, let's theory craft it. And then we got. All right. So, if we were going to run a bleed barbarian, I mean, first off, we'd probably grab. Um, what is that one, that new vampiric power that's specifically for bleeds? It's, uh, what is it, flowing, flowing something, flowing veins? Yeah, 60 times, 60 increased damage over time to enemies that are moving or affected by vampiric curses. So that's, that's a pretty impressive one. Um, still go with Moonrise, of course, because we're still a basic barbarian. Yeah. Absolutely. So we're not gonna we're not gonna take Moonrise out of the equation, and then we're probably also gonna still use Ravenous because we want to still attack faster. The faster we can attack, the better. More bleeds we can stack. Yeah. More bleeds, yep. Yeah. Um, the fifth, sixteen times multiplier for vulnerable also sounds good. Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19. I think I, I think that's I only have one point left, so I just go with Undying at that point. Um. Which is the heal. I mean, that's the easiest way to get spam heals on this character. That brings me to 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. What's the maximum number of points that you can have on the vampiric powers? It's 3... 20. 20. 20? Yep. Yeah, okay. So so that's that's fine. I mean, that'll work. Um, and then obviously for the sword, we're using the grandfather, <laughs> the grandpapa, the grandpapa. You're going to go gushing runes, right? That's your plan. Um, yeah, well, specifically because of the, the crit, yeah. Yeah. but I was also thinking that with gushing wounds, there's also an overpower mechanic. I thought maybe you could, yes. you could overpower build. Because yeah, it has the it up. has overpowering a bleeding enemy creates an explosion that inflicts twenty one thousand four hundred twenty four bleeding damage. I'm not entirely sure if this is necessary, but there's definitely a couple ways you could add like an a, a like a overpower in or something. I don't know. Well, one is a bone breaker paragon board. That's every twelve seconds you're guaranteed one. Yeah, I mean, uh, and one... that would be in a, that would be a guaranteed like AOE bleed every. You know what 12 seconds right so every 12 seconds then there's a glyph that gives you every 30 seconds and i'm not sure how these interact and then there's also a vampire card every 20 seconds so if you ran all of them you'd have tons of explosions going off all the time yeah and then there's the weapon swap aspect if you want to fit that in somehow into your build weapon swapping because then it's like every eight times you, you do an overpower and does 50 percent more damage as well or 100 if it's on the two-hander hmm. Okay. So there, there's definitely ways to fit it yeah, in. Yeah, there's a lot of ways. Uh, we're definitely still going to use Ramalodnies because you can scale the damage based off for Ramalodnies, so that's a, that's a no-brainer too. Yeah. Um, that's an easy choice. 
So, but then we're left with one two-handed aspect. So, what do we put on the two-handed? Do we put Edge Masters? Probably Edge Masters, just for the best scaling. Because I feel like Edge Masters is probably one of the best ones, anyway. I mean, it's a times forty multiplier on a two-hander. It's either that, or you stack as much attack speed as you want. Well, the only the only other one I was thinking besides um, Edge Masters is. Uh, is Bonebreaker? Uh, um, I don't think Bonebreaker is a. Um... Bonebreaker is a paragon board. No, well, I'm not thinking of. I'm thinking of the one that. Uh, yeah, okay, so Skullbreaker's aspect. Skullbreaker. Stunning a bleeding enemy deals 40%, so it would be 80% of the total amount to That's the That's pretty fun. So, yeah, that's really so the nice. reason why I'm thinking about this one in the two handed slot is because if I'm ticking a million a hit. Right, if I'm ticking a million and I hit that, that's eighty percent of a million. That's an eight hundred thousand damage physical to hit right there. So I can I can literally just spam. I would want to spam ground stomp basically. That would be the goal. So, uh, yeah, you could spam ground stomp. You could also find other ways to stun. Yeah, and there's you... there's other ways, but basically just I I was thinking maybe that might be better than edge masters and the two hander, but I don't know. It really depends on how high my bleeds are going. For for bossing, no, obviously, because you're not stunning bosses. For doing dungeons, yes, I would say it's better. It just really depends if you're going for boss, like, max damage or dungeon. I don't feel like this guy's going to have trouble with bosses. No, no, it's just, like, how much... You, which part do you want to max out is basically what it comes out. But does this still work on bosses, though, anyway, when they go into... Um, Stagger, probably. Stagger? Probably. But I would only imagine that happened. Well, this would time. this would be something that you could obviously swap. So if you wanted skull breakers on, put it on like a ring slot or something, or you can swap the edge masters to the two handed. That could totally be a thing. I mean, it's it's just it's whatever you really want to focus on. And I I, I definitely get what you're saying because like dungeon farming, general use, that AOE is probably going to be better, or that that's probably going to be way better general use than having edge masters there but for like single targets fighting lilith or something like that bosses you definitely swap it for edge masters put something else in that spot another option and this is just a, something i was thinking is berserk ripping so berserk ripping could help scale the bleed damage even higher so it when, could. whenever you deal direct damage and flick 30 percent, so it would be 60 percent of the base damage as additional bleeding so it would just scale. It would just help scale the bleed damage just to the moon. I mean, you got to think that if I'm critting, my crits are double, right? So the berserk ripping bleed is gonna get doubled as well. But I don't know if the berserk ripping bleed stacks. That may be that may be an issue. We know that the flay bleed does. But we don't know. I don't know if the I don't know if the berserk ripping one does. What's up, High Life? What's up, Keith? What's up, Jin? What's up, Berserk Likes? What's up, Jesvin? Hey, Last Bulbasaur. Hex Helion. Yeah, it's interesting if it just stacks into the same bleed as Flay, or is it a separate bleed? Well, I think It'd be nice if it's stacked. I think all the bleeds are technically separate, but I have noticed that when you stack multiple bleeds on a target, they kind of just tick together. Like they don't they don't tick individually. Like when you have like same thing with my fire. I noticed that my fire burn damage when I have multiple burns on a target, they just all they just all start ticking together as one giant tick. So it's hard to tell It's hard to tell what each individual tick is doing. I mean, the Flay Bleed is really the big damage here, though, because it stacks. And then we know for a fact that it does stack, which means that another option, besides, of course, the ones that we're talking about, is perhaps just go with the Rapid Aspect, just to speed things up even faster. I mean, it could be something that we could test to see if it actually adds any additional damage to the build. But attacking faster with Flay could potentially build the bleeds faster, which that, that comes down to the question. Did you uh, did you determine last time whether or not there was a cap on the attack speed? 
I remember you were testing it the other day. My sheet damage goes above 100, so I have no clue if that's just a lying sheet thing. Well, I mean, did you see increased damage numbers for adding in more attack speed? Yeah, so with Flay, the faster I attacked, the more bleeding I got. I was able to get up to 2 million just going fast, but I'd have to do more testing, obviously. 2 I don't million know if and can't. you don't even have a grandfather? Correct. And so I don't I'd be looking at 4 million. <laughs> I was just like max. Dang. Because my base damage is really high. And so will yours now that you have shake on everything. Does everyone have the three plus? I think it's eight o'clock for the three plus. Oh. I do not know if Divron is with us. It's uh, I am plus. not in a position to do three pulls on my own. So. Oh, okay. But if you guys do that, then that's fine. I'm just going to continue running nightmares to level these glyphs. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll rejoin you. How about that? Yeah. And they will pull in. Uh... I, I, I I forgot who the fourth person was. Ah, Half blood. Hmm. All right. I'm going for it. I didn't realize I had this. I want to try it. Who's saying no? I don't. No one said no. No one said no. It wasn't so, me. I don't think the overpower actually affects the bleed damage from from gushing wounds, right? It just I win, think it just it's just explosion. It's just right? when you overpower. So there's no reason to stack overpowered damage with this. Right. It would be just something that I would I would that just stack. Is. I would just get some free overpowers to make sure the explosions are happening, and then not worry about the overpower percentage. I think that's probably the best way to go with that. Um, ba 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 ba. Okay. I'm gonna join. All right, so I got wrap. Oh, sorry, Lily. No, that's okay. So I got Skullbreakers aspect of Berserk ripping, and then the rapid aspect. And then I still have one, two, three more offensive slots, and I, I don't know exactly what to put on the amulet. Not entirely sure. Um, I feel like Melted Heart of Saleg would be the best option for the amulet well, slot, but where'd you put Edge Masters? Um, because like, you're debating between the two, so you just go one Edge Masters, one Two Ender, Skullbreakers or Edge. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, let's throw Edge Masters on the amulet. 30%. I feel like the speed is going to take over with the flay because the flay has a, an exact time duration. Um, what is it? It's a five second bleed. So you've got to hit as many times as you possibly can within the five seconds to stack as much bleeding damage as you possibly can. I feel like that's the goal there. I mean, it could it could switch. I mean, if I feel like I'm not really going that much faster with the rapid aspect on the the two-hander, then I might swap it back to the amulet or something, or maybe even take it off and put it on ring or the gloves or something. It doesn't. It doesn't necessarily need to be uh, on the two-hander. I feel like there's a lot of fluidness with this, where it could be the berserk ripping that you put there, it could be skull breakers that you put there, it could be edge masters. It's like a it's like a flippy flop back and forth. Ah. I mean, and I still have two more offensive aspects. Like, if with Edge Master, Skullbreakers, Aspect of Berserk Ripping, and the Rapid Aspect, and the Grandfather and Ramalodnes, I'm still sitting at two more offensive aspects. Well, what other things are you putting on your bar? Because if you're talking about ring slots, you can do a lot of unique stuff with the ring slots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Let's take... um. Let's take Skullbreakers off one of the ring slots. And uh, let's put that on the... the sword. And then what do we have for rings? We've got... X-Falls. Probably would be a really good choice for this build since it's a damage over time build. Yep. So that's... I think that's a really good one. Need a res there, Leo. Thank you. 
Gonna... Yeah, yeah. X Falls. X Falls would be amazing with this build. I mean, since I'm gonna be using Ground Stomp. You know, you know what? It might be better instead of going with Ground Stomp, even though Ground Stomp is AoE and it's automatic. Maybe it would be better just to go with those. Um, uh, what's it? The Audacity aspect for the boots. When there are at least five enemies close, it stunned them for two to four seconds. Uh, but that can only happen once every 20 seconds, though. Hmm. Well, we got the aspect of anemia. I could run that instead. Well, are you doing like leap in there? Are you doing uh, kick? Or like, what what else are you putting into the bar? Because well, that will help you decide on the aspects. Uh, I mean, I'm probably gonna grab rupture. I figure with the new aspect, the one that doesn't pull the bleed off, it'll be worth using at least. Okay. Are you doing the earthquakes again, or you're out of the earthquakes? Well, I mean, it just depends on whether I'm doing ground stomp or not, I guess, right? Like, how am I getting my stuns? I guess that's the question. Let's go ahead and start putting it together real quick. And let's Will see. Will accept? Isn't there one for um, when there's bleeding on me, you have a chance to stun them as well? I forget what it's called. All right. Sorry. So I'll just... Yeah, aspect of anemia. That's the one that I was talking about. It gives you a... Um, uh, go back over to gear and skills. Yeah, anemia. It's lucky hit. Direct damage against bleeding enemies has up to a 20 to 30% chance to stun them for two seconds. I mean, it's kind of like a, a catch-22, right? So are you? do you want to do the damage to one monster? Or do you want to... I could do the damage to multiple monsters. I mean, how many monsters are bleeding at any given time? And it's kind of... It's an interesting one. Oh, Aspect of Anemia can go on boots, too? I didn't even know that. Well, Half-Blood's in here. Well, that's, well that's a no-brainer, then. If that goes on boots, that could just be our boot aspect. The boot aspect is one of the easiest ones to run. And then... Um, honestly, to bolts is kind of like a no-brainer because of the 20 maximum resource. The scaling on that is insane. And then the 40 times multiplier is also insane. So between those two, it's kind of hard to pass that up. I mean, if we need some damage reduction, we could go with the iron blood aspect. That wouldn't be terrible. I mean, we got a freaking Chaco. I don't know if it's necessarily the best for this build, but... I almost feel like Tusk Elm Jorth Mighty is probably better. You're going to be stacking Vulnerable, Crit, and Berserking all on your items. It's kind of crazy. And Max Fury, too. Vulnerable crit, berserking, or all multipliers, and max fury is a multiplier. Do you think maybe Fist of Fate might be the go play for this? Just because I'm attacking so fast, just to get like all the extra damage out of it? I, uh, I don't know. I think you want to hand pick gloves with another aspect. You could try it. I want to say not to try it, but. It's on, it's on the table. Hmm. 
But the attack speed, the crit you can get from hand picked gloves is very nice. Oh, well, actually, no, I need the... Uh, if I'm going to run Rupture, I have to use the Rupture aspect. So, your Rupture does not remove the bleeding damage from enemies. Yep. I mean, that's that's generally the consensus is that Rupture sucks because it removes the bleed damage. So, being able to not remove the bleed damage is probably the coolest part of that. So, I mean, I guess in this case... Man, I'm kind of confused. In this case, do we go with damage over time jewels, or do we go with topazes? I think topazes are still scaling your damage over time. Because I think it's scaling your base damage, and the bleed's based off the base. Uh-huh. So I think the basic topazes are still better. Okay... RN Jesus has blessed me. That's right, RN Jesus. What's up, Pepe? The much deferred luck. The crying, the crying ginger. So blood, um, Lenark, um, need car, I need the uh, eggs. So if you want to trade him the eggs, he has extra chards. Well, let's move. Just, just do the three, three, three. Then I don't want to get it confusing here. Yeah, that's I I know, but he he is missing one chart, and he has extra eggs. So trade him the eggs. You need eggs, right? You sure. have extra chards. Yeah, I can give him a chart. Yeah, sure. give him give, yeah, him, a give him a chart. Yeah, give him a chart. Give you eggs. <coughs> Sorry, uh, I'll do. I can do the yeah. first three. Oh, just let yeah. him let them trade first. Let them trade first. Give them time. So when you go with the first three, we don't have to stop. We do that like last time. We do the three, we go vendor three, vendor three, vendor, and we get it done. Yep, that's what we're doing. Trying to All right, out. let me know when you guys are ready. Looks like you're trading. All right. Yeah. We're good. Thank you. Yep. Man, I got to spend so many points. I guess I'm going with Stomp no matter what, just so I have it. I mean, I, honestly, the AoE stun I think is nice. And if I'm using the stun the way I'm thinking of using the stun, it's going to be nice to have that. I'm definitely grabbing hamstring, uh, three points and cut to the bone. That's a no brainer. Pit fighter. No mercy. I mean, those are both no brainers. Man, Slaying Strike. Slaying Strike looks pretty good for this build. Just to, like, really hammer it home. But I don't know. Let's go with Rupture. We can go with the attack speed on Rupture. Well, that was quick. Yep. And then we're definitely we have doing Mr. Gushing. Cyborg with us here. Does pickup come to town so we can reset fast? Perfect. I'm thinking I probably still go with Wrath of the Berserker for this. I I don't have any way to spend the Fury though. That's how you get all the really good multipliers. Kick again, <laughs> if you wanted to. Oh uh, what? You can do kick again. Just kick it. Kick with the Fury Spender. That's what I use on my basic to spend the Fury. One kick just spends all my Fury and I get all the full bonus in one kick. Instant, instant full bonus. Alright, let's start to figure out what the skills would look like. So first off, Flay. Oh, shit. Probably ground... Uh, probably Rupture in the, in the right-hand slot. Then ground stomp would be on the number one. Wrath of the Berserker would be number four. I mean, with a Shaco, we basically have access to every single skill without putting points into it. So, I mean, we could go with shouts. We could go with whatever. 
One of the things that I noticed about the bolts is having multiple unstoppables is not necessarily a bad thing. Because you get the multiplier from the bolts for every unstoppable that you are capable of delivering. Wrath of the Berserker gives you one, which is nice, and you get that multiplier while your Wrath of the Berserker is up. But if you have a second unstoppable, like for instance, um, the Shout, uh, which one is the one that makes you unstoppable? It's uh, Rallying Cry. So if you grab Rallying Cry and you get a second unstoppable in the mix, then you can maintain almost permanent uptime of the uh, of oh. the unstoppables. I went back in by mistake. Sorry. Which is pretty broken. Um, Rally Ready Cry is start? interesting because it has the it's unstoppable as long as it's active, and you can obviously increase the duration of it as well. Might be the first time you see me go with shouts. Can I do it all out? So scaling rallying cry only increases the resource generation, so that's not really all that important. That's the crit. That is insane. Okay, so vendor break, and then yep. Blood, you can go second, I will go third, and then Lenark will go last. Okay. Last but not least. Might as well use Warcry in here, too. We got Tempest Roar. Good. All right, let's see what we got. Got a task. Uh, let's see what's my current one. 60. What's your fury? And uh, 13. Eh, even better. Brawling. Oh, nice. Warcry counts as a brawling skill. Good. Mm -hmm. Free berserking. Not bad. Not bad. I would like not to get hectic bad. in here so that I can reset all my cooldowns faster. Hectic is really nice. Three. Hmm. I guess I could give up Prey on the Weak. That is a 16 times multiplier there. Uh, Being able to spam all my abilities helps out would help out damage a ton. I don't think the 16 times multiplier is going to make up for the fact that I'm losing the permanent uptime onto bolts, because that's basically what I'm looking at. Is Wrath of the Berserker and Rally and Cry will have like permanent uptime on Unstoppable, which means to the to bolt multiplier will always be up. Oh, another two bolts. Almost perfect. Let's see what's my... Hmm. I'm almost ready. I 
And I still got four more points to spend. What am I spend it on? X pause. So perfect X pause. I'll keep it around. I'm not really sure what to put it in. Um, that one doesn't work for this build. We're using. Hello. Ah, yes, we need the maximum fury. That's right. I almost forgot about that one. That scales the damage even higher. What does heavy handed do? Is that uh, the crit one? I forget. Heavy handed? Yeah. Heavy handed is the crit one, yes. More crit multiplier. What, what an end? What are you doing in there? Man, I still got two Ooh, points it's left. Missing. You're not you. You ready? Did you set the reset? Because I was said he wasn't ready, so I didn't know if you set it. Oh, I was ready. You, I'm no, coming. you you did reset it. We are inside. Yeah. But then Zyler said, "I'm not ready." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I'm no, good. He's... I'm good now. Do points in, in rally cry reduce the and then he gets ready. Reduce the uh, cooldown. No. 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 Just increases the resource regeneration, which doesn't really mean anything to this character. Here we go. Yep. Still got two points. I kind of still want permanent uptime on Berserk, so Warcry gives four seconds of Berserking, and with the passive Battle Fervor, brings that up to five every single time you use it. I mean, that's one way. I could just drop the other two points in there so it goes up to, yeah, like six seconds or seven. I don't know, it's like four, five, six, seven. So seven seconds per war cry. I'm not sure if I have any other way that I'm getting berserking there. Well, let's use kick so that we can spend the points into Wrath of the Berserker. I feel like that's the best way. That way we have a second a second brawling skill that can trigger the the do janks that we need. I don't really need this. And then we run uh, three in there. That means permanent uptime for berserking, which is what we want. But we still have one point left. One into movement speed. More movement speed equals a faster 
barbarian for attacks as well, right? And ravenous. Yeah, with Still ravenous. On. Dead. What is he going down for? Just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Here you go, guys. If you guys want to look at my my work, there. I actually kind of want to see if I can put this guy together and see how he does. Problem is, I ain't got enough space to hold on to every single item in the world. <laughs> that number two? I'm going to have to, like, yes. take yeah, off all his equipment and have, like, a special place put aside for his stuff. Ring of Starless Skies and Tibble's Wheel. That was a nice one. I don't know. Starless Skies, grants. What'd you get? Oh, Shaco too? You guys got both got stuff? What the heck? Who got Wait, what? what? Lily got a Shaco and uh, Half-Blood got a Starless Skies. Nice. And the same run. The same kill. That's very cool. Uh, oh, yeah, very cool. Shaco. <laughs> you got your Shaco, man. Dude, Star uh, Starless Skies is insane. You can build a whole core skill character around that thing. Yeah. Next run, next run. I'm going to. I'm going to use it for my... Um... My uh, boulder druid, hurricane boulder druid. Oh, yeah, that'll work. And you can just spam your freaking boulders. That's the idea. Hell yeah. That'd be insane. I want to I wanna <laughs> see how, uh, I want to see the potential of it. Congrats, Lily. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, one second, guys. I'm, I'm shaking a little bit. It's just me. <laughs> <Relax>. <laughs> <laughs> My heart is beating so fast. <laughs> Because it I've dropped it. two uniques, one one chest as usual, of course. <laughs> I'm like chest speciality, like you know, I have so many soul brand and freaking. I've had uh, two uh, drops so far, and one was. And then it dropped. And then it dropped this one. Uh huh. Hell, uh -huh. and a chest. I'm like, ah, oh, please be it, and it is. And, uh, Good lord, I got like freaking a million tusk helms. I need to compare. It's terrible. Me so what are you gonna do now that you got your shilak a lack a ding dong? I don't know. I have no idea. I was not you're planning any of your shookaluka luka puka luka ding dong. In the trade channel, I was like one billion gold for one living steel. I was like, really? What did he say? In the trade channel, one a person wants one living steel for one billion gold. One million gold? One, one billion. billion. One billion. billion. One is gonna give a gajillion. No, no, he he's gonna give one steel, and you're gonna give one billion gold. One billion gold. Oh my yeah, god! Like go 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 away, please. One billion gold. One billion. Na, 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 na. Nice, Kratz Van Hoot. You're almost level 60. That was the third one, right? Yep. Yeah. You yeah. can tell by your inventory space now. You can tell by the stash is full. The inventory is full? That was three. Would you really find the third line? Nah. Man, this sword's basically perfect. I like this thing. Now I'm not jealous of you anymore. Uh, no, but I'm still no, I'm still jealous. I still have a grandfather. Come on, you can't. Grandpapa. <laughs> look at my look at that sword, uh, Leon. It's freaking insane. It's really it's really well rolled all across the board. I need to re-roll the core to. Um, not sure. I think the best stats Vulm. for your build are Berserking, Volm, Crit, and um, Max Fury, right? 
Yeah, and this is this sword right here is literally everything except for Volm. Oh man, I got like no Forgotten Souls to re-roll with. <laughs> no oh time. man. I'm just gonna have to not re-roll that right this second. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> It's still, I think, even without the reroll, I think it's still technically better than what I have on. Because the basic roll is so much better, and the crit roll is. I think is, you did not reset. Somebody is better. No, oh. I'm still doing my inventory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, for some reason, I thought you were the one who went to into the portal. It was not you. It was somebody else. Another happy customer. If you do, uh, if you do oh, whispers, good, you yeah. actually level up really fast, Van Hoot. It's one of the things I noticed because I focused on doing whispers for like a whole day, and I was like, I was like level ninety six, and I was level ninety eight by the time I finished the whispers that day. I got, I got two levels in like a half, like two and a half levels just doing whispers. It was kind of nuts. God, I do not have the Forgotten Souls to... I, got, I guess I need to go do Helltides. <laughs> I ain't got the Forgotten Souls for nothing. Alright. Basic Barb, you're turning into a new form of Basic Barb. Refund all. Two million cost to refund all and then five million for your paragon board all right all right so max out flay we're definitely going with the the one that gives us the additional bleed damage the 10 times multiplier bleed damage that's insane um we're grabbing rallying cry And I'm grabbing the additional life. One in swiftness. Fortifying. Three in booming voice. We're also grabbing hamstring and cut to the bone. Hey, Leo, you're up. I was going last. Oh, uh, I'm going. Yeah, yeah, it's my turn. Oh, 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 I, I thought Leo was... Tyler, don't ever tell me what to do. I am, I am so sorry, guys. I was daydreaming. What does Ilor do wrong now? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so Everything. originally they uh, said, oh, Leo's going last. So I'm like, hey, Leo. But are we... Uh, wait, are we on the... Silo, uh... just, just stop talking. Just stop. <laughs> this is number seven, Silo. Silo, don't let him talk to you that way. I give you a stick. You can beat him up. <laughs> My girlfriend tells this story. It cracks me up every single time. She said when she was a kid, she went in a, she went and told on the other kids because they were being mean to her, to her dad. And her dad just turns around and hands her a baseball bat and says, we'll go get him. <laughs> and she took the baseball bat and she just started running after him. <laughs> They're screaming. <laughs> Great. I'm a druid. <laughs> That'll teach him. What did I put the extra points into? I don't even remember what the hell I put the extra points into. We got five extra points. No. Please. What am I missing? That's just my uh, voice chat. Kick, I'm missing kick. Okay. Still got two extra points. Three, one, three. I even got three there. I didn't even have three there. I put three in that, yes. 
three and one, three and one, three, three. Got that. Am I just off two points here? How many points is it when you max out your character? Is it 58 or is it 60? 58. 58. Well, then why do I have two extra points? I'm an idiot. I'm a big fat dummy. Yeah, five here, one, one. One, 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 three. I got that. One, 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 three. One there, one, three, three, three. Five points there, one, one. One, three, one, three. Three, three. One, 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 one. Ah. Huh. I don't know. I think I'm insane. Because it looks like I have everything. Max, max, max. Finally, I it. I can't believe I don't have to look for helms anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just auto delete any helm that appears in your inventory. Yep. I mean, unless it's like Tusk Helm and. Oh, yeah, there we go. Unless it's like Tusk Helm of uh, Jorit's the Mighty or something. That's one. Tusk Helm and Godslayer, I think, are the only two helms that even like remotely compete with the Shaco. Without you know, with the exception of like Andoriel's visage. I think Andy's visage is still better Andoriel in certain situations. He just it's on Tempest Roar is an absolute must for certain build like well, a build, I guess, right? Yeah. Just never gonna that beat that for that build. Well, if you if you need it for that build, there's no way around it. You you, right, yeah. you literally have to, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. So now we're I think the damage now we're on the rogue is so. gonna go insane with the Shaco. Oh lord, here we go. Now we gotta refund the whole Paragon board too. Or, you know, or really do we? I don't know. I think we we do have to go grab... Did you get the hemorrhage board? You might have to change a board or two. Um, yeah, we gotta grab the hemorrhage board. I'm still using... I would still use Flawless Technique because it's Critical Strike Chance. Um, I would still use Blood Rage because that's my Scaling Berserking. Um, I probably wouldn't use Carnage, though. Well, I mean, it is attack speed. I don't know. I feel like it's still mostly the same for the Paragon board with some small exceptions. I definitely want the bleed. The bleed board, though. Which is hemorrhage. I'm going to text Ayman in Egypt like I got the Shako. So happy. Need those, huh? Yeah, we definitely need ball uh, hemorrhage in there. <laughs> What's up, Halo? What you want? 
I'm busy trying to redo my whole character. Oh, it was not reset. Yeah, someone did not set. I'm still... Because they weren't ready. Yeah, that's fine. I was too excited to pay attention to what's going on. I was just like, ching, ching. I know. I know. He's like a dog. Just got his bone. Got my bone. When are the first Uber Unique videos drop? I've already done a Shaco video, but I'll be I'll be doing the grandfather one here soon. The grandfather is just insane, man. Insane. Okay, well I guess I kinda have to refund the whole board. How much does it cost to refund the whole board? Five four million one hundred and sixty thousand. That's a lot of refundation there. Almost there. We failed! We failed! No, you can just accept. We can walk and wait for you inside. Okay. You can teleport to us. Alright, All right, I'll do that. So we probably still want the... I probably still want the um, ambidextrous. So we're probably still going to use that. Last time that happened, literally someone started their outside in there. So I told him not to ready up until he was inside. Oh, so he's scarred for life. Yep. My goodness, this is going to be also great on the Corpse explosion necro. Imagine the cooldown reduction. Five extra skills. All right, I am teleporting down on Leon. On me? You know you like me to come down on you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm here. I'm in. All right. Let's just go ahead and make the hemorrhage board our first board. Probably because we're going to want most of the stuff in here anyway. It's got a bunch of physical damage over time. All that's going to come in handy for making the freaking build crazy. So why not? Now we connect all the other boards to this one. Got him. Alright, so now we have our Voln bonus from Hemorrhage, is what we want. So we want to go up through the center here. So we can grab this other physical damage over time. <coughs> and this physical damage over time. That's a lot of damage over physical damage over time. Um, there's a lot of builds that can uh, take advantage of Andariel's Visage. Um, I've got a lucky hit Freaking uh, rogue build that's absolutely crazy. That would totally love to have Andoriel's visage because then I wouldn't have to run poison abutment. But <coughs> that's a whole thing too. You wouldn't have to use poison abutment. Why? Because it gives you the poison that you would otherwise need. Will never be, I think, as much as the poison abutment. You don't need the poison imbuement. You need the monsters to be poisoned. There's several things that just simply require the monsters to be poisoned, and then you get the effect. So if you're going to build shadow imbuement, and if you wanted to scale just shadow imbuement and not use any of the other imbuements, 
you can you can utilize shadow imbuement in a, a myriad of ways as long as the monster is indeed poisoned and having in an, a huge aoe poison effect that just randomly goes off will make that work all right so we need 40 we need 40 strength Something fell on me. 30. 30. Oh, is that not strength? That's willpower. Strength. Strength. There we go. That's 40. Alright, so we can very easily connect to this board right here. And then we can very easily connect to this board right here. That was the last one? That gives us two yeah. easy connection spots. I thought that was the second one. Or is that, yeah, there should be one more. I responded to Lily's customer one more, and then he, just he said, said one more. Yes, I was just confused. All right, the next one you. that we definitely need. Blood moon. Decimator seems really good for this build. With the, each time you make an enemy vulnerable, your damage is increased by 10 times for 5 seconds. Overpowering a vulnerable enemy grants an additional 10 times bonus for 5 seconds. Mm. Alright, but we definitely want the scaling multipliers first. Um... A Warbringer probably needs to be next. That one's going to be crazy. I just need the Fury from it, but the Fury is spread out on both sides of the board, which sucks. And I need the Glyph Socket, so... We need that one, and we need this one over here, too. Which is fine, because we're going to get the glyph socket anyway. Alright, so for this one... Do any of these scale vulnerable? Ah. Any of the glyph scale vuln? Is it exploit scales vuln? Yeah, exploit. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna probably wanna grab exploit, put that in here. And that's dexterity. Okay, so assuming we get that one leveled up, which we're definitely going to. So that's five. It's Fourteen. So that's nineteen. And another set of tibbles. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Okay, okay. Well, at least we've got two renames and starts from this. I would say that's a successful run. You one would have been successful. All right. And they both came off the same run. The same kill, yeah. All right, now we need the Berserking Multiplier. What's up, guys? What's up? Opposite up, down. Okay, dokie. Well, I've got a lot of gear to sort through now. Yeah, I got freaking Shaco and Grandfather, Sean. Crazy. Gross.
Easy game. I guess disembowel will scale bleeding damage. Which certainly wouldn't be terrible. But it's isn't it just an additive enhancement? Yeah. And I don't have any way to multiply that, so... You, I mean, your build has, like, the most multipliers a barb could ever have. Your mo crit's a multiplier for your build. Crit chance, mm -hmm. technically. Vulnerable, damage while berserking, and maximum fury. Yep, yep, yep. You could put a crit glyph in if you're looking for a glyph that you don't... Did you put the... Um... I'm just looking for, like, what I want to do next for damage. I'm thinking, um... Probably should just use Undaunted in here for the additional damage reduction. Because I'm not I'm not a frenzy barbarian anymore. I don't have the additional damage reduction. That could be an issue. Although I'm not entirely sure with all this damage from bleeding that I'm getting. Or damage reduction from monsters that are bleeding. You mean doesn't Shake will have Flat twenty percent damage reduction. Oh yeah, definitely. But you know, I'm I'm looking forward that this character will probably be my um, you know, like the the abattoir of Zier character that I try and take into the abattoir. So I'm assuming that you need lots of damage reduction for this. That's that's my assumption. All right. <laughs> Um, five more. Okay, now that's active. So I've got three boards and 59 more points left. we got an easy access board right here. Good old Warbringer. I'm trying looking at the remaining boards, and there's a lot of good ones, obviously. I mean, Carnage has increased attack speed and probably additional Berserking. Um, but I was thinking about Decimator because it has the 10 times multiplier for the monster being vulnerable. I feel like that goes well with the way that the build works because obviously the overpowering thing is interesting because it gives you the bleed, the big bleed proc. And I'm attacking so fast, I would assume that I could maintain that indefinitely. Does this, does the decimator one actually stack, or is it just 10%? It reads like it stacks, but I think it's just 10 and 20. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. You can see. You can see if you get stacks. I mean, you'll be able to tell with Flay, because Flay's actually proccing vulnerable a lot. I mean, yeah, Flay basically makes vulnerable, so that's what I was thinking. Although I'm not getting the double bonus from two-handed, since I'm going to be using the... I have to use the one-handers to get the uh, Ramalodni's bonus. Hmm... Let's check the decimator board and see if it has, yeah, it has vulnerable in here. So I think that's probably my best bet. Because the vulnerable stacks enhance the um, hemorrhage, which should be insane. Let's just go ahead and attach that. And come down here grab all this sexy vulnerable damage activate the uh, glyph slot 
Activate the legendary affix. Not much more vulnerable. Uh, there's a whole other vulnerable node over here. Okay. One, two, three, four. So this will be our fifth glyph. I need to put one here that uh, enhances, like, the rare or magic nodes that are nearby. That way I can get a larger amount of vulnerable damage out of it. I think that's my best bet. So let's take the ambidextrous one. Let's put that here. Is this the magic? This is the magic ones, okay. So yeah, there we go. 10, 10, 10. So that went, that brought that up quite a lot. And then that gives me more damage reduction from vulnerable as well. I mean, since I'm here and I have the magic nodes, I could also grab the additional willpower and dex. I mean, that gives me quite a large amount of willpower and dex. Since that is my magic node. I think maybe seething territorial. I feel like territorial is a good one. It's not leveled up though. Hmm. Dex, dex. Dex. That's active. So I got nine points left. So we got five glyph sockets, five legendaries. I don't know if I could squeeze out another glyph, but maybe. Or I could just go for more bleeding damage. Or damage while berserking. There's a damage while berserking node right there. Damage to bleeding enemies right here. What else do we got sitting around? Damage wall fortified. What should I use it on? I think going for this damage wall berserking is my best bet. Just in my first uh, Nightmare 100, get on there, realized uh, really quickly I didn't read all of the monster things. Minus 40% lightning damage. That was fun. Oh my god. That was mm, enjoyable. That was enjoyable. And you st your build still could do it. Oh, I, I crushed it. Yeah. I didn't die once. Crushed it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That build's OP for sure. That scales my boy here. So I need to scale that a little bit further. Let's grab that one. We don't need the duration. We just need the berserking. Do I need? I do need that dexterity. Trying to see what I could sack to uh, grab that extra berserking damage. 
There's two points here. If I can sack two more points, I can get a little bit more berserking damage out. You run with meta wizards? Why do I need to respec? I'm respecking because I'm changing my entire character, Ash Ketchum. This is a uh, this is literally me changing everything. That's gonna be fun. What sort of build you going, Ginger? Um, it's one I was theorizing last season. It's basically a flay basic basic build, but instead of using Berserk I'm sorry, uh Frenzy, you're using Flay. And the whole thing is based off of uh just stacking as many bleeds as you possibly can while using Flay so that you can get the bleed damage as high as you can possibly get it. The goal being to have, like, bleeds ticking for millions of damage. But with the Grandfather, things changed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. The Grandfather is going to make this absolutely insane because the, the Gushing Wounds scales off of crit damage and it has a hundred times crit multiplier on it, so... Good lord. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, we haven't unlocked this one yet. Well, that's a problem. Yeah, we we gotta unlock that so we can actually have the uh, blood rage effect. I don't need Warbringer. That doesn't need to be unlocked. Decimator is unlocked. Hemorrhage. So I'm running Blood Rage, Hemorrhage, Decimator, and, um, I got three, one, two, yeah, I only got three, I guess. Hmm. wonder if I could unlock another one. I might be able to sneak into another board and unlock just one more Legendary. Where's my closest... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six. Looks like six over here is my best bet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's always fun to see where you can sacrifice. But what would I get for my next board? I don't really need the critical or uh, the increased attack speed from Carnage. And be nice to get the Bone Breaker every 12 seconds. Your next skill is a guaranteed overpower. That would be nice. Let's preview that. Yeah, it's a pretty short pathway. We could we could do that. I could do that. Yeah, that's possible. That's doable. We just need to sacrifice from somewhere. This one's not active right now, so we need to activate that one. Not really sure why it's... Oh, it's not active because I don't have the... Uh... Ah, yeah. So it's not leveled up. I need to get that thing leveled up. Well, if that's the case, let me just pull this. Cancel that. Pull this one, this one, and this one for the time being. Pull this one. And what else can I yank for the moment? I'm going to get some more points as I level up, so I should be able to pull this off. Could yank that one for the moment. Right, that unlocks the board. Rotate or rotate. All right, so we need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points somehow. We're currently level 96, I think. Yeah. So we still got one point there. 
Well, several more points before we hit the cap. So we should be able to unlock that. Keep this unlocked. We could probably pull that one. It's not really needed. Physical damage over time, time, time. What's that from? <laughs> what, the time, time, time? Yeah. I don't it's know. Somewhere. How many points can we sacrifice? Sacrifice. 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 I don't need that intelligence node. I don't know why that was even there. Actually, it looks like we can activate this one relatively easily. What we gotta do... that there. Put one point there. Take that one away. Hmm. Close. Now that's activated. Then we just need the extra points to get down to this one. I can squeeze a little bit out here and there. I mean... I don't necessarily need everything here. Well... Let's take these. I don't need these. Not really. If I need the extra willpower, I mean, I can grab them later. I don't need these two dexterity nodes either. That gives me four back right there. I need those vulnerable nodes. 100%. Can't do without those. <clears throat> I don't necessarily need the damage reduction from vulnerable, but I do need at least one of them. And I guess I could sacrifice a couple of these damage over times. Still need three more. Like sacrifice another damage over time. And then one more damage over time. Actually, yeah. yeah. We can put these back later. It's just a matter of waiting for the right moment. Take that one. And there we go. And then I can fill the rest in as I go with the other... With the other doojanks. Now I just need to get the aspects right. And we're ready to G.O. I need time to do that. I mean, I'll have to customize my... Um, my stuff a little bit. I need a different amulet as well. I haven't even tested this build yet. 
Alright, um, upgrade the sword. We need to get some aspects in here. We're running to bolts. Let's pull up my gear. So, we don't necessarily have to take this out. We may not need the damage reduction from the iron blood aspect, so we'll we'll play that by ear. I like this one for the fortification buildup. It's amazing. So we're going to leave that. Um, I do need to grab some aspects, though, so let's see what I have in storage, and then we'll go from there. So, rupture... Do I have the rupture aspect? No, I don't. Okay. Next, do I have the aspect of anemia? I did save an aspect of anemia. I nice. said it's a perfect one too. Good. That was a terrible disobedience. Why do I even have that one? Alright, there's the berserk ripping that I need. Alright, so the berserk ripping goes on... Uh, what did I put that on? One of the rings. Right, so I gotta change out one of these rings to Berserk Ripping. I need more time. Time. I can get these uh, earth earthquake aspects pretty easily. I'm not worried about it. There we go. Zerk ripping. Um, the other ring is going to be X Falls, which I actually have a couple really good X Falls, so I'm not worried about it. Um, yes, that is like an insane one. So, let's use that one in the other ring slot. We can hold on to my old ring, in case I want to swap the builds back. We definitely need a really good amulet. Um, I don't know if I have any left over that would work for this character. I may have to find one. I'm not sure what passive I would want anyway. Probably cut to the bone. That would be the... I think that would be the choice. Yeah. Cut to the bone passive. Just see if I have anything that fits at all. And if I have anything that fits, I can modify it. I got nothing, do I, eh? Shock skills. That's Devouring Blaze. That's the Sorceress. Ultimate skill damage. Damage reduction from close. Garbage. Man. 
Movement speed. Damage reduction, fury cost reduction, and handed bludgeoning weapons. That's probably the best one I've got right this second. And I ain't got the dojanks to re-roll this thing either. Man, I need to go farm some Forgotten Souls bad. Outburst passive? What the hell is the outburst passive? That's the one that gives you thorns based on your maximum life. Well, that was useless then. I mean, it's an amulet. It's not really the greatest amulet in the world, but it's an amulet, I guess. It's kind of sucky. I'll definitely be on the hunt for a better amulet for this build. Um, what aspect did I have on there? Edge Masters? Yeah, Edge Masters. Oh, there's the Skull Breakers. It's a pretty good one, too. Nice. I need that one as well. And there's the Anemia Aspect. Did I put the Anemia Aspect in here? I did. Goes on the boots. Let's go ahead and put that one in. Need a rapid aspect for the sword. That's how that's done. All right. I currently have edge a perfect edge masters on here. Which isn't how I have it set up. Oh, I was using um, the rapid aspect there. But I already put the rapid aspect here. I mean, we can swippy swap it around a little bit. So Edge Masters went down here, rapid went over here. Mm. So Skullbreakers goes on the ambulance? You know what? Sure, why not? Let's let's try it that way. That sounds like a good plan. Let's try it. All right. So I think that's it. I think we're technically all set up. It's time to go test it and see how it works. Let's make sure we got our the right buttons in the right places. Bash doesn't go on there. Uh, rupture needs to go in number one. Actually, Rupture goes on the right click. Um, Rally Cry and War Cry. And then, yep, ground stop. All right. We're ready to test this thing. Are you guys ready to see some freaking bleed numbers? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go into let's go into the training grounds, pull up the boss dummy, and let's see what our bleeding numbers go up to. I think the only other thing we need to do is make sure our vampiric powers are set up we can do in the training grounds anyway. Yeah. 
It's I think it's mostly the same as what I'm running right now anyway. It's just a little slight difference. Running Flowing Veins. I think Flowing Veins is one of the main changes. Because Ravenous and Moonrise and Hectic, I think, and Undying are all already there. So it's pretty much just changing out... Uh, Hemomancy. Yeah, changing out Hemomancy for Flowing Veins. Which gives us the time 60. Oh, it's not fully leveled up. It's only 45. Sadness. We get it? Yeah, there we go. Now it's level 3. 3, 3, 3. They're all level 3. Yeah, yeah. We need to rework our armor just a little bit, but we should be able to get it. You got a Doombringer, Jester? Freaking hacks. That's a fun sword. I've been wanting to build a character around that thing. Alright. We are we are looking good. Let's pull out our do jinks here and get our vampiric power running. So we need one ferocity and two divinity. And um, what am I over on? Two over on skulls. Those gloves can be reset. So now I need one ferocity. One divinity. Two skulls. And that completes it. That completes it. Alright, let's get a boss training dummy in here. I'm easy seeing the mill one million two hundred thousand. Like bleed crit. It just just bleeds, just constant bleed damage. I mean that's without running like the the multipliers. I'm not even running the multipliers. Mill seven. It's kinda nuts. Good lord, look at those ticks. Test this on an actual boss. I want to see the boss get murdered. Watch me get murdered instead. He's going to die. He's going to die, guys. I need a way better amulet. If I can get a, uh, a plus three cut to the bone, I think that's my best. Like, absolute best way to get to roll. Gosh darn quill rats in this game. Oof. 
Yeah, they're nasty. They Who's hurt. A quill rat? Your mom's a quill rat. Quill rats in the ballistas, man. Overpowered. There. Are those the ones that shoot you from off screen? Yes. Yeah. A level 83 with gouts of flame. Let's go gout the flames. I gotta see how this rolls on the bosses. I'm so interested. Does anybody else's game keep crashing? No. Uh, I do. Um, when I like load the screen, teleporting somewhere, yeah, it does crash on me. Sometimes, sometimes I'm just playing. It does. Sometimes when I'm loading, it does. Well, thank goodness, hey. doesn't happen while I'm playing. I put points of kick and didn't put it on the on the bar. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Which means I wasn't getting the multiplier from Berserk. Holy crap. Dude, it's crazy being in an 83 tier dungeon and watching like all the monsters just bleed to death. The butcher. Hey, Panos. Oh, my gosh. The poor guy didn't even have a chance. Level 138. I could go for a butcher. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Ow, my health! They feared me away, and then I ran into the lava counts, and <laughs> that's rude. That's very rude. I, need time. I have nearly the permanent damage reduction unstoppable is, too. Is nice. From what the Harlequin crashed Sharko? Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know what I didn't do, and that's probably why I'm dying, is I didn't balance out my resistances. I bet you I need to balance my resistances out. I bet you that's what's going on. Yeah, I bet you my resistor are uh, are awful. Because I put on a bunch of new rings and amulets and stuff, and I didn't... Uh, I don't think I upgraded or socketed. Yeah, they're both using skulls. Yeah, colds. It's fine. I'm not capped out on three of my resistances. That would definitely help a little bit. Let's go, let's go fix that. Level 153 butcher melted. Deleted. Deleted. Balancing. All right, gem limbs. Look, I got an extra point. I can put it in something. I can give back some of that damage reduction for a while bleeding. Or damage reduction from vulnerable. Which I like. Alright. You need a socket. You didn't even, you didn't even have a socket in you, turd. Crappy amulet. I don't even like you. Alright, what do we need? We need uh sapphire. Mm. 
I might be okay with two all reses. Maybe. What was it? Five per? Yeah, five. Mm -hmm. It's like two sapphires. That's what I need. Man, one royal diamond. Yeah, that pretty much caps me out on everything. I actually got some resistances. That's nice. It always helps when you're doing high-level dungeons to actually have some resistances. Also... So very soon those uh, Nightmare Dungeons are going to be for the noobs, huh? Another thing we could do is we could grab the damage reduction. A little bit of damage reduction goes a long way. Could probably skimp a couple points here or there. Hmm. Let's see how that goes. I need time to do that. I might need to throw might might in the mix. We'll see. I need time to do that. It definitely didn't help not having maximum resistances. the kick being on the number one key. It's been on my right click for so long. I gotta switch that. Such a interesting build. <laughs> a little bit more tankiness, maybe? But damage-wise, it's like through the roof on most of these monsters. I think I can get a lot of those like damage reduction while vulnerable, damage reduction while bleeding nodes back too once I level up the character a little bit. So I shouldn't really have much of an issue. Oh yeah, hold on. Is Flay using? I think I may have made a mistake. Flay might be might have defaulted to the two-handed swords. Ah, uh, no, I didn't. Okay, good. Rupture needs to be defaulted to two-handed swords. Okay, good. Need. Rupture wasn't on the right one. So that wasn't getting the scaling either.
What's up, Dizzy? Or Deezy? How's that going? Oh, we're done. Let's go kill the boss. Let's go see how fast we can rip him to shreds. I did switch over gushing wounds, right? Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. I found a freaking grandfather the other day. Yeah, it's amazing. Congrats. And you got the Shaco too. Yeah, Shaco like a ding dong. They gave me the full money. I got the I got the double the double duo. Mack truck over there. That poison damage is nuts. Yeah, I think swapping out to the damage reduction while bleeding that that really nice one that it gives like the 20 percent or a might might go a long way with this build one or the other i think the might one might be the might be the way to go might one the armor one i feel like his damage reduction is a little lacking I mean, I can get more armor on him too, which let's see, running. Not really a lot of armor. Could also be an issue. He definitely needs better, better gear. Plus, he's not level 100 yet, and he's fighting level 137 monsters. Let's get him to level 100. That's really good. Ah, emote wheel. Emo wheels trying to kill me. Make sure I pick up all the ambulance. I... I need more time. I think they made this dungeon, Jalal's dungeon, just to test how tanky you are. Like, I don't know how tanky I am. Oh yeah, go do Jalal's. You, if you don't die, this means you're good. Well, they designed the charge ability of the monsters to be something that you were supposed to dodge. The entire, the entire goal of it was supposed to be something that was like massive amounts of damage that you you probably shouldn't be hit by. Like, they kind of didn't want you tanking it. And then people were like, okay, well, what if I just tank it? And then they die. Like, it, it doesn't matter how high a level you are. The problem with the charge ability is it's balanced 
so that you're supposed to avoid it. And it's supposed to be easy to avoid, but it's not easy to avoid. <laughs> Well, because it's uh, because it's bugged, like it's well, literally the they literally said it in one of the campfire chats. It's bugged, so you so even if you think you've avoided it, half the time you don't. Like you can't avoid it by um, killing the monster. You can't avoid it by freezing him. You can't avoid it by stunning him. You can't avoid it by killing the monster. Like you have to actually get out of the way. And if you don't get out of the way, even if the monster dies, even if the monster's stunned, even if the monster's frozen, the charge continues even if the monster is dead and will still kill you anyway, so it's just stupid. And the cameras, sometimes they come from off screen. Like you don't even see them, and then you're dead. Where'd you go? Come back here. I'm trying to bleed you to death. Rude. That's rude. How am I supposed to bleed you to death if you keep running away? Alright, well that kill speed's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty impressive. I don't even have exploit scaled up. Let's get some levels on this bad boy. That's gonna be a huge amount of damage increase right there. I guess let's run another one. Check see if I got an amulet, an amulato. I never finished Jalal that that fast, killing everything in there. Usually, I'm like very careful. So, just by testing this, because my armor dropped by 2,000 when I removed my, my helmet that has total armor. Uh-huh. And I put my my Shaco. And actually, I'm more tanky with the Shaco than with 2,000 armor extra. Well, How is this possible? Uh, well, first off, it's armor only affects physical, whereas the Shaco is giving you a damage reduction versus everything. So, so that's one thing that you got to take into account right there. It's you're getting you're getting everything versus essentially just one thing. So when you go come across a monster that's dishing out physical damage, you might notice the difference. But but on the whole, you're going to get a twenty percent additional damage reduction, which doesn't. It's not exactly twenty percent, by the way. It's because of the way that the calculations work. It's less than twenty percent. So. Um, so like if you actually go down and hold your mouse over your damage reduction um, and you take off the Shaco, you'll notice that it um, it goes down, but not by 20%. Um, uh, where is it? Uh, it's, I'm not even sure if it's showing on mine right now. Some of this stuff doesn't show unless you're standing outside of town, which is weird. It's weird. Like, you gotta be standing outside of town for it to actually show up on the character screen. It might work on the training grounds, too. Yeah. Um, but you'll notice that as your your damage reduction increases, it's it's uh, cumulative, so each one is stacks on top of the other, so you don't get this, the actual amount. So depending on how much damage reduction you're already running, it might not equal up to 20%, but, I mean, it's it's versus all damage though. Fire, lightning, ice, poison, you know, the whole the whole bonanza, whereas armor's only working versus physical, so you're gonna feel a lot tankier until you come across that monster that dishes out purely physical damage. And that's when you're that's when you're gonna notice if it, if there's a difference or not. Yeah, it's not showing in town. So it's fifteen point six to thirty two point five, so what is that for me? So 32.5 minus 
15.6. So I'm going up 16.9% for adding the Shaco. Because I already have a pretty decent amount of damage reduction flat anyway. So I've got 15.6 flat already. So the 20% stacking on top of it gives me an additional 16.9. You, you can check yours the same way and you can see how your damage reductions stack on top of each other. So if you don't have a lot of DR, like if you weren't running a lot of DR already, that 20% would do more. Because that first 20% is going to give you like actually 20%, and then each additional bonus after that is going to get kind of kind of cut. Um, but the same thing when you're in combat. So if you start running like might, and you get like the 20% from the might, um, and then you get maybe like another 10 or 15 or 20% from other bonuses, they start stacking the same way. I'm going to try this freaking ridiculous Light's Watch level 96. Let's see if I can clear this thing. I'm probably going to get my butt kicked. <laughs> Especially if I was having trouble in the other one. My DR might not be <laughs> up to par. It's a poison enchanted one, though. I'm going to go make myself a poison potion. I'd like a poison potion, please. One poison potion, please. Blocks. I need time. All right, let's go get our butts kicked. I mean, technically they've added more inventory, sort of, in a way. But it's still pretty bad. One of the things they told us they're working on, though, is they're going to be removing the aspects from our storage. So we're going to be able to store the aspects into, like, a codex or something like that from now on. So it'll be nice. Oh, that's going to be super helpful. I still wish they'd give every character, like, its own personal... Woo, spicy poison. Look at all that poison on the ground. <laughs> I don't want to stand in that. It's ouchy. You just let me know when you're about to finish it so I can jump in and get the glip XP. I mean, if you want to come in and, and, and res me in case I die. Okay. I can do that. Are you trying to see if you can do it by yourself, or you want me to come in and just blitz through it? I mean, my damage... Uh, I, I'm, I'm no trouble damage-wise right now. So... I, it's really my survivability that seems to be the issue. I may I may have to add in um something. I don't know, we'll see. I think I think a might would go a long way with this build, but then I'm not sure if I can guarantee the generation of fortify. We'll have to see. If I can if I can guarantee my fortify generation in some other manner, then I could load might. <laughs> it's crazy you're doing a ninety six what level is that? He's also doing a 96, so it's what, level 150s. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> you guys are rude. Ah, so much poison in there. There was like five poison things all stacked up on top of each other. Yeah, but I can't use potions.
So even with the DR guy up, and I've been testing this, even with the DR guy up, I can burn through them. <laughs> it's kind of insane. I can just straight up burn through the DR guy. Ah! Stop blinding me! It's my biggest weakness. I've cleared a 100 so far, Sasha. I had some fun with it. I did that on my rogue, actually. Dude, the bleed ticks on this thing are insane chunks. I, I was already seeing like a mil five, and I don't even have it. I don't even have it like fully set up yet. You using that X fall ring? Yeah, I got an X fall in here for the additional um, like exploding crits. Those are those are actually really nice for additional AOE damage. Uh, I'd like to. I don't know, kind of mess with that on the necro, but I don't know how. I want to do it's it. it's very noticeable when they pop because when they pop, it's just like <laughs> like little popcorns in there. They're absolutely great. Hold on, let me, uh, I'm gonna grab a couple more of my damage reduction while, there you go, damage reduction while vulnerable. Every time I get a Paragon point, I'm gonna put some more DR in, because it looks like that's what I need. I don't need damage, I need damage reduction. Look, I'm, I'm keeping my bone storm up just by flicker step. No fun. Oh. <laughs> Hello, big giant room full of monsters. I'm also wearing a soul brand. Hey, uh, are you playing on your barbarian at all, uh, Leon? I am. Can you keep your eyes out for me for an amulet? It's the only thing I really don't have. Just a decent amulet with, like, cut to the bone or something on it. I could check if I saved one. Because I got, I got a whole lot of nothing for amulets. Like, I went through all my amulets, and, like, the best one I had was this one. And it's pretty terrible. I kind of wish you could refund your, your glyph EXP from a glyph that you leveled up on a different build. It works with all forms of damage over time, Sasha. It it and it conforms to the damage over time that you're using. Oh god. I looked away at chat. Oh god, save me. I can't. I can't use potions. Okay, I'm healed. <laughs> so if you're using shadow damage dots, it'll it'll turn into shadow damage if you're using you know, like bleed damage dots, like physical, like I'm using, it'll turn to physical. It's a, I mean, it, it, it definitely conforms to the damage type that you're using. Oh, I'm blind. Hmm. I need to uh, move and speed fire res boots and fury cost reduction. Two out of three. I rolled a third. You got a what? I need fire res, movement speed, fury cost reduction boots if you see them. Oh. 
I'll take two out of three, obviously. I could roll the third. Come here, boss. Uh, when we get to the boss chunks, let me let me just play with them. I want to see I want to see how much damage I can output on like a 96 freaking boss. He's all yours. My big damage goes down on bosses set up the way I am right now. God, I love the freaking kick ability. What's pulling all the enemies in? Oh, that's uh. Chunks, Chunks is here. Chunks. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really too worried about the pull in. I'd like to have a pull in, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cry about it. I mean, I could always put in like God Slayers instead of a Shaco. I'd lose a lot of damage reduction that way, but I'd get the free pull in. Roar, Zabimaru! Oh, they keep coming. It's an event. So nasty. Cathedral Crest. What's up, buddy? Is it over? Event What's complete. Event? Well, that makes sense. <coughs> <laughs> what we get? Some do janks. <laughs> They're so mean to me. They always want to bite my face. I don't like it when they bite my face. It's rude. Ooh, they got me. They ate your Look at those 260k plus freaking AoE bleeds, though. Like, holy crap. I, after I died, I watched it go like 260, 260, 260, 260 on every single monster. Amulet on the ground. Ow, 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 ow. I think a couple more of those damage reduction nodes would go a long way. I had to give up a couple nodes to get access to this free overpower thing, which I really wanted for this particular build, because Gushing Wounds gives a, has a really sweet AoE bleed that happens whenever you overpower, so... I figure that would give me a guaranteed overpower. Alright, stack it up. Stack it up, stack it up, stack it up. I just wanna I wanna stack up and see how high I can hit here. So three, two, one, boom. Stack, 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 stack. Aw, don't run away from me while I'm stacking the leads on you. Leave me alone. He likes you. He likes you a lot. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's alright damage. It's a level 150 boss here. I mean, I'm hitting for like 2 mil, 3 mil. Like, 
my bleeds are going pretty darn high too. Oh, what the hell happened there? That was rude. I don't even know what got me. Just standing in the mist or something? I definitely feel like I, I need to get these glyphs leveled up. I know that much. The exploit glyph is a lot of damage that I'm missing. Well, 198 glyph XP will definitely help that. Yup, 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 yup. We could do a couple of these. Just keep on running them. Don't, don't matter to me. I've got, let's see, one more at 18. Well, I got this one I'm working on at 18, and then my last one's at 15. Alright, good. Another Paragon point. Not very long after the Shaco was the grandfather, Messiah. It was pretty soon after. I got a double drop, and then one of them was a two-hander, and I was like, holy crap, no way. <laughs> I he doesn't oh. drop any unique two-handers, so as soon as I saw a two-hander, my heart skipped a beat. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> my middle finger came up. It did? It did? <laughs> yeah. Right at the TV. <laughs> oh, you were watching? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. The curse was broken. So you know what would you know what would fix that? You know what would fix that middle <laughs> finger is a is a shot as a grandfather. <laughs> yeah, I bet it would. I would fix that middle finger. Put a put a grandfather on it. You drop the grandfather first and then the shako? The shako then the grandfather. Oh my back to back? Not back to back, but it was close. It was close. Oh I didn't think you could get there you go. I didn't think you could get two of the same unique item from one drop. Yeah, you can, actually. It's it's a little odd. Yeah. I got two of that... Uh, that They're not uh, really that scythe. common. I got two of that Necroscythe, the uh, Shadow or whatever. He said, are Uber Uniques really that common? Um, no. I spent 23 days farming that stupid thing. <laughs> trying to get Trying to get a... A super unique of any type. I tried for 23 days to get one, and I finally, after 23 days, got one. Got so, got like 23 days straight of running, and I got one. Yay. I still haven't got one. You're the only one in the club now, Con. Oh. Uh, Con's yeah, in the club, I'm sorry. I'm out of the club. Yeah. No, I was kicked out of that club. Remember? Well, you're the only <laughs> member of the club now, so you can re <laughs> you can re vote yourself <laughs> back in. <laughs> you control the club. Yeah, you you are the club now. Here's the keys, my friend. Yeah, I was gonna give you the keys. I give was the leader the keys, of the club, uh, Son, There you go, Ginger, a, Give him the keys. He's a leader. And as a newly appointed member of the super unique club, with a grandfather and a Shaco. I vote myself leader of this club. <laughs> One could say a grandfather of the club. <laughs> a grandfather. <laughs> oh god, it's so spicy over here. Save me! Why did I do that? Are you in one already? Yeah. There's a lot of monsters over there. It's scary. Oh, I got slammed. Told you to. Nobody yeah, listen to me. It's this the guy big guy. The big guy, man. Ah, <laughs> slammies! He slammed me and I didn't die. Aha. Aha. -ha -ha. These resets are so random. When you die, it's like half the time you go back to the beginning of the instance. Other times yeah. you go to these like weird spots. Like it's so really weird. Dumb. It's so dumb. Ow! Death balls hurt. Ow! 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 ow, ow, ow. So spicy in there. Ow! ow. Run in the room. Oh god, what is going on down here? This is death. Oh god! I'm in it. I'm in it. 
I ran out of potions. I, I don't have any. I don't know, I'm having a f I'm having some fortify issues. I do notice this. I'm a lot harder to maintain fortify than it was on my other character. I've got shielding storm on and soul brand. I'll have to I'll have to figure out the fortify problem. Why didn't you just use either the, that or just switch to freaking from the vampire, or just vampire switch to freaking rubies and just go for max health? My essence stays up a whole lot better with the uh, lucky hit from while having a barrier from uh, Soul Brand. It's a little spicy in here. It is a little. It is a little spicy. There's a little spice. I need more time. Wait for me. Come here, Cosra Abomination. Ah. Here, have some bleeds to go with your bleeds. Some more scaling. Let's keep scaling up the exploit glyph. <laughs> this will get your, your glyph EXP leveled up fast. It goes fast until you get to 15s and on the way to the 21s, and then it slows down really quickly. Oh, yeah. I am. I had I had a full character of 21s in like season zero and season one. Yeah. It's a pain in the butt, but you can you can do well, it. That's all we it's could doable. do there in season one. We really didn't have anything else we could do except nightmare dungeons. I got that nasty thing. God, there are so but many it's freaking... Even understand, I, I got so suppressor. many of these freaking junk email things. And I got that thing. They really went hard with all the freaking spam during voting season, didn't they? What you got? I just linked them. Carrying fields, shadow damage. Uh, I mean, I'm not. I don't really particularly care about the enrage thing. Overpower resist is fine. I mean, the monster lightning damage might affect Dev, but we could run that one. Let's do the. Let's do the lights watch one. Dev. Dev could use a little derfing. That's that's his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't could could I join game. you guys? I don't have that. Yeah, come on in. We got one more spot. Sorry, you're in your own club. The, the Uber Uniques are more common in that they're possible to obtain. <laughs> like, I don't want to give anybody a false sense of, of, uh, of that they're, like, really easy to get because they're not really easy to get. You just sometimes can get really lucky. I mean, it's it's just like somebody, I don't know, like your first time playing Diablo 2 and they're like, oh man, I can't believe it. I was killing uh, freaking uh, Grand Visor of Chaos and he dropped me a Griffin's Idea tab. And you're like, what? You're like, what? Like, you literally just pause. You're like, what? Yeah, it's Griffin's Idea tab. Is that any good? Nope. No, no, give it's it terrible. Me. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. You should just give that to me. I'll dispose of it. I will I will throw that right into the trash for you, my friend. Don't you don't you even Oh, you little blister litterers. I'm trying to run to you guys and there was a blister back here that you littered. You just it was already blowing up. I ain't even have a chance to get to it. You little turds. Blister littered littering litterers. 
hate blisters. Come raz me, you blister litterers. Here, I'm coming up. I'm coming. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think I can get him. Freaking, freaking. Oh, just, you're I just walked into the room and they were, he just popped in my face. Alright, we'll hit kill that guy. It was rude. It was very rude. I need time to do that. You're on blister control. Can I even kill the blisters in this? I mean, I can kill blisters too. I just that one popped in my face. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it. I got. No, oh, I, I don't even know if I can kill the blisters. Oh, yeah, I can't. I gotta stay back. Jeez. Oh, use the moochin. Oh, okay. Too much oh activity. God, blister! Oh, what? No, it's a runaway! Oh God, why did you do, do that to me? I was raising you. <laughs> I got you. Yes, it's Saturday night. It's popped in my face. <laughs> Or a burr rune draw. That's right. That's right. Too much uber unique talk suddenly. That's because I actually got one. I need time to do that. Speedy came on to congratulate me. Apparently he was lurking. I need more time. I meant yesterday, Speed. Oh my god, the blister spawned another blister. This is such amazing gameplay. <laughs> Guys, the blister spawned another blister. Oh, this is a 100. I didn't even notice it was a 100. I wasn't, uh -huh. paying, I wasn't paying attention. I mean, that explains why the blisters hurt so bad. Yes. Oh, Where'd you die at? I don't even see you. Oh, right, oh. Right there. Right you seem to be uh, attracting lightning, sir. Yeah. Another blister that popped in my face as I was walking into the room. I never even saw it. Here, I'm coming up it's Dev's fault. Face. Dev's a litterer. He, oh he's littering blisters all over the place, Dev. It's terrible. Wait. It's terrible, Dev. No. You're, oh. a, you're a litterer. You're a litter bug. God, oh, it's uh, back on... Uh... Let's stay away from the back blisters. On us. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming back. Not that far back. Litter. -er -er -er. Alright, where's that? I wanted to get this I wanted to get this berserking up here too, but I obviously need a little bit more tankiness. Why did it drop me sacred items? Yeah, Sacred legendaries are, are great for alternate characters. I'd hang on to them. If they're, if they're any good, anyway. No, they're not. They're terrible. <laughs> they're 659 item power. They at least give you an 825, right? For an ult. That's just garbage. You need some overpower gloves? I know, I wish there was a way to transfer levels on glyphs. That'd be great. We were just talking about that earlier. You wanna need some overpower gloves? Who messaged on me? With resource? Do you want buddies wanna run some more durial runs? I am sure they do. Yeah. I got I got some to run. Uh Crisp has forty. I think. 40 runs? Yeah. Dang, I have a lot, but I don't have that many. I think I got... Oh, but I gotta do, um, Gregor. I have... I have eight. That's so how party. many people do we have that have not found a super unique at all? Yeah, I have not. 
I know Khan hasn't. I think it's just Khan. Considering <laughs> I started this season, I'm only level 25. <laughs> <laughs> There's that too, right? <laughs> Cody, what's the madams? Would you do you want uh you want this pocky stick? Hmm? Would you like this? You gonna do a set for it? That's a good set. That's a good. I think you just, I think I need a paw too. You gonna give me some paw? Give me some paw. Give me some paw. That's a good paw. That's a good paw. That's a good paw. There you go. Has a pocky stick. That's the green tea one. It don't have no chocolate in it. Before y'all guys get on my case. <laughs> You're abusing your dog. You horrible, horrible man, you. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of that new glyph, the one that has like a million extra damage on it. Yeah, that's going to be really interesting. It's going to be spicy. Well, oh, it, is that coming in the? It could theoretically draft? make any build viable. I mean, theoretically. I think they've said that there's certain builds that just will not be able to do the new content. I mean, I don't know. With a freaking like 200 times multiplier, I think a lot of builds could put out the kind of damage that you need. I'm pretty sure they're going to be a lot of damage. Also, like. Oh, are these guys like resistant to physical key. damage or something? What's the modifier on this? I didn't think so. Oh, 60% less bleeding damage! Uh. <laughs> yes. Freaking turds. Well, that'll be it. That's all my damage gone out the window. I gotta make them bleed. I need more time. No, it makes me bleed my own blood. Yeah, Cody. Mm -hmm. I already done taking you out like 18 times today. And your butthole stanky. How about that? Ooh, fire hurts. Stanky butt. Man, this freaking bleed. I can really feel the negative bleed on this. It's insane. Like, these monsters got some HP now. Before I was ripping through them. Oh. <laughs> Ow! Get, get out of here with your stupid Oh, it's the oh, red ghosts are, are so bad. It's the red ghosts. Ugh. Why you guys have to put the... What's going on? I don't know why I'm having a hard why time. Why's everybody dead? <laughs> I'll get you in a second. Hold on. Somebody, oh, devs up here, team. Yeah, there's a bunch of really nasty stuff and well, a couple nasty things in here, so be careful. Yeah, the ones that always try to kill you and stuff with their beam, with their red laser beams. Yeah, with the red laser oh, I beams. Know, I know about them red laser beams. I don't like them red laser beams, but I know about them. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I got no potions. I got no potions before I take on the you. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I can heal myself. I just gotta swing. I just gotta swing the sword. Swing it. What is... Oh, volcanic. I, I'll take Cody out of the bathroom after this one. I need time to do that. Oh, slay all. I'll slay all enemies. Oh, thank you for the five dollars, Jessman. I actually did get him a bone today too. It's all good. You paid for his bone. I got him one of them, them, the bone, the bony bones at the stove. I got him a bony bone. That's the one that's with like the, it's like the hole in the center, so you can put like the peanut butter in there. Can get the peanut butter, the peanut butters. 
Oh god. Oh lord. Stop using that line attack on me. I don't like it. When you're in a tier 100, you dodge the line attack. Like that's <laughs> if they use a line attack, you dodge. They're rude. I need time to do that. Uh huh. I'm gonna rip off a lip. How about that? Give me this lip. Oh, I'm. I like dive back in there to get him. It didn't work. <laughs> Most of them, though. Woo. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Cody's telling me what's what today. I haven't heard him too much. Has he been in another room? Did you hear that? I heard him like just a little bit ago, yeah. He's very talkative right now, you hear him? He grumbling, roaring, all sorts of stuff. He's not having it today. He is not having it. Hey, the thing finally popped up. Oh. Oh god, oh god, let me out of there! <laughs> so many explosions! <laughs> I couldn't get out! <laughs> I ran and died. That was a lot of explosions. That was not fun. That was that was a lot of explosions. All and I I got stuck somehow. I don't know what happened, but I couldn't get out. Stuck in a little corner. What's up, resurrected malice? God, my bleed damage is stunted like crazy. Alright, Boobus. I'm gonna take you out. I think he's got diarrhea. Cha cha cha. Mm, damage reduction and damage reduction while fortified and total armor. Wow, that's a tanky boy amulet. Alright, I'll be right back. <clears throat>
Lily, you there? Yes. Did you run all those distilled uh, dungeons? Not all of them, noise. I have half of them still. Okay, I want to farm the boss. Back. Yeah, I farm them with you, unless you're not going to farm them anymore. I'll just take them back. No, I, I am not going to farm them now. You want me to come and give it to you? I am in the middle of blood harvesting to get um, yeah, yeah, take your time. two aspects. So as soon as I finish, or you want to join me, and I'll give it to you. Okay. I, I emptied my stash in the morning, man. I was like, I was left with like with two, almost full, and now they are full again. Of what? I, I, I didn't know where this was going right away. I do not know. Like, it's so easy to fill it up. Oh my gosh, I dropped the ball's will from, um, from Broad Harvest event. Did I get a Shaco? I did get a Shaco. I got a grandfather, too. Alright, I'm back. Let's resume the fun. From out of space? I'm not sure what was going on with him. I think he's just hungry. I got him some food. Armor Breakers is bad. Suppressor? Are you guys okay with Suppressor? Ugh. Suppressor is awful for me. Okay. Really? Are you a close range character? Yeah, yeah, but if I cast it and I go into it, all of my orbs fall off, and I have to go cast them right, right back in the, the 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 bubble. Like it strips me of like half my damage. Your orbs so. fall off by hitting the outside of the suppressor. By going into the bubble, like if I cast oh, wow. them out of the bubble and I go into the bubble, like they disappear, and I have to recast ah. them again. He's got the what? he's got the necromancer problem. I got an electric lance. I was on. I was talking with Chunks about that. This was back when I originally made my Necromancer. You know how the Necromancer has that aspect that shoots like three spears back or five spears back or whatever? Yeah. 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 So if you're inside the bubble and you shoot the boss or the monster with the bone spear and then the bone spear leaves the bubble and then comes back with the spears, the spears hit the outside of the bubble and just get deleted. Yeah. yeah that's what happens with my... So I can't just, yeah, it, it's really painful for ball lightning. Suppressor is not good for ball lightning. No, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. It happened to me a lot with that, with the Necromancer it's, build. Uh, it's exit only. Yeah, exit only. You can exit, you can't, you can't enter from the outside. And it's, it's really terrible too, because, I mean, you would think at least if you're inside of it, you should be fine, but you're not.
Oh shoot. I clicked on that shrine and it's a. Uh... <laughs> it's a trap. It was a trap. Go away, man. This must be the most iconic meme ever, man. It's a trap. right here. Oh my god. Name. Poison is gonna kill me. Yeah, well, it's a really high level. Call my name. <laughs> oh, ding a lang. Eighty eight. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> You're having a lot of fun with that lightning ball sorcerers. Uh-huh. I usually don't like paying the meta, you're making me want to play it. It's kind of similar to your boulder guy. <laughs> it's just lightning instead of boulders. Oh. How'd you end that boulder guy? You said he was crating for like 600k. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't remember. He's, he's fun to play. I love the visuals of it all. Uh, it's a little irritating because he keeps pushing everybody back. That's the biggest problem. Yeah, I agree. That's so stupid. Yeah, that, they need to th suck him in. And Unique should change the way it works because obviously you want it different once you have it. Sucks him in as well. Tyler would be all over that one. Yeah, I, I put the ring on him, but I haven't played around with it enough. Okay, but you're relaxed. What's a nice helm? You need resistance. I got a bunch of new ones while we were in there. Um, resistance, it's a really nice helm. Oh, I got one too. Oh, mine are low. Low rolls, yours are high rolls. Guess I'll hold on to it just in case. I don't ruin all that work. That one's pretty good. 
That's the spookiest thing in here is resistance breakers from ranged people. So just be careful with ranged. Plus close damage is not good for anybody here. What's it not? Less uh, damage, you know, the less <laughs> close, less damage from close. Step. Or wall close. Pop darts are great. I love pop darts. Toaster oh, strudels are God. better though, I think. Uh, you can't really eat toaster strudels right out of the package. Mm, this is true. Oh my god. He's trying to kill the blood. Watch out, it's gonna burst. Don't come back. Dude. What? I hate blood blisters. We won't do them if people, like, yeah, you're right. Like, if people are, like, catching up from behind, the blood blisters just, like, run. They're just off. Well, when you have a blood blister litterer, uh, a litterer yeah. of blood blisters. I'll try to kill more. He who litters the blood blisters kills his friends. <laughs> he walks through a doorway. Can you imagine dying well, in hardcore to a blood blister that somebody else spawned? <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. I couldn't kill it fast enough. I spawned that one and I couldn't kill it fast enough. Are you dead back there? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I need to catch up with you guys anywhere. Yeah, you have to release, I think. There's a bunch of... People by the rope, bunch of mobs. I gotta admit, the evade makes the poison puddles kind of a cool mechanic, but then when you're evading all the time, it just gets really annoying. You're like, yay, and I'm all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ding, 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 Yeah, I like the Vade, but it's funny. I went from playing D4 last season to D2 last season. And um, I was trying to evade everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, min the minute you start playing Diablo 2 again, or Diablo, it's like... Shit. Like, why won't my space ball? Yeah. yeah. Why, why can't I? <laughs> Climbed out of it. Turn your favorite your shade goes, Louis, so you don't delete it or drop it on the floor. Random charge monster killed me after I killed him. Beautiful. I hate that charge effect. Ah, oh, this is Oh my god, she almost killed me through the I don't think I can kill these two. Now oh, I got you. Easy. Yay, another point I can spend on stuff. Less lightning damage, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> no. Get another blood blister one. Let's pass on that. Blood blister. Mm -hmm. Nightmare portals are fine. 
Electric lances are fine. Nightmare portals are mostly fine. What mostly about suppressor? Fine. They're mostly fine. Suppressor? No. No. Very bad for me. The problem with nightmare the portals bad. is they can spawn every single monster type. And when you Avenger? get the when you get the wrong monster type, it's really nasty. Yeah. How about Avenger? I think Avenger is fine. What's Avenger? Just every time monster you kill, they get off. more pissed off. Yeah, that's oh, fine. Yeah. Rip it. Nice, I can put one skull in. Okay, at least I got one skull in. That's useful. A little more armor, never hurts. Ooh, they came in for the Glyph XP. Like, I'm getting that. Oh my god, one shot at Mary Kid. I see that corpse bow in the back. Careful, Chunks. He's still alive. Get me. Yeah. I got you. Me to come back? No, I got it. Mm. He res me. He should have killed the corpse foe first before he res me, but. <laughs> hey, Belfry's Adara. <laughs> I put you, you and then die. Butcher. 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 Oh. Uh, oh, wow. You're way up there. Yeah, we're probably not gonna make it before he either kills you or you kill him. Yep. One way or the other. Oh, come oh on. my god! I had him. It's a bummer. Far ahead. I had him. I had him. That's a tier ninety-seven butcher. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah. He's um, his his regenerative oh shielding. My. I hate to use a a Star Trek term. His regenerative shielding is kind of insane. The way it just yeah. it just automatically pops back up every certain number of seconds. Yeah. So you, so you can't really dish out damage to him unless... Hmm. Plus this is a, a lower lightning damage dungeon, so that's probably why he killed you. Yeah. 40% less lightning damage. You poor unfortunate lightning damage character. Hey, I'm level 98 now. Look at me. See, I'm glad I didn't level this character up to 100. I'm having fun leveling my character again. Oh my God, I love these like additional bleed procs. They're so freaking nice. I need time. Oh my God! I killed something. There's so many baby spiders! There's so many baby spiders! Oh yeah, there was bees too. Stupid bees. Better than cool rat. I need to Anybody looking for a helm? That's not a bad helm. <laughs> no, I don't know if the quill rats are better than the bees. I think the bees dish out more damage. I hate quill rats. I think comparatively, I think the bees stack up damage higher. Because of the way that their ability works and you have to keep moving. At least you can see the bees as they're traveling toward you. The bees that shoot bees. The bees that shoot more bees. Nice. 
The Abattoir of Zia. How dare you post someone else's video, you blasphemer. And how do they know what to do you when the when the event's not even out yet? Is there a, a blog post? Like when they were at BlizzCon, they got invited to Blizzard headquarters. Like Woody Joe and some other. Yeah, actually half the official info on it. Half of it. Oh, they have the official info on it. I'm confused. They went to BlizzCon, and then they went to Blizzard Headquarters, and Blizzard showed them both Hypercores there and the Gauntlet from Season 3. Oh, hackers. They actually have the info. Hackers. Directly from the horse's mouth. Hackers. Hacker, hecklers. I don't like it. Hecklers. I need a Doombringer. We need to do more yeah, tutorials. Your bringer would be I nice. I need the grandpa there. I need them all. I have some drills when you guys get some or ready to. I need them gotta, all to make videos on. How about that? Gotta stay motivated. Gotta keep going. Wait, well, did I not get Glibby XP? What the hell? Did I spend it on the wrong thing? I need to start trading for eggs, apparently, on Trader Eats. There's a 3 to 1 ratio. Anyone need some pants? Donde estas mis pantalones? Not Tell me your pants. Resistance to damage reduction, and you could roll the healing. I looked on one of the websites because uh, I got a, an email from uh, IGGM or whatever. I don't know. One of them freaking gold seller websites. And they have the bus parts on there for like 38 cents a part. A, a set. 38 cents a set. Kind of crazy. You can get like a hundred sets for like thirty-eight bucks. Mm -hmm. Ready to win. The grind is not that painful. It's fine. It's fine. I got a. I think I got a good one when you guys are ready. Uh, I think I picked underpass. up. Uh... The grind is not painful, just everybody has to do it. I picked up one, I know. I think it was like a... No. Belfry? Ooh, it's a hundred and two, no, Blood Blister. Belfry's a really good one, though. Like, it's quick. It's a if very quick dungeon. someone wants to run it, I don't, I don't want to try to What, what are the other it. ones? Like, what are the I other... Just... I... I don't want to try to keep up on that one. What's what's the bad like? What what are the other things for Bell there? Blood blister. Extra. Yeah, I'll 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 blitz Belfry. It's quick. Okay. Wow. Non boss monsters gain fifteen percent life steal. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just let us know when you get to the end. And I'll tell it to you. Yeah, that shield is pretty cool. What shield? Shield you got on. Oh, the lid lidless. Yeah. Oh, is that lidless? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty good to be held. Season 2 is a, a big improvement over Season 1. Season 1 was really depressing. I ain't gonna lie. It was depressing. Got a world boss in 39 minutes. Oh, y'all all went in there to Belfry. Oh, thank you, Craig. I need time to do that. I thought you were just blasting to the end. Well, they can leech XP. Oh, that's right there. Low level. Or lower. They're not 100. Oh my god, that was a bad idea. <laughs> What's that? I'm just a baby? Ooh. I'm just a baby! 22,000 health. Oh, a level 100, or tier 100 blood blister will wipe that out. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna die from this blood blister. <laughs> How'd you get a blood blister all the way over there? A monster chased me and I actually killed it. Uh, I'll go res you. Thank you. There was like an elite over there somewhere. Need more time. Ouch. So you can leech, sir. <laughs> So many nice monsters back here. Yeah. What's up, Elite Pack? Ow! You know, I don't much appreciate that massive poison pile that you put in my face. Oh, wow, he's just beelined it over there for you. He was uh, coming for them cheeks, sir. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't realize there was a DR guy in the pack. No wonder. Alright, I'm on the boss. I'm over here fighting the monsters like they're killing them through the DR guy. I'm like, man, these guys are tanky. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Uh, really? It put me at the beginning? Why did it not teleport me to you? Oh, right here. You're safe inside the force field, Sam. Wow. Barely. <laughs> you can tell the on me, Chunks. Or, I, oh, you already did. It, okay, cool. It, it teleported me to the beginning of the dungeon when I teleported to death. I'm nice still kill gauge. Dome. What percent did you roll on your tower ashes? What percentage? Uh? All right, what this chick drop me? You guys like deserted underpass? I gotta scrap some of these. Um, cool. I think that's just it's fine. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a lot of poison in there, just like Sirico caverns or Sirocco caverns. Yeah, yeah. Like it's just a lot of poison. Are those the uh, the boots that you wanted, Leon? Hailstone kickers. No. <laughs> no. I'm you said you wanted fury cost reduction, right? Yeah, and fire res and movement speed two and three. So no. I can roll uh, you want? What do you want? Let me see if I have any. Well, you can't have these. You don't deserve. I like a high amount of movement speed, cool. a high amount of fire res, and fury cost reduction. For a barb. And triple evade, you know, don't forget about the triple evade. You shouldn't pick up boots there and triple evade anyway. You know, don't be foolish here. Oh, fire, lightning, shadow. Shadow and flame.
Dude, the all stats on freaking grandfather is insane. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice. A hundred and eight all normal. stats. It's crazy. Then it gives you life. Can you link it? I'm, I don't know. I don't know that. I... You've never seen a beautiful grandfather. No. Okay, let me hear. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Is like that eight times. is that enough? Is that linked? I like it. <laughs> yeah. I got the eight links or whatever you put. Ignores the durability that he loses. Thanks. Ignores durability loss. <laughs> why eighty four percent damage? Like why not eighty three? Not eighty five? Not eighty? Like what is so special about eighty four? Four five eight four max life. Does number eight mean anything for grandfather? I don't know. That's what the kinship's only that? grandfather, right? That we've had. Yeah, I think so. Right? I, I thought somebody else have... got one. I don't think so. Nobody else got one in the kinship so far. I think you're the first one. Well, the one thing is, is you can't find it unless you're on a necromancer or a barbarian, so. Right. Shaco, every, well, everyone has the opportunity to get a shake up. We <laughs> got ginger we get. So, which class has the best total, like, drop, like, uber drops? Why? Like, who, who has the ability to get the most number? Probably Barb. Is it. Does the Necro have the ability to get the uh, Ash, the staff? No. No. No, it's so just only the it Druid and, and the Sort can get the staff, right? Correct, correct. And then um, only the Necro and the Barb can get the Grandfather. Correct. And then Doombringer is Rogue Barb, right? And, so the Barb necro. is, so the Barb is, oh, so, so Barb and Necro are the two best stuff. Like, if you want to take a character in there and you want optimal chances for the most number of uber uniques, you're looking well, at Barb and the Necro. best option, the best ones, too, because the staff is garbage. Well, the staff is very... Well, it's not boss, right? So it doesn't work yeah. on the bosses? Yeah, that's yeah. from what I understand. Oh, my God. So you'd probably want to use it... I don't know. Just when you're farming like this, like cliff farming, it'd probably be pretty OP. I wouldn't mind having a Melted Heart of Salag. I think that thing's awesome. Yeah, I like my build with it. Doombringer and that build would be insane. If I had Just a Melted Heart of Salag for this character. <laughs> you guys mind if I release? Gonna... Oh, grab... Here, so I forgot to actually put one down. Someone grab this because I'm already carrying one. I'm going to do a build guide and just be like, alright, so this needs a Grandfather, a Shaco... Um... A melted heart of Saleg. Mm -hmm. And it and it's okay at that point. Anyone who's gonna do hell tide? Oh shit, just started. Yeah, probably I am sense. working on glyphs today. If anybody's gonna do hell tide, um they can join me. But did we not grab what the... happened? We got both oh. the things? Who's who ran no, away with the thing? Y'all didn't ever say if he could release or not. Got it. I, I got said it. he could. Oh. Yeah, of course you can. We got this him. Is... Oh my gosh. Don't get gouted. It hurts. It's a rude it's a rude thing to have happen to you. I need time to do that. Let's play. Kill all. Ah! Oh, Stupid suppressor I shields. I can never see what's going on inside the shield half the time. Well, oh, it's because my because I started spamming lightning balls once I got in there. <laughs> Rude. Oh my god. You got a um, a blister, making them immortal in the back. 
I know. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Got that soul brand on. Soul brand. I need time to do that. Oh my god, why did I do it? Oh, King of Land. Hey, a perfect umbral aspect. Nice. On a, sa on a sacred ring. Imagine oh, nice. That. That's even better. That means it's capped at 60 and you can use it on a new character. Secret timeline? Those are secret. That's the secret way you get all your aspects for your other characters. Still, it's just weird that it's dropping in such high dungeons. So many seconds. Varshawn never drops me um, ancestral frost burns. He always drops me a, a sacred frost burns. I don't know why. It's always sacred. He'll drop me frosties, but it's always sacred frosties. He Some sort of bug. Like you. I mean, maybe he doesn't like me, but that's neither here nor there. You said you were looking for a amulet. Yeah, I need anything decent. I'm looking for, um, cut to the bone. So something you could roll to it? Yeah, I need to cut to the bone passive. We don't have any overpowered builds in here, right? No. Nope. There's something you could roll if you need cooldown. A Baron Guardian. Hmm. Got damage. Nah. I think I think I'm gonna have to go with more damage reduction on the amulet. I was thinking about rolling this one right here. This Viper Star, but I don't have any forgotten souls to roll the try and roll the passive. Uh how about you do hell tides? <laughs> I do need to do hell tides eventually, you're right. That's why I just told you. You're right, you're right I do. I do. Maybe he doesn't oh. have the right now there, Luke. Cody Can said that's not trade time? those freaking things, man. Just found Apple Screaming Veins. Just keep switching characters. So, uh, Where are they? The Boulder Hurricane drew it up and running. There was one up by me. Can you just log in and log out? Yeah, you can cool. you can go to a new character. No, no, you can't log in. No, I'm going to teleport you, Renek. Don't go anywhere. After the it's not on me anymore. Rotate uh, around it's not on you. It's about, it's where I first started. It's above me somewhere. It's like somewhere up there. What the heck hit me? Hmm. In here, I'm guessing it was a spider. Yeah, what? Yeah. What about the spiders? Is it close by here? What hit me? I said in here. I'm guessing it was the spider. No, oh, it's uh, by the my pen somewhere. Spiders in here are a little nasty. They blocked us out of the room. That's okay. rude. I see you can, but... Depends on the map. Oh, pen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Oh man. That stacking overpower debuff doesn't go away, does it? I, need more power. I thought it would like slowly roll go off. Past, go past the. It don't really go away. Oh no, cursed healing well. Why did it do this to me? Why? You got to put the healmancy. Oh, two events. Alright. We got two events going? <laughs> yeah, you do. Oh, God. Corpse in the back. Corpse in the back, Chunks. 
There's two of them back there just nuking. <laughs> they got me. Freaking little turds. It's on me now, Lily. Well, I'm missing out on all this sweet EXP. What am I doing? There you go. Freaking little turds. The two court two corpse foes just spawned at like the really far back of the pack and they just start nuking everybody. I need more time. Hey look, a protection shrine. My goodness. So both of them were cursed? Yep. Yes. That's, that was a lot of stuff. That's terrible. A poison dungeon, yeah. That's terrible. That was a whole lot. I don't like that. Well, good news, the resplendent chest over here wasn't cursed. Oh, who finished it? What if you had a dungeon and everything was cursed? <laughs> Not everything you click on is cursed. Like, that's the affix for the dungeon. Everything is cursed. <laughs> you just don't click on anything. <laughs> it's like, don't you touch that chest. Don't you touch that chest. Unless you have the staff. I mean, the staff seems kind of OP for this kind of stuff. I mean, nearly permanent uptime of, like, permanent crit. Channeling shrine. <laughs> Find protection shrine, like the entire the entire world. Cool. You could just keep it in your inventory and matter. swap it out for like bosses and stuff. Can we fail it, or it doesn't matter if we fail it? Doesn't matter. It was like three senders in the chest. Right, where's the first box? Are we north or south? We are north. It's east here. It's way out there, man. It's in the tips. Don't be tipping stuff on stream. Just a tip. Don't be touching tips on stream. Can't help it. All right. One more glyph to go from 15 to 21. Ugh, and then I'm done with the glyphs on this character. We'll not finish that tonight, though. I've got one more glyph to get to 15, and then I, yeah. I need time to do that. Need something special? Dude, the grandfather. <laughs> so you know how like the we talk about the attack power on the panel. I'm at 11,151 attack power with a regular sword in that slot. And I put Grandfather in that slot, and it goes up to 18,202. Vein on me, uh, Lily. It's like a 7,000 freaking... I'm up sorry, I game. can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make no sense to me. Who are you talking to? I don't know. I don't understand the words. The words is coming out of my mouth. You don't understand? Mm -mm. I'm coming for you, Chunks. Coming for your sword. Chunks is just jealous that I got a doojank and he don't got the doojank. That's right. Who's salty now? Salty. <laughs> Who's salty You still got a shotgun. <laughs> so do you. If it's any cancellation, I got mine like 20 I days ago. Lagging, like... <laughs> I, I know you got yours like 20 days ago, you turd. Uh, I'm due for some uh, RNG luck here. You got uh, a melted you... heart to say, leg. Maybe people have passed me. There's people with like five or six in the clinch. <laughs> got a melted heart of say, leg. You, you shouldn't passed me. get anything else. Sidelord passed me a long time ago, dude. <laughs> Cheer Chucks, he said you shouldn't get anything else. You're not. Yeah, we got quill rock. You're not I allowed get to get anything else. You I'm true. sitting here farming and do three lousy durrells a day all day. Three That's what I'm lousy durrells a day. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice 20% berserking damage. That'll give me a little bit of multiply. 
seven to open it. I might paint those a screaming pain. Ow! I literally just teleported into death. So did they I. were chasing you, and then they just all stopped, and they turned around, and they all jumped me. <laughs> I should have just what not I... moved. I need to learn my lesson and just stop moving when I teleport in. I didn't even register what I died to. It just, I died. Wave event, Lily. Waves of darkness. I kind of miss the days when it would tell you what you died to. Like, video games would be like, oh yeah, you died to... The X. Congratulations. Now it just says gender has slain gender. Yeah, you have slain yourself. You're like, what? <laughs> How did that happen? Hey, you guys can stay over there in your fire. How about that? Are you 89 and Stormy Daniel and still naked? What is it? Are you still naked on Stormy Daniel? <laughs> Yeah, it's the only thing I like to do on the druid. <laughs> I don't like it. The, the cosmetic for the druid. You're the one who chose chose a female druid, like the cosmetic and the male. Yeah, I, I all bad. players I choose are female. I'd rather look at female. <laughs> you would rather look at a female druid, the Rosie the O'Donnell druid. druid. Yeah, easily. That is. She looks like a, she looks like Rosie O'Donnell and a Karen had a baby. Yeah, that's basic. Oh wow, that's a perfect description. Like it's, I don't understand how you could ever look at that with any kind of sexual desire whatsoever. Like that's not, that's not, that's that's, that's no. And he called her that's Stormy like, Daniel. Like she, she looks more manly than most men men do. You need to delete this character. Right. Like, like I'm delete. surprised she doesn't have body hair. <laughs> oh, she does. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for quill rats. Oh lot. God! <laughs> Don't oh <get> God! <laughs> You know, that warning came a little bit too late, Josh. <laughs> I gave you plenty of time before you even turned that curve. So watch out for quill rats. Boy, I turned that corner. <laughs> there was ten quill rats. I started attacking one and all the others just like laser focused me and I was dead. I was watching them just wait for you. <laughs> Screaming Helvin on me right here. Oh my god, there are a lot of them up there. <laughs> oh wow, there's a pocket of Boy, I turned the corner and got nuked. <laughs> I dove in. All I heard was <laughs> dead. There was uh, there was an elite pack of quill rats up there too. <laughs> I dashed into that. Did you get it? Look, I'm just disorder. following the tradition. Ginger hates quill rats. Ginger's, but they're my arch nemesis. Got owned in the blood more. Balls of pain. Hey, thanks for the sub, Sam. Hope it was the blood more the first time we had tear zones. <laughs> Did you just run out there? He, he walked out there on his pally and got... Oh, oh my god, level 97 <laughs> paladin. That was the no, Godzilla, too. He was tanky yeah. as all get out. He was doing he was doing Players 8 Chaos by himself. He walked out and got nuked by them freaking terrorized quill rats. <laughs> he was not a badly set up character at all. And them, them quill rats put me in my place. They had no respect for you. No respect whatsoever. <laughs> they said, oh, Godzilla? You mean like, like, Poopzilla? How about that? And then I'm pretty sure one of them came over and on my corpse. <laughs> Maybe they were attracted to Rosie. <laughs> Rosie. We'll get a revenge for us. I don't know what happened to my faster run Walkman. It changed dramatically. 
Shanko and one of them makes you slower and Barkos is too powerful. Hmm. Uh, I, I That's not a bad pair of boots. Anybody want the these? Skills. Lurking stompers. Okay. The shadows? I don't I don't know. No, I don't think they're what you're looking for, though. No. Should just right here. Oh, I gotta go get the other chest and switch characters because I keep losing cinders every time I switch characters, so. Why, if we, are we gonna, is this is like a, a two chest only area or something? Yeah. yeah yes. If you switch characters, you can farm two more. You farm. I farm six every time. Eleven now. seventeen. Oh, uh, it's gonna fast. take a while to to fast farming. Yeah, it usually takes ten minutes to get three hundred, maybe less, depending on the zone. Yeah. Magic is neither good nor evil. As I said, the shards are a lot easier than eggs for me, and they're trading three to one. So I think I'm just gonna farm shards and trade for eggs. They are not trading three to ones. That's what someone said earlier. They're saying it's three to one. Oh, who said that? It wasn't Zylor and you, you in the conversation? You, I don't trust Zylor. I, oh, I, know. I, I looked in trickery. <laughs> like, you know, they go usually go one to one or he just said, maybe don't two trust to Zylor. one. Zylor's watching right now. He's like, don't so what? Uh, Zylor. Zylor will steal your, steer you wrong. There's a screaming hell vein on me if you want to see. CP, it's up to you. Just pin it, pin it, pin it for me. I'm about to log off. Hmm, I do not have that one. Do I not have another one of those? Skullbreaker, where are you? Let me know when you guys are getting close to the end. I'm trying to figure out this last aspect. Oh, a change by instance. Oh, I do have a Skullbreaker? Oh, good. Nice. I thought I didn't have a Skullbreaker there for a second. I'm putting a, a tankier amulet on. A little bit of extra damage reduction never hurts. Where is the second chest? I'm trying to spawn it on my lair because it wasn't on your lair. I got it. You can Into join the me in darkness. Time. I'll wait for you, but I gotta switch characters. Hurry up. Loading screen, loading screen. This loading screen is not my. It takes longer. This is not me. This is the connection, right? Server. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're at the boss, Ginger. I'm um, here, here. coming. He's in the air. Join me. Alright. Alright, there's my last one to 15. Nice. I've almost got my last one to 21. It's at 19 now. Are you doing Hell Tides Con Me? or no? Yeah, I am. Ah, I'm here. I see you. Where are you? I am just sent you south. Out. Okay, so. I'm south. I'm looking for the chest right now, but it's not here. I got a TP to town, <laughs> but we, I think we both have to TP to town. For it to show up. Yeah, it's this one. This one can be redone. Which yeah, one yeah, are you yeah. looking for? The the okay. south one or the northern one? Uh, the southern one. I see you on the map. Well, what's up? I'm everybody? next to your pin. I'm right next to your pin. Okay, wait for me. I'm coming then. Okay. I don't know oh, what I think happened. We've... I did change something when When the car, when I got the Shaco, I switched things around. Okay, there is a malignant heart on me here. Malignant. 
I don't know if you are close enough to get it or not. You got it? Oh, no. No, I didn't. Is everyone done in there? I am uh, There's finished, screaming yes. Helvin here. And screaming Helvin right next to me. Go run. How's everybody doing? I'm alright, how all right. about you? I'm doing pretty good, man. Congrats on your uh, Cadillac Dujanks. My Cadillac Dujanks. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, so... Cause that's the way, uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. We have to all go to town, I think, and then come back. For the yeah, chest okay. up here. Well, I had it on oh, no. layer on my bar, but I'm trying to get you guys to join, but you're taking like 10 minutes. Oh, what Oh, the... oh. I, I didn't oh, is that why you left? Sorry. I'm coming. I didn't understand what you were, you were saying. What do we got on where? Are we all in town? There, I'll drop you guys. Can do. Okay. It's easier if you just drop group and then invite the first person gets it, invites the other one. Nice. Oh. <laughs> then you have twice the chance or three times the chance. Freaking death here. pulses. Oh no. That's what it was, is the death pulses. Yeah, they're they nasty. Me. I was in there. Good. There's a screaming Hellbane by it too, Lily. I did get this one up, like a little bit uh, west, right? Yes, correct. What the hell's going on? Me use my abilities. It's weird. I was trying to use my okay. ability and it wouldn't go off. Right to party. Not... Did you find it? Yeah, yeah. I invited you, I don't know. Get the other one now. This dude over here has got some H double P. <laughs> uh, he's getting healed. All right. <laughs> I got my last Nuked one. Nuked right Tony. outside the bubble. Okay, there's a... No. Nuked. An ore. I guess so. My last one to 20. Almost done. I think I'm going to go do the world boss and be done for the night. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get this last chest. And I'm going to go do the world boss and be done too. Five minutes? Yeah, five minutes. Yep. Six minutes. Start heading there. We should have been there 35 minutes ago. Well, perfectly honest. Meow is not there, to, like, so we gotta get there, right? What? So, yeah. Meow's yeah. not there? He should be holding it for us. Whoa. He's, he's probably there, but he's like, set to invisible or something. Meow, you're getting docked points. Yeah, we expect a TP on you every time there's a world boss. Yeah. Three hours in advance, and there's five minutes here. Minimum three hours. Minimum. I gotta actually run there now. This is terrible. You should create a character and have one in every zone. <laughs> yeah, one in every world boss one. Yeah. Just call, call, call me out. <laughs> call them all and, me out. All right, there are a lot of 100s in this. Uh, this thing's just gonna flop over. Yay. That's 300. I need time to do that. That's why. I need time to do that. I need time. To do that. Wow, there is a lot of 100s. Yeah, there's definitely one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six. 
It's gonna lag up. Will lag up. Oh man, yeah, with the sorks, it lags up every time. It's just... There's too many hits, the game can't take it. Yeah. Each one of those little tiny balls, he's doing t too much damage. Well, that's the funny thing. Like, every now and then I'll hear people say, oh, end game, like, they should just build raids into this. It's like, oh my god. It, 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 oh. You imagine raids in this thing if they can't even process, like, a world boss? I'm trying to figure out what's going on when he swings his swords. So apparently when he swings his two two-handed, one-handed swords, he just, like, holds them together and just swings them as one. Okay, you can kind of see it on the back swing. Hold on. No, he's actually swinging both weapons. He's not just holding his hands together. Okay. Swinging them swords and swing a swing a swing and swing a lang a lang a lang a swing a lang a lang and who drops Black River? Everybody drops Black River. Even um, Black River is Duriel actually. Duriel. I think he drops from one of the other guys too. I don't know if it's Duriel. But since it's a weapon, not. you probably want to do Duriel. You know, so it rolls nine twenty five. Oh. Yeah. Uh, actually does not drop from anyone else other than Duriel. Yeah, Duriel is the is the Black River King. Oh, Black River for Necro, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone at the world boss? Uh, yeah, two, yeah we're, I'm here. Yes. They're both we have full gun? groups. We have full yeah, sure. Mm. We all invite to party. Thank you. Obviously, Grandfather would be insane for a, a Bone Spear build, too. I wonder how badly they oh, nerfed man. it. Oh, man. Oof. Bone Spear. Like, it needs more power. <laughs> bone Just Spear. Take it down a peg or two. I mean, they also reduced all the health of all the monsters in the game, though, so... One second, world boss. I'm not even going to have time to spool up. <laughs> Monster's going to be dead by the time I spool up. <laughs> the, the sad part is I just realized I have full whispers. Is this a... Oh, it is a whisper. It's always a whisper. And the lag. And he's dead. Yeah, I didn't even get a chance to fully spool up. <laughs> it's great. Oh yeah, we're getting spawns. Let's go. Oh yeah, we got some spawns. Did we get any spawns? spawns? No, we didn't get spawns. Oh, you guys suck. You guys like, we killed him. And... Yes, stole all our spawns. I didn't get any. Did you get any drops? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get any. Yeah, we didn't get any. He died you guys in the half stole all our spawns. You, you guys killed him so mess. fast. I got a bone and a. Anybody want dead. this sword as a, uh, a stat stick? It's actually pretty nice. Stat stick sword. Dread horror. No horror for you. All right, I'm off to bed. We'll catch you guys later. He goes to sleep. Wow, some pretty nice pants, too. Man, if I wasn't using to bolts. Look at these freaking pants. These aren't bad. Oh, yeah.
Are these labels for sure, dude? This would have been perfect for the bar. That damage reduction is almost as much as damage reduction to close. That's funny. Oh, yeah, and then it's got poison res, but you could reroll that to something else. Poison res roll's not bad either. All right, I desperately need some Forgotten Souls. So... I need just a little bit more glyph XP. I guess I need to go down to the Helltide before it ends. Start riding around looking for screaming hell veins. You get them from opening the chest too, right? I forgot souls, yeah. Yeah. You get seven for the big chest, three for the small chest. Me There's one soul left of the Regiani waypoint for your screaming helping your first one. You got the Necro Ring. Nice, Jester. What'd you get? What rolls did you get? Anything good? What'd you say? There's one near the Weijahani waypoint? Yeah, it's the left. Weijahani? To the west of it. Weijahani! You know you're in the Blood Harvest, not the Helltide, right? I'm a teleporting to you. Okay. I don't have that waypoint. I was gonna I was gonna steal the waypoint from you. Where's the screaming hell vein next to the way of Hey, I'll show you where the two. I think I know where the three of them. Cause I just got two. I'm searching around Weijahani right now. Where are you? It's All around Weijahan. You can come to me though. There's one on me. Weijahani. I need time to do that. And I'll take you to the other one. Follow me. Yeah, because that's more oh. forgotten souls for you. Yeah, I'll make you want to leave. It's all just doing some moves, thank you. Five characters has completely depleted my forgotten souls. The other one's up here. It's just terrible. Yeah, I was down to 60 the other day, now I'm back up to like 400. And farm and health. Down here. Yeah, I was just showing Ginger the other thing. Nice, grats, Jester. Yeah, you always got to make sure that you, um, you're not comparing an unupgraded item to an unupgraded item, unless you can work out the math in your head. Honestly, the easiest way to do it is just to upgrade. <laughs> I'm I'm guilty of this. I'll just upgrade the item. I'm like, all right. Like I don't really, I want to want to work the math out in my head. Let me just upgrade them and I'll compare them directly. A nice little addition would be um, adding in instead of just the top roll and the the bottom roll. You could put like a percentage there. So that way you could tell which one's like better. So kind of like in the case of say, um, Tabolts. 
Like, instead of saying 8 to 20 maximum resource, it would say, like, uh, 0 to 100%. And then, like, if it was, say, 18, it would probably say, like, 95% or something like that, or 90%. And then when you compare it to the other one and it says, like, 70%, you would immediately know that it's not the best roll. One second, one second. Like, comparatively. Okay. I just wanted to get the screaming veins. I am I'm really tired. Uh oh, just hit level anything. 99. I just hit max level, boys. I, just, I just hit max level, level 99. Nice. Woo! Okay. Oh, yeah. You were there. Bye. You can just TP to me when we get to the first one. I need more time. Okay, where are we going? Huh. I just opened the screaming hellbane again if y'all can hit it again. Forgotten souls. Spoon. Oh, no, it's taking long. I thought you were with Ginger, too. I was, and the group was full, so then I dropped to get you, your health, and your things. Understand? I, um... Mm. So now, come, come here, there's one here. It's, I'm stuck. Can I get disconnected? No. There's one here, and then we'll go down to the other one, and then we'll go down to the third one. Okay, come down to the one over here by the river. I just got this. Oh yeah, you gonna do them durial rounds? Hmm. I mean, you want to do it? I got Do you got your team with you today, or is it just you? There's was one that you found over here somewhere. Because we really can out. be your team. Right. <laughs> hey, team. Oh, dang, nabbit. Can we stop clicking random stuff on here, please? Do you remember where the one you found up here was, Lily? I remember you, oh. told, you told me. It was like against this wall somewhere. I think it's... Holy Jesus. I just like touch monsters out here in the open world. What do we do? Run into the pits of hell down here? If I just oh, touch them, they immediately get like that. full bleed know. damage on their bar and they just start dying. I don't even have to do anything. Freaking meteors oh. and everything flying around up here. What's up, Sparky? Oh, you know. It's doing the hell tide thing. Do we know where a chest is yet? Chris Baspel says he has tons of Duriel runs that he wants to do. I got a ton too, but I need to go to bed. Oh, he's got a lot. He said a la la. I got time for a couple. La 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 la. Me too, for sure. <laughs> That's about it. I gotta work. Oh, yeah, we found a trick to killing Duriel really, really fast. So you know how he always likes to charge away, and then, and then after he charges away, he digs under the ground, and it's like a whole, it's like a whole thing. So basically, if you, um, if you all dogpile behind him, on his first spawn, he charges into the wall, and you can just continue to wail on him as he's charging into the wall, and usually you can kill him before he goes under the ground the first time. 
even with four people, even with like it's it's pretty good. Okay, guys, so have a good night. And, Holy crap. Uh, these are really nice, Leon. What do you think of these fiend crushers, sir? Yeah, fiend crushers. They're nice. They just have the wrong implicit. The wrong implicit. Oh, life. you don't want the... Evade gives movement speed. What? That's terrible. Yeah, it's like tri res or death on boots. It's still sad. Tri res one of the same too. Triple of eight. Those boots are good stats though. Those are the stats I was looking for. Yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't want them. Nah, nah, he doesn't want them. And they're like perfect, except for the implicit. You didn't do anything wrong. The game, the game got us. The game got us good. Your pin is on the chest, Crisp. I got 263. I was trying to open one chest at least. I got two, 285. I got 320-something. Ninety six. Now I'm good. Where's the pin at? Over there? Yeah, I'm headed over there. Uh, it's on me. There's a chest on me, anyways. Job one. You got a mic? Well, if you if you got a mic and you're in Discord, if you hop on the Discord, you could uh. Come chat with us. I can't do that here. I'm sure one of us can drag you in. Oh, I'm gonna drag. What's up, Chevy man? God, there's so many ladders on the way. Goblin. I just got one too. He didn't drop nothing. Leandre. Hello, Mr. Leandre. Where's Leonard? Where is he? Did I go the wrong way? I thought the living steel chest was over here somewhere. I don't see that. Ooh, I do see a screaming hell van, though. I need more time. Well, here, let me, um... Let me drop party real quick. Doc, is, there a, is that chest over here? And I'll go back to town and come back. Uh, there is one down in there at the bottom somewhere. I got the bug. I got the whole bug. The buggy bug. I got the whole buggy bug and just the bug and bugs. Hmm, still not here. No, no, I don't see him. This is very upsetting. Crap. Bulb. 
Obly live obly bows. Looks like there's one right down in here. Well, where's the first one so I can go to that one, I guess. I can't get this one to spawn. Next to me. Spool it up on uh, You're up north or down way. south, Ginger? I'm up north. I'm in, I'm in the one that's not working way down for here. me for some reason. I see it on my layer. I'll invite you. Okay, it's all the so way down here. I'm at. Definitely live. Yeah, it's supposed to be right here, but it's not. Nice. It's lies to me. The other one's supposed to be down there somewhere. It is up on my layer if you want to invite Ginger. Up to you. Oh yeah, shoot me an invite. Or um, let me find you. That works too. Something rots this place. The hell did it just do to me? Well, I know I'm not gonna get another three hundred, but I got one of them. Well, we got some durials to do, boys. I'm in. We got 40 Durials to do. I need time Sorry, I had to teleport back to town. I don't know why you can't teleport to people from any of the, the satellite areas. Khan's got some, so we get Khan in there. Maybe we get him at Cooper Unique. Uh, I got, then, no, I gotta go to bed. You gotta go to bed. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I'm so sad. I've only got time for like <laughs> two. Right, so you do a couple chunk, and then we get someone else in there. Get chunky in there. I oh, mean, I'm still, I'm still uber unique list myself. So we get you in there. We got yeah. it. It's easy. Did you get it, Tinder? All right, I got my living steel. I'm going back to Okay. My bot. Bot, do your thing, bot. I didn't mean to ban you by accident. There you go. There's the Discord, Crisp. Um, if you hop into one of the voice chats that you have access to, I can drag you up to the this. We're we're in a special kinship only one. Good God, I just horse right on past the goblin. Another one. Super secretive channel. There's wild silos up here. <laughs> Mr. Norris. Yep, that's crispy apples. I uh, like them apples. What's going on? Right, good night, you guys. Night, night. Hey, take care, buddy. All right. So what happened to your group? Your group's not with you tonight? Uh, no. Well, we did about 20 or 30 runs earlier, but one dude, his baby has not been sleeping, so he hasn't been sleeping, so he went to bed early. Uh. I, for one, I'm kind of glad. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so who's who's coming on the Dujank? Pumpkin get, Big Pimpin? Get some I'm people in here who don't have any simple. super uniques. That's the that's the main thing. Mr. Pimpin. All right, so Big Pimpin yeah, is Sparky, name. right? So Sparky's in here. Yep, and I think Chuck can do a couple, he said, so get him in for the couple. And he's out. Okay. Hmm. So are you going to bed soon, Chunks? Yeah, I gotta work in the morning. Okay. So I got time for like two. All right, and then when Chunks hops tops. off, we can pull somebody else in. I switched my whole build out from yesterday. I'm doing a bleed build now. Yeah, I've what did seen you, that. What did you find the grandfather on? Were you on your barb? Yeah, barbar. I know it can drop on the necro. I just. I. Curious. I was like, you know what? I was like, let's do the barbarian because the other characters don't have a chance to get the grandfather. I could have done the necro too. I mean. Yeah, necro can get it. That's why I, I didn't know. It's unfortunate that my build on the Necro is literally damage over time, which doesn't get any crit, so. Do we just port to you, Chris? Yeah, you can. Oh yeah, he's already it. he's already there. I ain't got the space for this. <laughs> I ain't got space. I know I'll probably have to clear some out here pretty quick too. you guys get any more uber uniques? Uh, no. Nothing yet. Alright, so when Duriel spawns, everybody stack up behind Duriel. Way up north. We, Way we, up north. We found this out. It works so well. Now, you don't have to ever worry about him moving the entire time. He's just right here behind him where, where I'm we're standing. You can evade in, Sparky. Evade in. Get in there. See, and he, what he does is he charges up against the wall, and then you don't have to worry about him moving, and then he dies before oh, he, he even goes under the ground. Like, he's, he's dead. I'm not gonna worry about him. Oh, it makes the run, it quick. makes the run so much faster if you do this. That way you don't have to worry about him going all over the whole place, being stupid. <gasps> What'd you get? Somebody did a hoo Oh my god. No. Well, First. Dude, I just I got the that ain't even the Uber Holy unique. But it was shit. definitely I was definitely looking for it. The old Tibalt's will, my first one. Who got Holy what? Man, shit. Uh oh, somebody got nice. some, somebody got a good We got good. a shake a lock a lock a low. Holy cow! No way. Congratulations. Congratulations. First run. Sweet Look at that. First run. Let's go ahead and get that one out of the way. <laughs> you ain't good. Wow. Jesus. First I gotta sell roll. some stuff, man, real quick before we roll back in there. I, I'm packed full. Oh, I'm gonna... Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do the same like every single time. I, need I can go through it pretty quick. Man, to balls. Sweet. Mm, Gunslayer crown, 36%. It's poopy. Feel everything in here. Character's pretty set, so if I miss something, oh well. well I'm going to be looking for an amulet. If a really nice amulet drops, I'm going to jump on that. I need one. I need. I need me one dims. I need uh, me one dim dims. Oh, I don't know why I'm party leader. Yeah, why are you still in there, chunks? Well, I didn't know I was party leader there, buddy. Oh. <laughs> yes. I wasn't in there. I was standing outside the door waiting. Now I can play with a combo points bug. <laughs> and when he's running, I've got I've got enough mats for five runs. Two two right. And oh wait. <laughs> Crazy. Man. Good old Harlequin Harlequin Quest. That's Harlequin yeah, that's like the Quest only one that I was looking for. 
Oh, wow. he's like, that's it. We're done. <laughs> We're done. That's it. 40 runs of, oh, nope, nope, we're done at one run. That's it, one run. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> ching, 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 ching. I still have Hectic on. Did I have Hectic in my build plan? I don't remember if I had that in my build plan. Yeah. I could do I, I could do the other one. I don't, I don't know I if I necessarily... I prepared for him to die that quick. <laughs> Boy, if you if you do this little thing, then this little trick, this one little trick, he dies so fast. Half of half of the fight with him is literally him running around, knocking people back, like going under the ground, popping back up. He does he does like he tries to eat you and like. But if you do this little trick right here, you could literally just keep DPSing him for a, for a good period of time before he ever goes under the ground. Yeah, I and, what my barb would do to him. and holding him still like that is great. And then we got a lot of DPS, so. Are all three of us down here? Alright, we're all four uh, of us. <laughs> we're all stacked on top of each other. <laughs> right, right, so. I don't uh, think good Sparky's start. down here. Yeah, I am. Yep, he's on top of you, right, Chunks. Everybody good, okay. okay. I couldn't see him by the air. I think, we, I think you do have to kill these guys to spawn Duriel, though, don't you? Yeah. Alright, we'll get him. Okay, he's dead. I'm pretty sure we yeah, have he's dead. Good enough mess for five runs if anyone wants to go. You got any super uniques yet, Speedy? Nope. No. Oh, well, well, you, you can come in here. You need to get in here then. Or get you in there. Not the Deathless Visage or Greaves of Tomb or Penitent Penitent Greaves either. Nah. Holy shit! I got before. a second one. What? I've just been col collecting mats. I am no, not. What? I am not kidding you. I now have two Harlequin crests. <laughs> what? Okay, so you can put one that. on your head and you can put one it's on your because butt. Because of your 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 generosity, man. That's what got you. Mm -hmm. That's Jesus. what got you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You were blessed. Oh wow! In the arms yeah. of <laughs> an yeah. angel. Put your shadows in here. Dead gun. All right, now try and trade it with somebody. Quick. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> Man, it's a shame you can't, right? <laughs> wow. Well, at least you got a couple of rolls. You're the leader now, Ginger. I seen as the leader. I seen. I seen you did. All right, this is my last spot. Well, good. We can get speedy in here now. Two Shacos in a row. 23 days of no Shacos and three Shacos in two days. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. Wow. Two in a row wow. is insane. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Actually, I think this one did roll different than the first one, too. Like, real different. No, they <laughs> all roll max. Yeah, but I think different stats, though. A long it takes to get these mats. I don't think they roll differently. No, they don't. They all roll maximum. You need to you need to upgrade it though. That's the thing. So yeah. the stats might look different because you don't have it upgraded. Yeah, that's fair. True point. All right, everybody down here. Uh, Not that you want to waste the upgrade on a second shocker. <laughs> But I guess you don't gotta character. swap it between characters anymore like a peasant. <laughs> oh, you peasants have to swap your Shaco between characters? <laughs> Ain't me. You poor peasant knights. Two of each, right? Two mucus and two shot. Two shot. Two shot. Yeah. 
he's dead. Casual 909,000 damage bleeds. Boy is just bleeding to death. No triple. No triple? Aww. Nah, I ain't that good, I'm sorry. I got a banished <laughs> Lord's Talisman. That's exactly what I got. Sweet. I swear, I've been noticing a, 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 a trend. Because a lot of us will call out our drops. And we'll call out drops, and it's like the same exact drop across like three people. <laughs> right. There's actually a, a little clip of literally me and Meow. Like, we both called out that we got the armor at the same exact time, and then called out that it was the soul brand at the exact same time. I need time to do that. Alright, so Chunks is gone. Now we need another one. Come on, Speedy, get in there. Chris, I appreciate it, man. Where's the I definitely at? appreciate the runs. Man, my buddies are going to be upset. Did you got two Shacos in a row? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, hey, well, at least buddy. they'll believe you. You can pull up the stream. Yeah. You can be like, That's <laughs> insane, man. That was almost back-to-back -back runs, wasn't it? Was there one between there? No, yeah, it was. Back oh, I forgot to reset no. it, didn't I? I'm an idiot. Good Lord. I forgot to reset it. Like, my one buddy has a lot more runs than I do, too. He's probably about 100 more runs than me, and he has yet to get a single unique. And I've now gotten... That was three for me. My very first kill was the... The, what thing, the ring or whatever, whatever the hell the name of it is. Hop out to Dungeon real quick. Go down. Night. Take care, buddy. Have a good day tomorrow. Dude, the ring of the Star of the Sky looks insane. If I had that thing, I would make a character like totally around... Uh, a core skill. Something crazy. <laughs> I don't know what. Just like spam the core skill. Yeah, I all scrapped the time. it. I didn't know it was an Uber until after I scrapped it. Now I realized what the hell it was. I looked up all the Uber names and. You scrapped said, the like Ring the of the Starless Sky? Yeah, it was like the very first oh Dorio kill that we did. So I had no idea what it was. And it was like completely anti my build. So I'm like, why would I want that? Boy, boy, <laughs> you could literally spam a core skill. Well, well, you know. Are you not using core skills? <laughs> I mean, I am, but you realize that literally, literally, what it lets you do is it refunds forty percent of the cost to the point where literally you can basically just spam the core skill forever for free. Ne you, you basically never have things, to use so. a basic skill again. Hold on. It might be a different one. It might be the amulet. Yeah, killer for the and ball. The amulet is OP too. Well, whichever whichever one it was, I remember that it was very anti my build, so I scrapped it. If so. I had that amulet, I would put it on right now. Like the, the, it would just it's ridiculous for the tankiness aspect. That's fair. Uh, and also tank. damage. It scales it scales my damage quite a bit as well. Ramalani's has a 0.4 multiplier per point of fury, and it's 30. It's 30 extra fury, so it's just a, an additional multiplier, even more than what I already have. Hmm. I've never, <clears throat> I've never played a different build other than the rogue. Plus, I have infinite fury. Okay, so imagine that. It it turns your it turns the damage that you take into damage to your fury, and I have infinite fury. I never run out of fury, like ever. Nice. So if I had the freaking melted heart of Saleg, it would make me invincible. I am invincible. Leon has a melted heart of Saleg. I love it too. It's really good. On the basic build, where you can keep that resource coming back. He's gonna run. Oh no, he ran away. You guys are facing the wrong direction. See, now this is a slow kill. We're doing a slow kill here. This is amateur action. Who is the one who didn't do the thing? It's probably Speedy, because Speedy's new. Oh, me. Yeah. Ooh, a ring and a helm. Ooh, it'd be. 
Did y'all get a ring too? Yep. I did too. Where's the ring? Oh, X Falls? Okay. He dropped me. Did he really dropped me white pants. I got a freaking blue rose. The blue rose is nice. Just leave dungeon and then come. Yeah, we just leave dungeon, then I'll reset, and then. And then I just we just we just come right back. Okay, so what we're doing, Speedy, I'm gonna figure it. So we figured out that he basically charges in the direction that he's facing. It's really simple. Mm -hmm. So to kill him really fast, to basically prevent him from charging away, which makes it harder for us to obviously DPS him and kill him. Uh, we're all basically huddling behind him, so that when he charges, he charges into the wall. Yeah, just stack on top of each other. Yeah, basically. we just stack on top of each other behind but, him, and, but, and he runs but, into the wall. It's it's great. Really try to stack, though. Don't try to be like a little bit around the the, the <laughs> rock or whatnot. If you get it just right, he'll he'll charge to the left, and he'll just yeah. Yeah, it's a little it's a little wonky sometimes, but yeah, you should we should be okay. Oh yeah, reset. Yeah, it's a solid method, though. Oh, it it makes the right, run so much quicker. faster because if you if he doesn't oh, go yeah. under the ground or you kill him. Even after he goes under the ground with the bleeds, which I think we got a lot of bleed damage, he's um, he it just it just prevents that whole other phase from happening. So, yeah, I'm on my way back. I need time to do that. I think it also helps us just simply because it, it just gives us more time to DPS too, like because we're not chasing him around the map. I did reset it, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, somebody else popped that Durial run. It wasn't me. Yeah, I think Speedy said he had some. Yeah, I've got four more left at least. I've got some mats that I haven't made up yet, so I'm popping this one. Ready? All good? Ready yeah. when you are. What do we do? We just hang back here, do we? Yeah, just stack on top. That's fine. We just gotta kill these two monsters and then we're good. And then Duriel pops up. And then we... <laughs> Look at all them bleeds! Oh, 1.5 mil. Oh, 1.5 mil bleeds. <laughs> Double helm drop. What? They can't do. both. Well, no, it could be a God Slayer, and it could be a uh, uh, Tusk Helm. It could be God Slayer and Tusk. Oh, Andy's. Andy's baby. Good lord, I got, I got another blue rose. Hey. God slay it. Damn it. Wait, oh. I just teleported. I think that just said what I think it said. Holy cow. He's got another really? build coming. <laughs> Holy cow. See, that's the only other thing that I would want. <laughs> man, look at that. The double, the double hound drop. Ugh, man, that's, that's sexy. For. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, right I'm going to put it I'm gonna put it on. Yeah. That Andaril's a saga go put, perfectly on I'll that poison rogue, out. wouldn't it? I'm putting this on my head. Let's go right on my head. We just stand right out here outside the dungeon. <laughs> Is that the strat? Just exit dungeon and stand here until it resets? Yeah. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm trying to reset it, but whatever. somebody's still in there. All right, there we go. Upgrading the I'm not picking up anything except for the killer stuff. I'm just leaving everything else laying there. I mean, this is not really the helmet for this build, but that looks warm. I, can I don't care. Boop, 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 boop. I think my druid might be converting to a uh, to a poison poison druid. Blue rose damaging an enemy has a thirty ch thirty percent chance to form an exploding eye spike. Can't believe freaking Andy's face is just dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I, you know, at this point, I could pretty much just destroy every helmet I get. At this point, I got a Shaco on an Andy's visage. Like none yeah. of the helmets are worth anything to me anymore. Yep. 
hey, it'll make for running runs a little bit faster. You know, you never need a helmet. Never need helmets. I put it on my head. I'm going to socket it. I'm putting a socket in it. I'm put it. I'm, if you like it, then you better put a socket in it. I got a blessing on that one. Boy, how do I go like 23 days with nothing and then all of a sudden, bam, it's like bam, bam, bam. Now you're rich. Bam, 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 bam. I saw everybody get Andy's visages too. Meow got Andy's visage. Freaking. Xylor has two. Xylor got two of them. Um, oh yeah, I'm doing a. I'm doing like a. Maybe we'll do like a shred claw build. That'd be really fun. You've already got your druid mostly built, right? Yeah, yeah. So I could. Uh, you know what I could probably do? I could maybe convert the claw into a poison build because claw has that scaling poison damage on it. Maybe go with the poison claw. Set it up as basic anyway. Scale the poison. Y'all let me know when it's good to come in this cr this crevice. You're, I'm scared to go in here and mess anything up. Come on in. It's ready. I don't want to upset the. The order is is uh, we kill the real, everybody leaves, reset, everybody joins. So as soon as it's reset, you can join. It don't matter. So once you see the reset pop up and it works, you can just hop right in. Yep. Yeah, and if you, you you can either leave dungeon, just stay outside, or if you go back to town, your best bet is just to wait till we're all down here and then just teleport to us. That way yeah, you don't have to run the whole dungeon. That's what I was doing. I was standing in town just watching yeah. your portal, and whenever you got down in here, I knew you were here. I almost messed up the stacking. Dude, I love this ta attack speed on freaking Andy's too. It's got a lot of attack speed on it. Oh, it did. It's got, uh, what, 15% attack speed? It's insane. 90% poison res? What the ham biscuit? Boy, they ain't this. playing around with that poison res, is they? There it is, fully upgraded. They never, they never got to worry about no poison res. Again. Right. You get another one. Good. Wait, did you really get another one? Who got another one? <laughs> No, I thought I, I misunderstood. My bad. Look, look, I was gonna say, dang. <laughs> no, I linked the upgraded. <laughs> I linked the upgraded crazy. version. I got I mean, excited and picked up a god slayer. Because it doesn't, it doesn't show the 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 upgraded. Yeah, upgraded. You gotta link it again. Jesus Christ. Oh, nice. nice. Perfect Edge Masters. I love it when I get a Perfect Edge Master. Oh, another way to tell Speedy, and this is a really simple way, is um, when you come into the, the dungeon, there's always the Fog of War. So if you, if you join the dungeon and the Fog of War is already discovered, then you know for a fact that, that that's already been done. But if you will come in and the fog of war hasn't been already discovered, then you know that it's a new dungeon, and you obviously it's it's fine to hop in. Y'all see this? Do y'all see this little green thing here? It looks like a poison trap back here. Yeah, we got a yeah, uh, we I got a poisoner in here. Sweet, I'm like, wow. Here's a little spot that tells us right where to go. Dude, the Come poison on, Harley Quest. The poison Nova could be more pronounced, but it's it, it actually does some pretty crazy damage. Ginger, which one are you gonna roll, man? You're gonna leave the Harlequin quest on your barb and use the other one on your druid? 
Yeah, this one isn't for the Barbarian. It's poison. I don't really have any reason to do poison on this character. I think Leon was crafting up some crazy Barbarian that does, like, all elemental yep. damage. Mm -hmm. And, that, that, would be and in the that would be the perfect for his build. That would be in the build. Doombringer would be in the build. It actually would complete the build. Million, 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 million. That's freaking crazy watching those like million, million bleeds just proc. It's so easy to build them too. He can get his head up out of the ground. <laughs> My bird is and I'll see this awesome. Oh wow, a perfect God Slayer. Flame Scar. Banish loads tell us the moon. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> Sixty times God Slayer is still a pretty amazing helmet. I think the God Slayer and the like the Tempest Roar are some of the only helmets that can actually compete. With the with the yeah, I like, I like the God Slayer. It's pretty sweet. I need time to do that. Definitely, what I'd be rocking. Well, that times sixty God Slayers going in the stash. In case I need that for I, a, mine, for I a got bay lucky. I got lucky and found a sixty-two myself. That's what I got on. I need more time. A sixty God Slayer, pretty sweet. God Slayers are very nice on. I would not be mad to be wielding that until I had like something better. It's just very, very good. Well designed, fun. I was playing around with that ring of trickery earlier on my rogue. I, I don't actually use the uh, smoke, the subterfuge skill, smoke grenade, but I, I put an aspect on my the quickening fog on my boots. That's pretty fun. Yep, right at the end of your, not dash, but the other one that goes a long way. Yeah. It leaves a little little thing in there that taunts them. <laughs> Do you corn the long way? I'll probably end up just going, getting rid of that because it's really just gimmicky. It works pretty good, though, for some crowd control, though, when you're doing things above your head, you know? I did I dare have to all build around that. It's like all that stuff. I got a Tabalt's wheel though. Now I can play with the combo points thing with my with my rogue. <laughs> I think it's great. I, I want a one shot something. I've got an over two dozen Tabalt's wheel, and That's only not... and only one of them has been rolled decent enough to be able to wear for that, and it. Like, it's the one that I'm wearing now. It rolled a 18 out of 20. You so, know what? I didn't, even, I didn't even look at mine. Man, I, all, you're, you're, all of them have been trash. That's that the one gotten. that adds to your... Yeah. That number's the one that adds up, huh? Yeah. I think it's a mix between that and then the, the legendary effect. Sometimes it feels like when he's about to die, he dives down, and it's like deliberate. He's trying to avoid. You're not kidding me. I'm hiding. Oh, he's like, I'm out of here, suckers. Time to die. An amulato, banished lord talisman, most likely. Got the ring. 
You're kidding me. <laughs> What'd you get? Ring of the Starless Guy? No. Uh, another Blue Rose. Oh, yeah. That thing, got, that thing drops three, pretty right? often. That's a good... I, I think there's a whole character you can make around that ring, though. Yeah, an ice, some kind of ice sork or use the ice spike in, in some kind of way. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Like, I feel like if you use that ring with the blizzard ice spike thing and then you combine it with the uh, ice heart rise, um, and then the, there's also another aspect. Um, it's like something that gives it like a 40% chance to freeze enemies or something. There's a whole the bunch of little things that you that... could do. And, and before you know it, you could have like literally freezes just procking all over the place. Ross Nova's just pop, pop, pop everywhere. Exactly. That, that, braze, that braze is pretty nuts. I mean, if you it's set it up, if you set it up aspect, properly, no. it might be almost um, cascading. Like it would, it would just cascade across the room. Almost, it's hard to give up that. You know, when you get start doing those really deep dungeons. All the little gimmicky stuff you got to get rid of and go real with the aspects and stuff like if, that. If you can DR. permanently freeze the monsters in a tier 100 dungeon, it don't matter. <laughs> right. Like, For if sure. they're all frozen and they're not moving, you, you don't have anything to worry about at that point. <laughs> they're not killing nothing. CC. I'll be like, oh, look, what are you killing? You're frozen. I don't know. There's a lot of modifiers too that for the sorceress where it's like double the damage or triple the I'm damage if you're check it out. if you're running like if the monster's frozen and you can freeze everything except for the boss. Even the elites get frozen and stuff too. Yeah. So I just looked it up. It was the melted heart is the uh, over unique that I scrapped. Oh man. Yeah, that's the that's the Melted that's the heart. that honestly I think that one is very very underestimated. With yeah, how for me it, it just is. seemed like it's like I I have a lot of resource problems anyway. I mean, not really a lot, I guess not not now really, but I used to really have a lot of resource problems being as the rogue. So it just seemed that it just would be anti <laughs> my build. So I didn't really care enough, it and I didn't know it was an uber unique. Otherwise, it probably would have just. Kept it, but it's not ready yet. it is what it is. <laughs> so sad. What do you run for your rings, man, on your rogue? Because uh, if you run, if you run, if you run a decent ring of the umbral and a and a ravenous ring. Yeah, see, that's the yeah, that's the thing. This What's game is giving me two Harlequin quests now, and it's given me a total. Of three umbral rings the entire time I've been playing season what, two, and what all the, three of them have rolled the, the lowest possible. Uh, what what's your main yeah, core skill? Good. What are you running for core skill? Uh, right now, uh, twisted blades. Hmm. But you're using yeah, imbuements. You're building, using imbuements. I'm right? building. Oh yeah, I'm I'm pure shadow. Uh, pu not shadow. Po pure poison build. Oh, in the tree down at the bottom, there's a lucky hit um, chance to restore resource. Passive. You might want to look into that one. That thing will uh, will build your resource up very quickly. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. Is there... Okay, actually, there is... Maybe one of you guys would know this question. I was wondering this earlier. The big thing that makes my build shine is... I think it's like Bursting Venoms, maybe? Or basically it gives yeah. me that pool of infinite poison imbuement. Right. Is there a way that I could increase that 15% chance of spawn rate of it? No. No, yes. if you can increase your lucky hit chance. Right. So also in that same place where I just told you the other one is, there's also another passive, which is in, it increases your lucky hit chance when you're using a imbued skill. It's like by 15%. Yeah, if you get lucky hit, so if you're uh, has a good chance to restore your gener your resource too is really nice. Yeah, so what you, since you're using an imbuement, which is the poison imbuement, mm -hmm. yeah. and if you stack those two, the lucky hit one while imbued skills, and then the other one that it restores resource, usually I can almost completely maintain my resource just mm -hmm. just using those. Interesting. Might have to try that. 
You want to it's not like this. a huge problem, but sometimes it becomes an issue, especially when that um, poison pool does not spawn. The two things to get that to spawn more are stacking lucky hit chance and attack speed. Those are the two things you can do. But you can't increase that 15% static. Yeah, okay. Unless you use penetrating shot. Yeah, see, that's the other thing. I, I love, like, that penetrating shot rapid fire build, but for me, it's just, it makes sense if you play solo to do that build, because it's like the more enemies there are, kind of the more damage you do, and just. Did I reset know. it yet? I don't even remember. No. Okay, reset it. Mm -hmm. What's the lucky hit on Twisting Blades? Is it low? Yeah, all right. I think it's low. Yeah, I got 5% uh, chance. 33 chance. 33%. I'll be right there. Ten <laughs> chance. So basically every three attacks, 15%. Well, it's a 50% <clears throat> lucky hit chance, so... It's like 25 to 30 attacks it takes you to proc it. And if you can get that resource gen on, on, on for a Sork on your focus and on your armor, on your uh, wrist, and you can do a pretty good lucky hit, you don't, you don't even... It just pops right back every time you lucky hit. Yeah, now the... Uh... Starting to actually get some decent stuff. I'm gonna have to do a rebuild sometime soon. He's on to us, isn't he? Aw, uh, did he get away? Oh, no, he didn't get away. <laughs> it's hard to tell, you know, sometimes. Oops. Got our boots and a ring oh, on that. Oh, the helmet set the speed. <clears throat> what did you else get? Anyone get anything? Wait, what? You got double helms? No, I was asking. Did anyone get anything good? Uh, I'm pretty sure if anybody finds anything, anything, they're really screaming. I've gotten some pretty good <laughs> stuff. It's none of the stuff that you guys are thinking, but way better than what I had for, for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of good upgrades in these 925s that they keep driving. Got my so. first pair of Tabalts, so I'm going to put that Tabalts to good use for sure. Going right on my Rogue. Yeah, that Tabalt's fun. I, I put it in the stash, or I tell you, I tell you what the resource rolled. I, I didn't even look. Like to get a big fat twenty on that one, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good luck. <laughs> I gotta build a whole character around Antarios now. Oh, I feel so bad. It's terrible. It's, terrible. it's, 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 it's such a terrible it's time. Terrible. It's terrible. It's <laughs> all terrible. Aircraft again tomorrow. They're crafting again. <laughs> Well, the good part about it is he's he's pretty much built, right? The leveling part. Yeah, I don't. I think he's like level sixty something. He can't actually put it on yet, but or he's seventy. I don't know. So he might be hitting seventy. Maybe. Not I don't bad. Know, that won't take you long. We'll we'll get we'll get him up to eighty. So he can wear his little Andy's visage. Is he? Yeah. I think I've given up on my uh, on my basic idea. I don't. It's okay. I mean, I just can't figure out why it does no damage to bosses. It's really it's weird. Hard. I walk through the dungeons like like the monsters aren't even there, but then I get to the boss and, and the boss is just like, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Would that make your poison creeper retarded even more than it already is? Well, the general gist of it is, is if I go with a, a scaling poison build, I could potentially get some absolutely crazy poison damage. 
can't use that. I'm kind of curious how well it would work with um, just run like claw. Like, just do Claw as a basic skill and just focus on Claw and then scale the poison damage up as high as I possibly can with hey, Andy's. I mean, Andy's would be my AoE poison, right? Mm -hmm. so. I've never seen what a, what a poison Nova looks like. I don't know. He doesn't really have much of a graphic in this game. Because you know the D2 poison Nova will hypnotize you. <laughs> I was hoping it was the D2 poison over, but it doesn't look like it. Though. I was trying to explain it. Hey, Ginger, you recorded yeah, first yeah, video. That's what, ha <clears throat> that's what happens when I get two infinite pools. Just decimate the hell out of them. Ginger, when you make the video on it, can you do like a slow more recording of the animation in it? Like a little. Yeah, I'll have to see if I can get the animation kind of going off. Good lord. The Banished Lords is the overpower city, huh? Oh yeah, it goes up to 120 times. It's insane. Yeah, it's amazing. If you're doing an overpower build, there's your there's it's your pretty much required. Yeah, you can't really take it off. You got an 80 and a 108. I mean, it's free overpowers. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these blue roses. I've got enough now where I can have them soldered together. I've got four of them, and I can make them <laughs> like brass knuckles. <laughs> That's right. The blue knuckles. That's what you call them. <laughs> you call them the blue knuckles. I need more time. Way down yonder on the blue knuckles. Never knew what the muddy water meant to me. I'll figure something out with it for sure. <laughs> Man, the piece of the ice does not drop that number that often. Kind of crazy. I'll be there in just a second. I'll see if I can get my cut to the bone. I got a couple of forgotten souls now. I'm gonna spend them as fast as I get them. <clears throat> Is that one of your passives you look for on your amulet? Oh yeah, I need cut to the bone. Bad. Yeah, I always on my on my rogue, I always look for the impetus. I won't even look at the amulet if it don't have impetus on it. Good little passive. Usually get up to like three or four on it. And she's like level seventy four now. I don't know if she'll ever be as immortal as Sparky, though. Well, I didn't. Sparky's... I didn't roll cut to the bone. Got to like three million, but I rolled twenty-two point five percent movement speed. So whatever. I need the barrier generation with the Sork is just completely. This is a decent little amulet. It's it doesn't have any passives on it, but it's actually not a bad amulet. I mean, check it out. It's actually a pretty, pretty decent little amulet for uh, for just what it is. Build breakers. Got a level 35 Hoda barb I'm building too. I mean, it's got a lot of DR on it. Armor, DR, whole nine yards. Hey, 70. Yeah, they don't... <laughs> it's not exclusively Varshan, James. It's just more likely that you'll get it from Varshan. Haha, <laughs> 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 make you do all the dirty work. You gotta evade in, you gotta evade in! One mil four, Man, one mil four, one mil four, me one back. mil four.
ants. Ah, ring. Good damn it. Oh, damn rings. Rings. Rings everywhere, Speedy. That looks worn. I can fix it. Does the max resource number will that roll go up when I upgrade it? Yeah. Yes. So the you should. The one I've just looked at had a seven it. on it, which is kind of a me. It goes up to like twenty. I hope I get twenty, man. I'm gonna uh, go. I'm shot. telling you, man, it is it is hard and it is sad. This is the difficult time to get I that. Wanna, <laughs> go I'm still I'm Lilith. still struggling. I want to go one shot, Lilith. Ooh, I will say, you, I have an 18 on me, and I've been able to, at least with the build that I have presently, before the crest, obviously, I was able to almost one-shot her, you're able to get her down to just below a quarter of the health in about two seconds. And you're running combo points, right? Yeah, but that's about as far as I've been able to get her. But I did kill her on the first phase, and then I started damaging her on the second phase, got her about half health in about four seconds. And then she nailed me, and I died. Yeah, that mechanic kills me. I, I, I do it about five or six times, and I start wanting to beat my head on the desk, so I just quit <laughs> usually. Yeah, it, it's all 100%, at least with my build, dependent on that that pool for my infinite poison imbuement. If I can spawn that, it's over. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm That's great, down. man. I got, I got a freaking amulet for my barb when he comes up. Figure out what I want to do with this blue rose. Speedy's going to get a grandfather. That's what's going to happen. I got him the bolts for my rogue. Speedy, Sweet. speedy, speedy. It's a bottom roll on the damage, though. The special power. Where is sure what I got. Hey, sorry, back. Hey, Ginger. Slicing up the sparky spark. Slicing you wanna, up the spark. You want to see a magic spark. trick? Watch this. Impressive. I'm look at your gear. What you got on? A times sixty God Slayer. Look at you and your hacks. <laughs> you need a better Tal Ross's iridescent loop, sir. You need to get to farming your Varshans. Varshans. I'll put on a friend line. Man, it is so beautiful seeing them bleed. Yeah, that's why I like this poison build so much. It's very pleasing. And yeah, the dots are lotto. insane. I got, I got another Rang. You got a Ryan. Hey, an X Files. Honestly, I think X Files is insanely good. It really is. It's a very, it's a very freaking good ring. I got you more jewelry. Than if you're than any, sales, if huh? you're any kind of dot build, it doesn't matter. If you have dots in your build, like you should probably put an X Files on. I got a, 
Max rolled X Falls in those 60 runs, uh, Daryl, we did yesterday. Nice. Like, it was like almost every single stat. The legendary stat was completely maxed, and then every stat but one, and it was only off by like two stats. Yeah, the, the explosions like, are so nice. And since you're rolling, since that, they, you're rolling that right now on your uh, rogue, since no, they scale to whatever you're using, your all of your scaling effects actually work on the X Falls. So it does a lot of damage. Like if you're a bleed build or a shadow build or whatever, poison. I'm pretty sure my poison wolf will be using a an X Falls. Yeah, the the only problem with using it is almost every aspect that I have on now is kind of necessary. Mm -hmm. So re replacing them is very difficult. I either have to lose toughness or lose a very important part of the poison build. I mean, what it so. comes down to is like um, AoE versus single target. I think X Falls just works really good for AoE though. Whenever you're doing dungeons, you know, yeah, like I think you're trying to do good, nightmare dungeons and stuff, that's when it gets really crazy. I mean, you can just keep it in your inventory and swap it back and forth for bosses. Yeah, that's what I was doing for a minute. I was doing that with the, um, the Shakira's dagger and set of bracers. I gotta find yeah. that too, man. I need the con I need the condemnation too. I hadn't found one of those yet, but oh, I'm on I've... level seventy three or four. Find <laughs> some Roshans, man. Get some eggs. I, I rolled a 925 condemnation, but every damn stat on it is the lowest roll possible. <laughs> oh, man. This is very disappointing. It happens. Well. And then you get those level 600 items that have just unbelievable stats on them. It's like, what? Huh? Mm -hmm. oh, the condemnation I have now is like a 919, and it's, it's rolled pretty decently. I haven't found one better than that yet. I've been seeing the procs. You just have to pay attention. It basically looks like an explosion when it happens. So when the when the X Falls explode or happens, it's very obvious that it happens. I've tested it on my fire, my bleed barbarian, and so far also the uh, shadow necromancer. It seems to work really well. Yeah, the build I had before this, I was using the X Falls, and also the I think the the banished talisman. It was interesting. I did a lot of damage with it, but it was I don't know. Couldn't get it up high enough. Uh, same stupid bounce again. Then moon stuff. Moon, 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 moon. Moo, moo, moo. You got another God Slayer? 54, I think it said. Nice, grad, Steve. I just got an Andorial's Visage, too. I can't lie, Andy's, every time we're I in see the Andy's Helm on the ground, now. I'm my heart races a little bit every time I see Helm. <laughs> helmy, Helmy, Helm. I get a little pitcher patter inside. When I saw the two-handed sword on the ground, I knew there was nothing else it could be. <laughs> right. <laughs> he doesn't drop any other unique two-handed swords. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. <clears throat> oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> I think I must have finally, uh... Are y'all already in? Given, given Duriel the old whip, whippity do. Are y'all in the crevasse? I don't think the resets happened, or did it? I tried to I reset it several times. Somebody was still inside. No, it's inside. There you go. There we go. Getting rid of shit. <laughs> Incoming Shaco. He's doing it now. 
It's doing it and doing it and doing it. Wow. Doing it and doing it and doing it now. Grandfather's got a pretty cool graphic. It's like a black sword with like metal blade edges and then it's got like a gold. gold got some ridiculous paint. stats on it. I know that. Oh my god. This is right. Yeah. It does have ridiculous stats, that's for sure. I, I can't believe how much all stats it has. It has a 108 all stats. Comparatively oh, to a regular item, it's only six, like, I think 84 is what the max roll is on a regular item. Correct, correct. So it's like way better than a regular item. It's kind of insane First, how but... much stats I have right now. I have 677 decks, 664 willpower. Yeah. 530 intelligence and 941 strength. Chris, are you getting these mats actually farming that, man? That's a lot of farming, isn't it? Yeah, it's a mix between that and a little bit of, like, merchanting. Wait. Whatever works. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty effective. A lot of the boss runs are actually pretty expensive, so if you if you got a lot of money, it's not too hard. But there's a lot of farming, though. It rules a lot me out. Of farming. Yeah, it's, it's more like you do the farming and you passively make a little bit of extra money with it. And you you, you just get the materials that way. Like It's a lot faster, but it's still you ain't so kidding. much farming. <laughs> so much. I bet. Well, it paid off, Mr. Double Chacos. Yeah, I'm not you complaining now. Like... No way. Lily's lying to me. Zyler was right. Lily was wrong. I'm going to yell at Lily tomorrow. What's wrong? What, what do you do? I, I think all in all, we had saved Wait, Zyler was right? Around, around yeah. 120. Wow. What was Zyler right about? He needs to know. Zyler? He was right about the tradery. Uh, th it's like a 3 to 1 ratio for eggs to shards. And I can farm shards like nobody's business. I need to start trading for eggs and just only farming shards. I didn't realize there was a tradery. Oh yeah, it's a big market too. Yeah, I tradery is a market. Yeah, every more. day, and the most I can farm is like three sets, and I know how to play this game. Yeah, that's what I. That's my. That's what my mind is thinking. It's like, my God, how in the heck did you farm all of <clears> that? <throat> it wasn't just me. I also had like three other people help me too. So it was a lot of everybody's collective effort. No, yeah, that's that's kind of how we've Thank been doing it too. Is we just we've been running them as we get them though. So yeah, Thank like, them for like me as well. Oh, another, the, another the two ancestral people we played helm. with. Two ancestral people we. Helm. Um, the two people we played with last night. They they prefer doing hell tides, and I like God. the blood harvest, so it works out nicely. I think the blood siphon is the funnest thing in the game right now. Yeah, I love those blood siphons. I, we always, any time any of us find one, we always. They get pretty intense, man, after you stay in there for a minute. Oh, yeah. The suction becomes a little more harder. <laughs> what a what a really well-rolled freaking um, two-handed sword, but, like, it, it, so I'm, since I'm using Grandfather, I can't, I wouldn't even. Yeah, you may as well, you just look right as, on past well that just, slot now. Might as well just throw it away, but look at that, look at how well it rolled for. For like a DOT build. How does he, uh, I saw you found an Azure Rat the other day and you just kind of went, meh, are those not very good? I, they're pretty The rare, problem is, is that the proccing effect only goes on core skills. If you could, if you could get a, a Ring of the Starless Sky, I feel like Azure Wrath would be worth it. If you could spam a core skill. But the problem is, is that the effect that they give you is only on the core skill. So... You're, you're stuck. Do they follow the D2 motif and make it a really fast attack speed? Um, I don't remember. I bet it does. I mean, I could link it for you. I'm sure I got one sitting in my stash. They put attack speed on the item, but it's not any different than any other sword in this game. Yeah, they just put that little whatever that little cap is, like 1.2 or whatever it is. Here it is. There's the, that's the best one that I've found so far. The Azureist of Wraths. It's a really, it's a really good rolled one. It's a, it's a perfect roll on the cold damage. It's perfect roll on the attack speed. 
It's nearly perfect on the non-physical damage, perfect on the core skill, and the only thing that it rolled bad on was the crowd control damage. But other than that, it's like, that's I don't think I'm ever going to find a better Azure Wrath than that one. What is it in, in, in D2R, it's a phase blade, right? Yeah, it's a one-handed sword, so that's what they made it into. Um, I mean, if I get a Ring of the Starless Guy, I will totally set up a like a core skill build, and we'll see how we can make it work. Like, I, all because all I'll probably need is the Ring of the Starless Guy and maybe one other resource regenerator, and I could probably set up an Azure Wrath build. Put like Andy's on there, kind of like Leon's doing, do like multiple elements. Get like the berserking one for the fire. It's but the thing is, is you've got to spam a core skill. Right. I, um, I would assume my, uh... that double swing would be probably be your best bet. Yep. So you just do double swing, and then um, spam double swing as much as you possibly can. So the Hoda bar, we're, we're stacking overpower, right? As much as possible. Yeah. Yes and no. I've got a little. I've got a young Hoda bar that I'm building now. Overpower easily. is an additive thing, but you do get like over two thousand easily. Um, but it, you, damage while berserking is probably the most important side in any bar build right now because they gave us extra scaler. Nice. That's what I chose. That's what I chose for my ultimate was the berserking. I don't like the the call of the ancients is all right, but it seems kind of weak compared to berserker. Right. I, I, I am kind of curious yeah. how Iron Maelstrom works with uh, Grandfather because it has that 40 times crit multiplier on it. I mean, I, that's the one thing I haven't done yet. I haven't done like an actual ultimate build around ultimate damage where you actually try to build the ultimate as strong as possible. I mean, well, there's a crazy, a, uh, there's a crazy strong bleed on Iron Maelstrom, forty-one thousand three hundred eighty-four. It's one hundred twenty percent bleed, and the fact that it has the crit on top of there. What kind of cooldown? Oh, 30, 36. Everybody 30. ready? You could probably put that power in there that reduces that by twenty percent anyway. Your vampiric power, if you're trying to keep that up. I mean. Keeping it up is usually good. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, keeping it up is usually good. That is right. I can't keep it up. But... I got a problem. I need time to do that. I'm almost 60 and I haven't. I haven't. 56. And I haven't run into that issue yet. <laughs> Level 60? <laughs> Did you just call your age a level? <laughs> I'm almost 60. My, my, I'm 56 years old. Good level level 60 was funnier, though. <laughs> right, you ain't kidding. <laughs> my wife keeps yeah. asking me when, I, when I'm going to grow reach up. reach level 99. I don't know about then. <laughs> uh, I'm about to reach 100. Here we go, boys. Oh. Come on, baby. They don't like it when you grow up anyway. Yeah, mine tells me all the time, ask me when I'm going to. And I thought, damn girl, you've been asking me that for forty years. <laughs> no, I mean they Obviously don't they don't never. like it. They don't like it when you grow up anyway. Yeah, you go act serious for like two days. Watch. She'll she'll ask you to stop. She'll be like, I don't like it. You're so serious all the time. <laughs> You wouldn't like me when I'm not gaming. Why are you so serious? You don't joke Wait, around me. like you used to. You think I'm joking? This is straight up. That is straight up what will happen. You're no fun anymore. You didn't slap me on my booty this morning. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> 
Every time we spawn right here, those maniac Khazra people come right here. Oh, yeah. I guess they're fought. I yes. guess their people are dragging them in here. Dude, uh, no, no, they spawn right there. Yeah, that's yeah, that's where one right of the there. mystery chests are. <clears throat> Sit here and get ten levels. <laughs> Ginger, did you do the do? Did I do the do? Yeah, that's what, it's, that. it's reset. That accept button, it's reset. Oh god, don't do that. Uh oh. Somebody's not here. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. You better hurry. I pulled a, I pulled a classic uh, D2 move there, and like when you do Trav and you actually go into the Durance, and that waypoint's real close. I just went right back out of it like an idiot. One point seven million bleed that time. Surprised he made it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He convulses when he dies. Ooh, 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 ooh. And boots. Uh -oh. uh, I forgot to. I forgot to throw away my items from last time. I ain't got the room. Add <laughs> <And> room. <laughs> my bags are full. So what ultimate are you going to try and scale, Leon? I, I don't think I'm doing that build anytime soon. I was just referencing what you were saying the, about the Iron Maelstrom. Some of the ultimates are hard to scale because they don't... Ultimate skill damage doesn't apply to them. That's sad. Cataclysm could be fun. Yeah, I love Cataclysm. All right, I'm waiting for my melted heart of Salig. Am I? Am I bringing a stylus guy? Then I can make my builds that um, nobody can make. I need Doombringer and I need Grandfather. Like thing. all you need is <laughs> yeah, all you yeah. need. <laughs> Right. right. Put on a grandfather, a doombringer, uh, a melted heart of Saleg, a ring of the starless sky, a shako. <laughs> Just a few runs of Durial and you'll be all set. Just a few <laughs> runs of Durial, you'll be fine. It'll be fine. You'll get it. Don't worry about him. Don't you worry about a thing. I gotta check this soul brand against mine. It's a twenty percent soul brand. It's funny as as much as soul brand drops most of the time, it's not good. Like it's always like a nine percent. I don't even know why you would put that thing on unless it was a twenty percent. I feel like that modifier kind of has to be twenty percent. Otherwise, you're not going to bother putting it on. It's like half the fun. Yeah, I tried it out. It's interesting. I like last week. Not for me though. I mean, the potion barrier thing is actually a lot more powerful than I think a lot of people realize. I know. That's what I'm saying. I kind of tempted to kind of make so it, a barrier build. If you if you read it, it basically tells you that it gives you double whatever your potion says as a barrier. Mm -hmm. So if you got 1,274 mm -hmm. like potion, it gives you, you know, 2,400 or 500 and Way whatever. More. Like it's like it's it's a pretty hefty little barrier just for spamming your potion. Mm-hmm. And of course, you get the twenty percent damage reduction attached to the barrier too. So, the health is actually worth more than what it states. 
So your potion actually doubles in value, and you get a 20% damage reduction on the doubled value, which means you get um, even more than double. I don't even know what the hell that would be. Like, <clears> if <throat> I ran my potion right now, it's what... Uh, so 1,274 times 2, um, and then plus 20%, basically. So you're talking about, like, a 3k barrier, effectively, per potion. I think the yeah. coolest part, though, is it's that if you have a reliable source of barrier, you can also get a 20% damage reduction on all of your other barriers, too. So if you're running, like, a, a constant barrier build. Yeah, I tried, uh, what was that? Temerity. Uh, Temerity is usually the pants I run with for the clearing, like farming for boss materials and stuff. That one I kind of liked a little bit more than Soul Brand. Works pretty good well, with the I would undying assume... power, where you where you can get a lot of leech back, and you can yeah. basically over overheal yourself. But I would also yep. assume that um, Andy's visage would work really well with it too, with the life steal. Yeah, I just pulled that out of my storage. Out of the, and that, um, that undying off. that undying power is crazy <laughs> on, on, the, on the on the rogue because she attacks so fast. Everybody here. Or... I'm not sure where Speedy went. <laughs> He's probably selling stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to sell anything. I'm just going to run by my stash and dump it all in there whenever it, the need arises. I've been throwing legendaries Lunch. out still. I've got a few more legendaries I can dump. Oh, five sessions of a fool. <laughs> <laughs> I should make just a quick I'm little running. YouTube video on scrapping the oh, Harlequin Crest. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Probably get some likes on that one. Definitely oh, some views. Goodness. I don't have any likes. Maybe a lot of views. Not oh, dislike. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, that'd be funny. I'm back. boots speaking of 10 ball 12 wait more that I can buy another x balls no couple I mean, more gonna... I don't know it might not be terrible it rolled a uh, 11 of 13 for the Max oh, yeah. gold. Nice. And you still got the upgrade coming too, huh? Mm hmm I don't know. It might be right around the ones that I have. Good Lord, there's frickin' frack again. Oh, yeah. They live pretty, pretty good piles of, What's up, Critic Cow? Pretty good little piles of gold. Throw me, there, a, though, throw me a friend's <laughs> invite and I'll see if I can get you. Need something special? Hmm. I need more time. Yeah, Shaco Luck was taking the somebody that got <laughs> two. <laughs> Where's your Shaco, yeah, Speedy? Did you get a Shaco yet? Back, Not back, yet. Back, I got all, everything else and then reaches. Uh, crown, flickers. Did I reset good. it yet? I yeah. don't even know. 
Uh, I don't think so now. Okay, reset. Are you reset? Okay. Resetting. Uh, um, yeah. Somebody hit the button. Every once in a while, I'll look up here and I'll see a little note that somebody was slain by the environment. Hey, thanks for the follow, Yeti esque. Dude, it is like temerity plus uh, t freaking Andes and uh and the undying power together. Heck, you could throw in freaking um, Hemomancy too, because that heals you as well. You just got like infinite barriers running. It's pretty nuts. Be nine twenty five by the time I finish. Infinite. Yeah. Oh, I'll think of Yeti. Yeah, it's I uh, stream on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Um, I also, believe it or not, I'm streaming on uh, Twitter at this particular point. I don't mean to jinx myself, but I honestly, don't remember the last time I died. <laughs> Right about now. <laughs> I didn't even know you could stream to Twitter, but so uh, yeah, here it is. I think I think the last time I died, Ginger, was whenever we all three died from that blood blister the other night. It popped, and all, me, you, it was me, you, and Chunk dead. <laughs> Half the time I died of the blood blisters, I don't even know they're there. It's like they're just ready, ready to pop, and I'll run up, and I'd be like, "Hey guys, what's up?" Yeah, they'll destroy you too when you get up in those eighty-five, eighty-six, nineties, like we were doing. It's like they're meant to one-shot you. One shaka laka laka, two shaka laka laka, three shaka laka laka. How come I can't see you guys? Am I in a different instance? It says all of you are standing right yeah. here, but I can't see you. It's weird. And Did then you just com you just completed the dungeon. I think he went under and died from a dot while he was buried. <laughs> That's really freaking strange. You guys just did it just did it without me, I guess. I was standing right here next to you the whole time. That's gonna yeah, right be another, gonna be another see fight. You. It's probably so a game see, bug. See, see a dot just going to see Let me try teleporting probably, to I, I, one of I, you I, that's in there and see if the loot's sitting yeah. on the ground. Oh, look. Now, there you now are. I can see you guys. Any loot? loot? I guess I missed out. Mm. Ah, that's a shame. That's really weird. Your dots were on the map and everything. Like, I saw you on the mini map, but you weren't. I couldn't, find, I couldn't actually see you guys. <laughs> that was really weird. We had that happen once a long time ago in Season 0, but I thought they had fixed the party ending up in different instances thing. I just say I have never experienced that with people I usually play with, so I don't know. We had I've it a couple times, like back when the game first started. There was one where it happened that was really weird, where literally we would go into the instance, and it was the two of us, and two of us could see each other. But then we couldn't, the two of us couldn't see the other two people. And then when, when they joined the instance, it would boot us out of the instance and then put them into a completely different instance. And then at hmm. some point or another, we all managed to join the instance at the same time and we're all standing there looking at each other, but two of us couldn't see the other two because we were, we both gotten put in different instances. I need more yeah, it's pretty bad. We could not figure out how to fix it to save our lives. We ended up, uh, I think we had to kill the sigil I need time to do that <laughs> and game's definitely got some bugs okay well I can see Chris apples now Good. and Sparky Sparky you have blood shooting out of your armor I want you to know, know that I... eventually you're gonna die from blood loss 
I broke down and spent ten bucks. Ten bucks on the battle pass? Yeah. Oh, you don't want to buy the fifty dollar horse? No, I didn't buy up ten I think it was ten dollars and eighty one cents, but but you get some pretty neat stuff. I don't know, they got some cool stuff on here this time. I think the pets are really neat. The uh, polar bear cub seems really cute and all, but you know when he grows up, he's going to eat your face. Yeah, you can find some pretty cool little trophy things, too, to put on your back. They're like 1,800 platinum or whatever that it is. I'm probably done spending for now. Ah, who's attacking me while I'm in the man -yes? Where's the hoochie armor? There was a hoochie armor in here for the girl. Oh my god, they got a My Little Pony horse. It's called Little Lady. I might want to damage the boss. About to die. What? Where's the boss? Oh, he's around. I backed off on damage. Just in case. Is this because you're down here? I don't know if... You don't do damage if you'll get any drop. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, amulet boot drop. Melted heart select. Melted heart select. Oh no! It that that vanished, Lord Talaman. It's a one twenty vanished, Lord Talisman though. Can I always check that? See if it's better than mine. I got one saved up, just for. For to do jinx. All right, so you got six grandfathers now, right, Speedy? I need time. <laughs> no, just Emma's. Uh, uh, you're gonna, gonna, you're gonna sep septuple wield. I heard you were gonna be the first septuple wielder of the of the grandfather. That's what I heard. <laughs> Man, I need That's to compare sad. these. I got quite a hey. few of these ridiculous Spanish lords talismans. I need to compare them all and see which one's the best one. Four point six crit. That's pretty good. Uh, that one's got 11 resource. Nah, the 4.6 crit, that's like the best one. It's nice. Sorry, I suck at resetting the dungeons. Did I reset the dungeon yet? <laughs> yes, you did. Yay, yeah, I did. We're down here, so you can teleport to me if you need to. I am teleporting to Sparky. Teleporting Sparky. All right, we got Sparky. We got Crisp Apples. We're missing a Speedy. He's not very speedy today. Three seconds. Three seconds in Australia. Settle down. Settle down. You're right there. Ba na 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 na. Okay. Someone else using it? Okay, let's see. Swing, 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 swing. Million, 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 million.
Yeah, died Ariel. Give me a melted heart to stay there. That is not a melted horse say like that is the oh, best yeah, horse yeah. talisman. And, and, and. Oh, <laughs> Level 99, Barbarian. Got some pretty ridiculous necro cosmetics there, too. Pretty sweet. Did you see? Did you see the kid Baphomet? Kid Baphomet is the best. I actually really like the focus that comes with Kid Baphomet. It's a really awesome looking focus. Oh, is that what that set's called? Hmm? Is that, who's wearing that? Speedy, you wearing the, you're the Necro. That's pretty nice, man. I like your cosmetics. What kind of cosmetics to. Speedy have? Speedy got them doll hairs. Room, some Looks like one of those like Jeff Dunham's puppet <laughs> Peanut um, Peanut the puppet <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's make this the last run for this one because I'm at so done <laughs> Yeah, Ariel's visage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got Andy's visage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't expect that at all. No, no, no. And Crisp Apple's got two Harlequin Crash Tacos. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm full up for now. I don't know. That grandfather times 100 crit multiplier is insane. It's insane. It is insane. What'd you say? Rub it in, rub it in. Who are we missing? Oh, they're speedy. And sparky. Shing, 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 Yeah. 
Hey, the ring. The X Files, the Signoto. The Blue Rose. <laughs> okay, this is my last run as my match done. It's your last run. I'm pretty sure Crisp has like a million more. He probably does. Crispy sandwich. The crispiest of sandwiches. They're so delicious. I'm gonna go for a crispy sandwich. It's called a panini, sir. It's called a panini. Tomorrow that's what I'm gonna order. A panini. Still brand, what is that? It's a very interesting piece of armor. Two silver rounds. I need time to do that. One point four, seven point two, eleven, seven and five, seven and six. Should be good. This has got some upgrades, a ton load of upgrades on these runs. Spanish Lord Salisman, three of them. What three melted hearts of Salig? What what? Three banished lords tell us this. Built reset? Heart of Salag. Yep, it's reset. Okay, reset. I got a lot of videos to make. <laughs> I gotta make a Andy's Vistage video and a grandfather video and then I gotta make a, a video. I guess I could make a video on how lifesteal works in Diablo 4. Alright, here we go. We're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to figure it out. Well, at least you got the training coming now. You can do whatever the heck you want there. Yeah, I'm gonna play around with it and I'm gonna see what kind of percentage it is. So like I'll let my HP just sit there, take the undying off, just like you know, bring the HP down, hit the monster like one time, see how much damage it does, see how much health it heals. We'll figure it out. It won't take too much work. The main thing. Um, oh, hell tight, how much I love you. Man, he didn't even make it in the ground. Poor guy. The chest. He didn't even make it into the ground. I'm so full of do janks now that I have no choice but to sell between every single run. You got a Shaco and a Doombringer today, Anthony? Congrats. How many Uber Uniques can you wear at one time? That's the question. on the build. The basic build I was just playing could probably wear at least. Five. <laughs> sure. All right, we were, I have a brand new build for you guys. It's called the Uber build. 
And uh, <laughs> it requires five uber uniques, guys. Five uber uniques. Just a few Duriel runs. Just a few <laughs> Duriel runs. You gotta get the Doombringer. You're gonna need a Grandfather. You're gonna need an Andariel's Visage. Oh, and you're also gonna need a Melted Heart of Salig. And you need the Heart and of Ring of the Switch. Guy. <laughs> build is ready. Now this build is gonna be so overpowered. You guys are never gonna know what hit you. And yeah, when you do bosses, you swap on the Shaco too. Honestly, yeah. I'm noticing a trend with the super uniques, and I know I'm joking about the the wearing five super uniques. But you notice that like all the super uniques give you massive amounts of HP. Oh yeah. So here's yeah. here's my thinking. Run all the super uniques, full rubies, on the barbarian, then go with the um, the scaling tough as nails, which gives you or uh, which one is it? Oh yeah, the outburst, which gives you 765 maximum life or thorns for each point of maximum life you have, right? And then also uh, grab the passive, which increases it by three points on the amulet. So then you end up with level 6 Outburst, um, which is... I think I actually have an Outburst amulet sitting on me. So that would be... I'd have to pull three points from something real quick. Hold on. Let's do it. Let's check it. That would be... Uh, did it even... Does it go up? Yeah. Hey, 1,837 thorns... Oh, it doesn't increase the amount per HP point, though. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. But hey, if you had enough maximum life with from all those sources, I mean, that would be kind of nuts, right? <coughs> Could easily hit like 20, 30k life. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Doombring Doombringer gives like a ridiculous amount of life, too. Are you kidding me? Yes, 30% more. Yes, it's insane. So no, between maybe. the between the two thousand two hundred ninety two on Harlequin Crest, the four thousand five hundred eighty four on the Grandfather, and then the thirty percent increase on the Doombringer, you're talking about like a butt ton of HP, and then just deck out with rubies, and then grab every like max life node in the Paragon board until your barbarian has like fifty k life. You're not telling me twice. And then man. just sit there. <laughs> and then go in the PvP zone and watch all the Sorks ball lightning try to gank you and just kill themselves. <laughs> like, oh, what's happening? My ball lightning build doesn't work. <laughs> Does anyone else have enough eggs? Oh. Oh, we're waiting on. Um, oh, on one? We're waiting on Speedy. Oh. Hey, Speedy, come, in and come on in here. Yeah, have you got enough shards to make it. An egg make one one? Yeah, I think Crisp still has like 25 more runs. I don't know, something like that. Oh, shit. Uh, 66 of each left. So half so of that. 33 so 33 runs. runs. We still got 33 runs left. So come on down! Hello for the newcomer. What's up, Hungdo? How's it going, Hungdo? Level 87 to 93 to farm the mats I had. I was like four hours a night. Who are we missing now? <clears throat> Sparky? Where you go, Sparky? You leaving us? Shing, 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 shing. Orangey gods is on his side. Alright, ready to go. Ret to go. Shing, 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 shing. It's my favorite version of the arrow too. <laughs> I just love how the um the basic builds sound. Like how I don't I don't know what it is about just hearing the swords just go as fast as you possibly can. It's great. So much fun. 
it's 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 mesmerizing. And the and the ramp up too is is honestly amazing. Like you're just sitting there listening to it go shing 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 it reminds me of some sort of anime where the character keeps like complaining that he doesn't have anybody to actually fight against and he can't unleash. And like, so every time you're fighting like regular monsters, you're just like, ching. And you're like, oh, okay, he's dead. Oh. Ching. Oh, oh, no, wait, he's dead. And you can't spool up, and then you finally get to a monster that you can spool up against, and you're like, haha, <laughs> finally, a monster that I can spool up against. He's like, what are you talking about? You're really weak. You hit really soft. You're like, just wait. <laughs> what is happening? That's all tier 100 butcher. He thinks he's got you. In the back. <laughs> uh, what build is this? It's a completely new build that I dreamed up today. It's basically just... Go back down quick. It's a basic bill barb, but it's not a frenzy barb. It's a basic flay barbarian. It the entire thing is built around flay. And it works pretty darn well. It works pretty darn well. Not gonna lie. Did I reset it yet? No. Nope. Hit the reset button. There you go. Reset Ahoy! Frankie, season two is way better than season one. I could yeah. totally see though if people wanted to wait till season three because season three has the leaderboards coming. Um, but you will miss out on the Avatar of Zir because I don't know if that's actually gonna like follow into season three. They said it was a seasonal content, so that could be gone and when season three happens. They're testing it. They said if people like it, they'll bring it back. They just they want to see if, how people react. I still need to watch the video on the, the, the information. Did it look difficult to spawn? Like, what was what was going on with it? The Avatar? Yeah. No, you get it as part of the season journey. Once you completed your season journey chapter thing. Uh, you, you get your first key, and then you do it, and then you get another key. And kind of leads, like, in a... Wait, I gotta complete the season journey? Oh, yeah. Yep. I haven't done that yet. Well, there you go. Aren't you glad you talked to me? <clears throat> is it every single step from every single thing, or is it just complete it? Complete it. Okay. Must oh, we reached good. 18 Screw. reputation and a blood harvest. Yeah, that, one oh, that was that was easy. I got that done on, like, day three. I did a lot of blood harvest. Equip eight ancestral unique items simultaneously. Oh, okay, well, I can do that. Hey, Leon, you want to get in on some of these, man? You don't gotta tell me choices, dude. I kill every dirty old that there is. So I'll one, kill this last one right three, here, man. You can take three, my spot. I'm about four, to fall out of my chair. Five. All right, dude. I can do. I'll kill hey, you. Chris, I, pre I appreciate every dojank and every run, man. I uh, we can well, we were hoping to get you a dojank, big pimpin. We were hoping to get you well, a dojank. I got doo tons of dojanks, man. I, I appreciate <laughs> it. But did you did you get this uber dojank, though? That's I got to vaults, man. I mean. <laughs> You just get on here, dude. I'm here every day. Suck to me. That's fine. I've been uh, working on my rogue, trying to get her up where she can come in here and do things with you guys, too. She's she's only level 73 or 4, but she's pretty nasty. A lot of us run Nightmare Dungeons. Probably you can get her up faster if that's what you want. If not, yeah. Fun. Yeah, honestly, the, um, the Durial runs, too, if you want to bring... Too. If you want to bring her in for some Durial runs, sometimes you can get 925 gear. Level 60, yeah, you know, so juicy. It just it, it scales to your level, so it's a really good way to get some power bumps early on. Am I ready? I'm ready. I'm ready.
You know, strangely enough, man, I haven't found an Oculus yet either. I usually find a couple of those. Be some ice cream. <clears throat> Oh, I'll go underneath the dirt. Yeah, die, punk. Spill your guts on the floor. Ugh, look yeah, at all them guts. That's a lot of guts. Flame. I think that's another flame scar. It's the only thing it can be, I think. Honestly, right. flame scar seems pretty nice. I was using it with my incinerate build. and I mean, yeah, it's incinerate only, but it's actually not bad. All right, man. Well, I enjoyed it. I'm going to bed. You will. Leon, you're, on, you're on, man. Have a good one. I man. appreciate it. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, well, good. Leon can be the, the person who does the resets now. Leon, you better not go in there and oh. find it. <laughs> uh, I, I may have hit the wrong button. Fair. I'll give you a I may have hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come back. Hey, I'm in the loading screen. I don't know what's going on. I'm just loading. I, boot, I booted you. <laughs> Instead of promoting you, I booted you. Would you like to return your own world state? Okay. I booted you. In the world's boo boo? I need to go to my stash and put on all my unique items real quick so I can finish that one part of the thing that I never did. I need more That's got to be the silliest season journey thing ever. Put on all your uniques at the same time. Like, wait a minute, they're not yeah. really all that great together, but... No, the, yeah, the build was, would be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that works exactly, but... I mean, I guess. Uh, here, there's an ancestral. Um, what else? What else do I got? I need a. I need an amulet. Um, another ring. There, did that work? Did that count? Yes, avatars might. All right, good. I gotta remember what I took off. <laughs> Why did it give me crude sapphires as a reward? I don't understand what's going on right now. It gave me 39, 37 crude rubies, 29 crude amethysts, 29 crude sapphires, 29 crude skulls. Is that level one? Like, what's crude? Is that like the base? I think it is. I mean, I just deconstructed them. Okay, thank you. Okay, there you go. So I finished that one. What else do I got? I think one more and I got this finished. It says, oh, I gotta get a glyph to 21. I haven't gotten any glyphs to 21. I could also do the open multiple health hide chests. I'm surprised I don't have that one finished, though. It requires... Wasting your your stuff on not steel. <laughs> oh, you just gotta open up like all the chests. Basically, <laughs> everything. Just annoying. Mm. What's up, Leon? Got you, with my big miss. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Hork -a -hork mode. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. Oh, the, the bleeds are too much. Herka jerk battle, Jenny. Did you die, Speed? Yeah, we did soon. Sick. We already. Um... We are waiting for you, Speedy. Oh yeah, I, I had my stash full and... Oh, I, I know. I know the the woes of the Duriel runs. <laughs> I put on oh, I know. Rise on my non-basic. <laughs> this is how you get 
this is how you you fill your entire inventory, and then you have no room for anything anymore. I only had like seven run dual ones or eight, and I thought, yeah, hey, that'd be enough. All right, there. Yeah, I, th I thought clearing my stash like completely would be enough for like fifty runs. I was very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've already cleared my stash completely like four times now. I'm glad I did too, Christian Christensen, because if I didn't get Uber Uniques, I was going to turn into a pillar of salt at some point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I with 925s. <clears throat> Alright, Leon. Stack up. And show you the power. The power of the stacking. Wow, did he not even charge? Did we somehow trigger his escape without him even charging? That was weird. I've never seen him dig before he charges. He always charges and then digs. Hey. What did you do to him, Leon? Mm -hmm. You're the only thing that's changed. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Uh, what did you do? First hit, the first hit was 104 mil, okay? Just 104 mil. It was just a little tickle. I don't think he liked that very much. Mm -hmm. Hit him after he charges. <laughs> but we can kill him quick. Can't help it. He just he has such a big face. Grant in. I need time to do that. I gotta make sure I'm deconstructing all my items. I'm hoping to get <laughs> forgotten souls. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got one. There should be an option to convert like abstruse sigils and stuff into forgotten souls. Once you get like your characters all finalized, like your gear and everything, we can farm a lot of forgotten souls. That's what I've been doing lately. Is the game good playing alone? Yeah, you could totally play this game alone. You, you don't have to play with anybody. I think it's more fun playing with friends, but I mean. There's, there's definitely, um, even if you don't play with other people, it's definitely nice to be in a group where you can chat with other people, even if you're just doing stuff by yourself. Like, ha having a group to chat with, even if you're just going to run everything by yourself, is makes it a hell of a lot more fun. And plus, you can do stuff like this. They kick Leon into the wall. <laughs> what kind of necro are you running, Speedy? Uh, blood surge overpower. Oh, okay. Fancy. That's the fancy one. Fancy one, is it? <laughs> Seven mil kick. Ooh. Six mil kick. Poor guy. All the bleeds got him. Poor guy. Oh wow, a time 60s Tora uh, Tushkelm of Joris the Mighty. Wow. I'll have to, it's got a really high max fury roll too. I'll have to check that. 
Check that against mine, see which one's better. Looking for bad. They gotta bring it with Tristan back, right? Once uh, all the bosses are in the game. Uber Tristram? Yeah. I think, it, I think it would be fun to have a place where, like, multiple bosses spawn and you gotta fight multiple at the same time. Yeah. I'm thinking they should do fun stuff, like the world boss, even. Like, that, instead of, like, the world boss coming out, it should be, like, ten butchers. Just, like, ten butchers just coming out of the Ashava <laughs> puddle. Dude, you know how many people would die? That'd be so good. <laughs> it would be great. It would be great, too. Imagine hardcore. They're like, yeah, we're just gonna go do the world boss. Ten butchers, fresh meat. See, I think that's oh, just, I think that's what people want is stuff that's just completely unfair like that. Yeah. Or wart and squirt. More time. I think they should up the chances of how many butchers can spawn. <laughs> Jimmy Jams has got a good he's got a good suggestion. He said one is the butcher, and he's like a real big one. And then the rest of them are butcher's pupils. <laughs> yeah. Brings a whole new meaning to the term fresh meat. No kidding. Ching, 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 Banished Lords Talasmano. Talasmino. Critical, vulnerable, close. Stop. And that was like a eight second kill. <clears throat> oh yeah. We got some damage rolling out now. Everybody's got all the Ubers. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, <coughs> standing in that little spot makes it really easy, too. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was a bit teleport. Redo, redo. Put it up there. It's optional. So great, pick it easy. I'm slowly filling up. It's getting worse. I don't like it. I need more time. Jesus. <laughs> the hell kind of ability do you have? I'm about to be a people. Uh huh. You scared him. That's what you did. You didn't even okay. kill him, you just scared him away. 
<laughs> he was over there, like, crying in the corner. He said, boah. I ain't taking that. <laughs> he said, that boy just hit me for a hundred mil. I'm running. Yeah. A hundred mil. I only got 200 mil HP. His chicken mod kicks in. <laughs> That's literally what it is, isn't it? That, that it is. That's what it is. His chicken mod kicked in. You lie, boy. I don't wait too much damage. Bye. It's going my hole. Bye. I ain't playing this game no more. So. Secret butcher level, just all sorts of butchers. Yeah, do it. Let's do it. Some fun stuff. Come back if you need the forge. I need more time. How about a secret quill rat level? <laughs> oh, I'm just down. Filled man. with all elite quill rats. With poison enchantment. With poison enchantment. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. That doesn't sound. That's that's. I think I'm the devil, actually. <laughs> I might be the devil. Sorry, guys. Turns out I'm the devil. I didn't know. Okay, I didn't know. How about the secret gloam level full of gloams that shoot lightning? Yeah, bring gloams. Bring them. With dolls too. Gloms We're introducing a new monster type called Gloams. <laughs> Your favorite. They have lightning penetration. Oh, that was a big one. He's dead. Oh, um, be careful. That was a big one. He's dead. <clears throat> he didn't even get to go under the ground, he just died. Yeah, I watched all of his health just immediately drop to nothing. Mm, he did. <laughs> he did a dead -ed. Hey, I finally got my rupture uh, aspect I've been looking for for forever. We're all good. The one that makes it so that rupture doesn't consume the bleed every certain number of seconds. How to roll? Nineteen. I think you want the lower number, right? Nineteen. It's not not the greatest. I mean, it rolls between twenty and fifteen, so well, it just means I can at least get one free rupture off without consuming the bleed, which is nice. I'm gonna go put it on my gloves. I guess I'll lose my uh, exploiter's aspect, which is the times 40 multiplier. How can I help? Kinda sucks. That one does work on bosses, right? <laughs> I need more time. What, the exploiters? Yeah. Which one is exploiters? The times 40 multiplier if the monster is unstoppable? Uh, I don't know. I really don't. I've been told different things about that. Oh. I've been told it only works if they have the icon above them or whatever, or it shows they're unstoppable. I kind of want to try to. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this one on real quick. Hold on. I'm going to put this aspect on the gloves. Give just a tea. I want to see how this rupture thing works. I really wish they hadn't made this an aspect and had just kind of like put it in there, but whatever. It's a lot of free potential damage. I mean, you're talking about basically double damage is what this thing gives you. So when it activates and it doesn't consume the bleed, you basically just get double damage. Oh, wow. It's a... Uh... It's a lot higher than I thought on a on a pair of gloves. That's pretty terrible. So 
So once once every thirty seven seconds, I can get a double damage rupture. I need more time. Yeah. I mean, the, the rupture hits really hard. I'm not gonna lie. Like when it pulls off all those bleeds, and then it and then it applies them as a a hit, and then it can crit too. So it can like crit or overpower. I've seen it hit really dang hard. So it, yeah, it, so you, it is a really nice hit. And you're only gonna need it once on a boss, probably with the damage. You're not gonna need it more than that one like. Well, it's hit. also nice to use rupture because it has the um, increased attack speed for five seconds. It's nice to. It's, it's nice to use that. Poor guy. He said, "F that, I'm out." <laughs> he does. You seem to be messing with his uh, messing with his phases or something. <laughs> I think what it is is uh, is we put a lot of dots on him. So here's what so here's what I'm thinking. You gotta hold off on your big hit, I think, until we get Sorry, until we get our dots. And then once we get our dots running, then then you can just smack him in the head and finish him off. Probably speed it up a little bit. I definitely need to find a better one of those ruptures. The lower the uh, cooldown the better. One. That's like the first one I've found in a while. I need time to do that. Three gods slays in a row. That's not. I'm so like interested in this freaking like HP bleed thing now. It's good. Hmm. Items should bring your interests into the game. Hmm. Hmm. I just turned to Chunky for a second, said reconnecting to Diablo. I'm not Chunky. Don't do that to me, Diablo. It does that every now and then. It's See, weird. They completely underestimate old content because if they just created the same exact map from Diablo One and just gave us like the town cellar or the you know the, the under the cathedral, people would totally run the cathedral. They'd be like, "Oh man, you want to run the cathedral?" I mean, we're gonna be running Trav, and I bet you people are gonna be farming Travical. I hope they bring ruins when Travical's there. <laughs> Dude, Trav is gonna be fun. I hope they have the the council there. They better have that council. I, I mean, I know we technically killed the council, but <laughs> Bartok is one of them, right? Because that's the claw. But they're yeah. demons. <laughs> Demons come back, well, right? it's actually interesting. I was researching Bartok's cutthroat, and um, I don't think it's actually his claw. I think it, the name it actually means it was something that was used to kill him. Because you know, all the council members are demons, so they must have been like resurrected or whatever. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Uh, bleed, 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 Items. I pick him all up. I don't have to room no more. Speedy's probably filled up all his stash tabs at this point. <laughs> Welcome to G4. Lord. I don't even know what to do with none of I mean, I'm going through the items as fast as I can. 
Yeah, I'm trying, trying to make to. sure I pick out the good ones and the bad ones, but looking for aspects and checking for dojanks. Oh. Taking my list, taking it twice. Gonna find out who's got some rice. That looks warm. I can fix my All these dojanks. I'm starving too. I'm gonna go get something to eat after this. About a sandwich. A, a sandwich. A sandwich. Sandwich. I'm having a sandwich. <laughs> Speedy's all the way down in Australia. It's probably like dinner time for him. Oh, I've had over he's there. in the he's uh, in the land three, down under. It's three three p.m. So more of a lunch. So how, how, so speedy, I have a I have a very Australian question for you. Mm hmm Okay. How is um how is little little crocodile Dundee Jr. doing down there? Crocodile Dundee Jr. <laughs> uh we're we talking Owen or His son. His son? Yeah, his son took over his like family business, right? And he's playing with crocodiles and and, and all sorts of other crazy Irwin, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's doing stuff, but it's not the same. He's gonna, if he's not careful, he's he's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what they said about Irwin too. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was always playing with the dang crocodiles and stuff. I think honestly, the fact that he died to one of the like, <clears throat> uh, gentlest really? creatures on the earth. Mm-hmm. It's crazy considering how many like apex predators he plays with. He played with on a regular basis. Yeah, because he doesn't listen. It's like well, the thing the thing is, is you you know how many people have actually died to like two manta rays or stingrays or whatever, like in the entire like f four decades or something previous. It was like three. No idea. It was like exactly. three total. Yeah, because it was like right. a one in a no. million to his heart, if I remember right. If it's, if it's a wild, if it's a wild animal, it's like messing with dingoes. I don't even People think the stingray they did it on purpose. I think it was just yeah. completely accidental. Some I'm, people over here they mess with dingoes and they don't realize it's the equivalent of like a a jackal or wolf, and you inviting it into your camp to eat food. It's like, mmm, stop messing with him. And they say hi, and I'm just going, uh, that thing's going to kill you. The bolts will. <laughs> like ice. Some tri reses. Anybody? I don't know. Those are, those are only for me. Ah. Mm. <laughs> That's really fast. <laughs> Crisp Apples is still here. He's like, he's like, I already got my two Shacos. All right, I'm trying to go home. <laughs> <laughs> it's like luck, right? Uh, but for real though, I will be going to bed soon. Though it's it's pretty late here. I already got my two Shacos. That's right. <laughs> but I am down the run. The rest of the runs tomorrow. If y'all are going to be on. Yeah, I'm in some... Oh, I'm not at work. I'll be at work tomorrow. That time you will probably be about the same time today. Yeah, it'll be night 3 a.m. for me. I mean, you are in two very different time zones. Because <laughs> it is like 2 in the morning for me. Yeah. Same. Two. <laughs> yeah, I got I, I gotta be up in like I don't know six hours. Oh, you need some sleep. Uh, you want to see my gear? Yeah, yeah sure. Here, I'll, I'll hover over each piece, and you can go back and pause and stuff. Right? <laughs> Man.
you go. So inside. Yeah, we're down under speedy. A three second lag is weird. <laughs> You reset? Yeah, we're, yeah we're in here. We're ready to go. Shit, my bad. My bad, attention. <laughs> okay, I ran away. And he didn't even make it down the hole. No hole for him. Oh! <laughs> Ambulance sword drop. Come on, baby. Could be. That's an oh, could be either one. Come on. Was it? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, it's an Azure Wrath and a Banished Lord. Boo. Teasy tease. Boo. Teasy boo. Boo tease. Boo tease. I think so. Man, that could have been a, a Melted Heart of Sayleg or a Doombringer, and it wasn't either. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's a very interesting concept. Uh, <laughs> you just got you a really Griffin's got Eye. Me. Nice walking, dude. Those things are rare as crap. We were just talking about the one of those the other day. We were like, somebody came in, and they were like, oh, man, I got a shackle on my first run ever. Like, I can't believe it. Oh, my God. Like, is this thing any good? <laughs> like no, no, it's terrible. Just give it to me. It's just terrible. Just throw it, throw it right in the garbage. Right in the garbage. It's terrible. And I'll pick it up later. And if you see me wearing it later, though, don't. It's 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 nothing. I like garbage. I'm a garbage. I'm a garbage man. Uh, that's a <coughs> that's a pretty decently rolled little sword there. The agony saw. No, man. Hmm. <coughs> Dying. <coughs> Dying, guys. <coughs> That's it. It's from Reem. It's your third Griffin's Eye. You sound like you sound like you, you shush walking. You shush. Third Griffin's Eye idea, Dan. I needed a Griffin's idea of them all last season or season five and freaking never got one. So, so pooey on you. How about that? A pooey on a Yui. Nice. Seems like you got the timing down right, Leon. Yeah, just gotta wait. Just gotta sit there and hold, hold my uh, Gatling gun, hold my cannon. Fiddle. You're, you're basically dropping a nuke on him. A nuclear. <laughs> Gatling gun doesn't really cut it. No, 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 no. That's a cannon, okay? That's not a Gatling gun. That's a cannon. That's a cannon. That's an actual cannon. The cannon? If you were, if you were, uh, what's his name from Final Fantasy VII with the gun arm, you wouldn't have the Gatling gun arm. You would have the big, the big single shot like cannonball the size of a head. <laughs> what the hell was his name? I can't remember all of a sudden. So it's with a B, Bear. What? Barrett. Yeah, Barrett. Yeah, Barrett. It was B. I knew it was B something. I'll come back if you need the forge. 
I always liked having him in my party. I thought he was pretty powerful. <clears throat> I also really liked... You know who else I really liked having in my party in Final Fantasy VII? Eris. <laughs> I remember the first time I played through, I decked her out. It is such a troll. You get all that equipment for her, deck her out, freaking materia her up, level her out, get her ready, and then she dies. And all your work is for nothing. <laughs> You're like, well, if I knew that she was going to die, I wouldn't have leveled her up. What am I going to do with all this gear now? Into the disposal canning. Uh. <laughs> yeah, this will probably be the last run for me, fellas. All right. All right. Now we're getting, this is when we're getting the Doombringer. Let's go. Doombringer, 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 Doombringer. We got to do a dance for the, this has to be some kind of sacrificial. Get a little do. Get down tonight, doot, 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 get down tonight, doot, doot, doot. Right, Everyone throw a shake on the floor. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Speedy has one. Yet. We have two on our first speed. I don't want to throw my shake on the floor. I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> it might disappear. I can, I can throw my spare one on the floor. <laughs> you gotta go sacrifice the <laughs> spare one. <laughs> Oh, you got to tease your friends when they log in and be like, oh man, I don't know what to do with all these shakos. I don't know if I'm going to go and tell them. They're going to be upset. <laughs> That's funny. I've got so many shakos. I don't know what to Just put two of them on at the same time. I mean, is it really, would it really be that hard? Or just, well, just every, cram every, one over top of the other. Every now and then when they do get on, one of us usually does that. Like, oh, hey, by the way, I got this. Or like, oh, yeah. Okay, show it in chat then, and then nobody ever does. So nobody ever believe it's going to believe me, even if I did tell them. I'd be like, hey, I got two Harlequin crests or whatnot. Okay. I'd be like, oh, ha, 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 you're so funny. Oh. Alright. <clears throat> I didn't think it's got him back to back. Million four, million four, million four, million four, million four. <laughs> oh, he died. Poor guy. That's nuts. That's so much damage. Well, same area, and they don't like me. They won't Poor give me a shot. guy. Another Tusk Helm. God, I got so many Tusk Helm. I, Another need, to, I, need, to, I need to compare all these Tusk Helms with each other and see which one's the best <laughs> Tusk Helm. There's like five Tusk Helms in my inventory. Ooh. It's amazing how good the Tusk Helm is that you still consider wearing it. It's like, it's not good. I mean, you get a 15 times multiplier for each time you berserk while you're still berserking. It doesn't say it has a cap or anything. And the Maximum Fury and the Attack Speed. I know the Maximum Fury is really nice. I think that's going to be the main main qualifier I think to determine which one of these stays and which one of these goes because I think the uh, percent chance for it to happen isn't really all that important because it seems to happen often enough anyway especially when you have like multiple right. ways to spam berserking so it's really just about the maximum fury roll and the attack speed roll which is also really nice if I had the Forgotten Souls, I'd just upgrade them all. But I didn't. All right, yeah. fellas. Well, it's been real. Thank all you, right, man. Speak. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate yeah. it. Freaking oh. three. I owe, you, I owe you three Uber Uniques now. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> right, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> see you again. Good to see everyone. Nicely done. I think 
I think it's this one. I think this is the best rolled one out of the lot. It's not bad. It's 12 Fury. Uh, three ranks of aggressive. It's 13.5 Berserk Ink and 7.6 attack speed. I think that's the best one. Like, by far. All the rest of them are kind of garbage. I mean, I got this one, this one, this one, and this one. And they're all kind of they're all kind of bad by comparison. One of them is upgraded, so it looks a little bit better than the others. But I'm pretty sure that this one is once it's upgraded will roll better than yeah even the five for sure. You're right. Yeah, it's definitely like the best one. Yeah, and so I'm pretty sure that's like the best one. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy the rest of these. My bad, just kill me. Thank you. Fun, so yeah, hopefully you got a whole bunch of really good could do jinks. Oh yeah, a lot of nine twenty fives. It's oh yeah, yeah, and I've got the pants, the wing, the amulets, all those. Only thing I missed that was the helm, really, which would have been nice to get. But yeah, it would have been nice yeah. to have a shock over I've your head, been, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Would have been nice. Everything else is would have been would have been nice. Twink, twink, twink. All great stuff. Baby. Thank you. I'm gonna empty my stash. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Alright, man. <laughs> have a good one. Get some sleep. <laughs> He's too so excited to sleep, man. He's got so much to do. I know. He's got so much loot. And how is he going to sleep? We're going to be dreaming of it. Yeah. I'm not. I'm... Dreaming of loot. Dream, dream. Dream. Oh, dream, dream, dream. Dreamy, dream. Can I sell aspects to the NPC? Because I'm tired of this one aspect that keeps coming back to me. It's like a boomerang. Let's go to the testing, da dum dum dummy. The dum dum. Well, see how high I can scale my bleed damage on the testing dummy. Doesn't really matter, I guess, since freaking monsters like Duriel are dead within. It's it's kind of nuts having the the bleeds tick like that. I, need more time. I mean, you got to think, and if it's blink ticking once per second. At, at like one to two mil per second. I mean, that's literally like 10 to 20 mil in 10 seconds. Which is not bad at all. I need more time. Let's see how high I can scale this. So the rotation is Berserk, Kick. Rupture. Ooh, 7 mil rupture. Wow. 2 million 800,000. 3 million bleed. For a second there, I was at 3 million bleeds. Holy Jesus. You want to go play with Lilith real quick? <laughs> we can. Let's go, let's go bleed. Let me go bleed Lilith to death. I want to see how it scales up on her. I figure three million a second if I can maintain that. Holy Jesus. That's thirty million in ten seconds. And it's just gonna continue while she's off the screen and she loves to be off the screen. <laughs> That's like her favorite activity. Yeah, you're probably millions. Kill her in less than five seconds, five, six seconds. I'm sure you can, like, freaking one shot her at this point. Oh, yeah, I could. I need more time. Just dies. 
I just kind of want to see what it's like on her instead of just the, like the regular training dummy. I'm higher level now too than when I killed her last time. I was 96 when I killed her before. So she's got less of a galing on me. How much health she gains if I'm in here? Let's Don't see. matter. Let's give it a try Can anyway. I'm kind of interested to see. I mean, she is literally about to bleed to death. Oh no, I accidentally ruptured her. Is she gonna spike? Is she gonna spike it? Oh, she might spike it. Oh no, spiky spikes! I was on the whole wrong side of the map. Oh no, she did it again! I thought I was good. Help me again. I messed up my rotation a little bit. I should have waited. I, I noticed with her, like, you don't want to dish out a lot of damage right off the bat. You kind of want to wait a couple seconds. So I'm going to build up my rotation first. Then hit it. Anyway. This face is better. Reading the test. She doesn't stand still on this wave either, but at least she, she bleeds to death. Let's see if you can burst her health down here. To the point where she doesn't do the thing. And she's gonna she's gonna spawn him. Uh, probably the two player health. Right. Oh yeah, I'm sure the two player health is is a little bit. <laughs> Ghosty I've never boy? actually, I've never actually seen the mechanics. The ghosty boys. Yeah, yeah. the ghosty boys. You gotta run from these missiles, dude. They hurt. They hurt so much. I want to kill they... them. They look. It looks like I should kill them, but I'm, I, I'm fighting. I'm like fighting the urge because they look like blisters that you're supposed to fight. You're supposed to kill them. I not kill them. I'm not killing them. I kind of want to see this last mechanic too. The the claws. She's about to do it. Eh, it's evil. So you just basically just run around in a circle. Yeah, and then she does a slam. She's being killer. She dead. Yeah, yeah, she dead. She dead. She dead. Oh no, the screen went dark. She didn't drop any loot? No, I think she only gives you loot the first time you kill her. That's I don't weird. think you can farm her like, That's for loot. That's really weird. <laughs> yeah. Her, her whole system is just weird. That's really weird. They don't modify her into some of the end game farming. Like, give you a purpose. Even if she just drops materials, maybe, or something. I don't know. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm so curious whether or not scaling the... Like I, wanna, I kinda wanna try this one more time with Amethyst instead of basic skill. But I don't know. I really, I really, that's, it's an odd situation and I don't know mm -hmm. whether or not one is better than the other. So let's try it one more time with the, uh... Oh, I'm missing. I'm missing a gem. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing one in the new sword. I never put one in the new sword. Because I'm an idiot. Sword just been rolling with no gem this entire time. I am curious to see whether the DOT is better than the basic for this build, since it's very heavy on the dot. I mean, it's extremely heavy on the dot, right? Mm. Talking three mil dots. A little bit of extra percentage might go a long way. Of course, I also get that 160 times multiplier from the basic. But 
I'm also getting the, um, uh, what is it? From Gushing Wounds, I'm getting the 115 times multiplier as well, so it could, it could roll either way. I don't know which one would actually be higher. It's testing. It's gonna have to come down to this. Kind of a test, though. Coming. Sometimes she does these random spikes at the end, but yeah. I think they fixed it in the last patch. It was in the notes, something about the random spikes happening. I'm trying to reset my berserk before it uh, before she spawns. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can get it up to. Oh, that was good. I'm still getting the, uh, I'm not quite skipping that, the phase with the little orbs. Ah, oh, I was too fast. I was too fast! I mean, the damage is there. I got ghosty bushes, I mean. Oh, she's doing this like, oh she's no, she's this got like. the little, she's got the little thingies. What are them guys? Oh, there's two up. There's they look like sharks. Thing. Yeah. She's already dead. She's just, yeah. Ghosty boys, don't you touch me, ghosty boys? Don't touch me, ghosty. What are you doing, Wolverine now too? Stop, stop, stop doing mechanics. Just stop doing mechanics. Stop doing them. This is great. I guess this might be better tested on the uh, on the doll, because I wasn't really paying attention to any numbers at all. <laughs> well, let's go test it on the training grounds. Let me see what damage, uh, what bleed numbers I could push this up to. I mean, the damage seemed comparable, one way or the other. I don't know. I like the basic because you're buffing both the melee hit and the dot. Because your melee hits are still critting for like what 400, 500k, just like I the don't melee. Know. Yeah. For for the on for the frenzy barb, it was a lot, but flay doesn't seem to do as much physical damage as it does bleed damage. How much resource are you at? Um, all right, two twenty-two. Okay. Pop, you should pop the resource elixir. Oh, that is numbers. Uh... So I think the basic is better because it, I'm hitting like two mil. I was able to get up to like 3 mil with the basic. I mean, it definitely seems like the the DOTs are doing something. But I think the problem is is that um so Flay's damage I think is is getting multiplied nicely by the the bleeds, but I was actually thinking about it. So Berserk ripping is based off of your physical damage. So that's that's going down because I lost the basic damage, and then also the expertise for the sword is based off of the direct damage as well. So yeah, it's yeah. It, the basic is definitely better. Yeah, the basic is scaling more. You're getting like more out of it. You're double dipping in some aspects. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was worth testing. I am still streaming, Jen. It's only been like seven hours. It's my job, okay? It's my job. I gotta put in the hours. I gotta put in the hours. Precious stones to catch the light. Come and see. 
Okay, well, I was missing a basic gem, so. <laughs> okay, okay, I was missing one. I was missing one. I gotta actually make one, because I don't actually, I didn't actually have one at all. Get in there. Stupid. Stupid peewees, peewees. All right, let's try this again with my added basic gem. Ha ha ha! That's a whole 10% uh, or 20% basic damage skill damage which I was missing. Which multiplies. Let's see what I can get it up to now. What do you think? Three mil, four mil? I was able to get three mil before. Definitely easy three mil. Four mil probably would come if you get your resource up. So first I start like this. I hit my berserk kick. That gives me the majority of my damage bonus. I tap a rupture, hit another kick. And then I went back down to one mil there. 1.4, 1.6. The Berserk bonus definitely gives me more than a lot of the other stuff. That was an 11 mil rupture. That was kind of crazy. The crazy thing is, is like if I do multiple, the X-Files kicks in. And you'll see the X-Files just, like, annihilate the other ones. The truth is out there. Oh, yeah. I don't know, the AoE damage on this thing is really nice. Like, I gotta admit, between the X-Falls, the Overpower procs, the, like, I think there's another, I think Rupture has, like, a a pool or whatever. What is it? Uh, ripping your weapon. Yeah, it causes a bleeding damage. Five seconds. Ten times for every 50 strength you have. Let's try again. A rotation. Button press, rupture. Hmm. I don't know, once this thing gets spooled up, the damage numbers that start popping up are crazy. Like that was 3,700,000. I don't know where that one came from. I think that might have been a... Um, that was another 2,200,000. 1,900,000. One million nine hundred thousand, another like a five hundred K overpowered crit that came out of nowhere. And then the crazy thing is it just keeps ticking after I stop. Like massive amounts of damage. Let's try the boss dummy. This is multiple bosses. That's kind of cool. Oh, you can do that? That's cool. Yeah. You shush it, QS. Yo, mama's boring. How about that? You're ready for the five butcher fight. <laughs> <laughs> What makes them pop the health potion and heal? They just do you it. Just stop attacking them, I guess. I'm kind of curious how high it gets up to with no modifiers. So let's let it go off here for a second. 
So let's just say I'm attacking, no modifiers whatsoever. I just do anything, I just hold down the button. Just hold it down, don't do anything else. How high is it potentially gonna get? Oops, I didn't mean to let go. It's up to 800,000, 900,000, a million, million two, million three, it went back down to a million. So it must be based on like my crits. It's going back up again. It's like, I guess it depends on what my crit chance is. Yeah, the gushing runs has like And whether or not I'm getting my attack speed bonuses, like that sort of stuff. And then I start popping in modifiers, get some do jinx in there, hit some ripping. And then we're up to 2 million two. Kind of falls back down again. It's pretty crazy though. I wonder if I take out, um, I was actually thinking about this one. It's taking out Hectic. Um, I don't know if I necessarily need it. And instead putting in, uh, uh, which one is it? Uh, Prey on the Weak instead and see if Prey on the Weak works. I need two Ferocity. Can I get two Ferocity? I cannot. Hmm. Do I have extra of something? I do. I have like a million extra chalices. What the hell? Where are all these chalices coming from? Your mom's a chalice. I think the vulnerable multiplier would help out a lot. Yeah. You're missing one multiplier in your ring too. Your ring is not bad, but you're just missing one other multiplier. Oh yeah, I'm missing I'm missing some stuff. I mean I basically just converted this character over, so Yeah. It's he's right, guys, he's still using goodbye. mostly the same gear. All right, acid strike. Dude, it's crazy when Ravenous procs, and like, you can tell when it, it falls off. But most of the time when Ravenous is up, it's like, oh my god. It's like, give me all that attack speed. It's so glorious. What are you, so what's the yellow numbers are you seeing? Like for your actual just playing melee hit? Um, I think that's the proccing of the uh, Skullbreakers. So every time it stuns at any point, the bleeding damage gets solidified. I mean, that's why I was kind of thinking of running um, that stunning aspect, but aspect of the anemia, which gives you a 30% chance to stun enemies for two seconds. Maybe it doesn't proc on the bosses, I don't know. Wow, that was like a mil six AOE hit. Did you see that? Mil eight? Mil seven? I think those are the overpower bleeds. I think whenever I get an overpower, I think that's what's happening is I get the bleed. That's cool. Because that's the gushing wounds. Like, you know, every time you overpower, it does a... Um, yeah. What is it? Uh, Thirty-one thousand nine hundred and ten explosion. I'm curious. Try Three switching mil. your uh, keystone. Try to switch your keystone to the berserking one, just for testing. Okay. I'm switching.
Not getting anywhere near as big numbers. 400,000, 200,000. I mean. So it's definitely scaling it, right? Production wins is certainly helping. Oh yeah, I mean it's definitely scaling off of gushing wounds, that's for sure. I mean I'm still getting pretty decent damage with the berserking, but nowhere near as much as I'm getting like with the gushing wounds. I mean right. I'm, I'm topping out at around eight hundred thousand without gushing wounds. But with with gushing wounds I'm topping out at around like three million sometimes. I mean that's good to know. I mean, I feel like there's ways I could add more damage in. I'm also kind of interested in this. I know I'm scaling with Tabalt right now, but... I kind of just want to see this. Alright, you ready? I'm going to hit Iron Maelstrom. Let's see. Five hundred thousand. I was like, I think it was about five hundred thousand bleeds coming from Iron Maelstrom. I mean, I could just use it dead flat and see what happens too, but or we could just do this. Here, hold on. An idea. Let's wait till it resets. All right. So, three, two, one. About 25,000 damage bleeds, multiple of them. Yeah, I mean, it's alright, I guess. I think the Berserk is probably the better one for this build. Yeah. The Wrath of the Baz the Bowserker. One thing I was thinking was um, the injured enemy thing might be crazy with this build, too. Just don't know how I could sacrifice the points to put them in there. Or where I would sacrifice them from. You probably don't need that extra crit from immobilized and stunned and no mercy. So the crit thing is interesting. I was thinking I didn't really want the extra crit, and then I was looking at how Gushing Wound scales, and it says that when causing an enemy to bleed, you have a chance equal to your critical strike chance to increase the bleed amount. So the multiplier that comes from Gushing Wounds only procs based on the percentage of my crit. So the higher, no, my, the higher my crit, the higher the percent chance that I'm going to get that multiplier, which, I don't know. It's very conditional, though. I and mean, they have to be I guess you're doing a slow but it's only for the first while well, they're healthy it's a conditional crit that's all are you running the fortify power that gives you 8 percent crit while you're fortified um, because I think that's eight percent flat crit, no condition besides being fortified. Which one? It's called. It is called Sanguine Grace. It's just a takes a chalice and a skull. Vampiric. Oh, it's a vampiric power. Yeah. I'm not sure if I can put a vampiric power in. I've got uh, Flowing Veins, um, Ravenous, I've got Undying for the heal, Moonrise, of course. No, it's running Prey on the Weak for the 12 times multiplier. Okay. Actually, actually, I can get that up to 16 16, times yeah. It's yeah. not leveled up. It's not leveled up. There you go. It's leveled up now. Let's try again. And three, four, kick. 
ruptured. Wow, with like the AoE freaking ridiculousness that's going on though. Do you see those like hit everything on the screen for like 2.6 like mil like pulses that just keep happening? Those look so cool. They're kind of ridiculous. That's kind of how I thought Andy's was going to be, with, but with Poison. I mean, I could throw Andy's on. Let's, let's throw Andy's on and see what happens with Andy's. I should have lots of procs with Andy's. See, now they're all poison. The Poison Nova looks really bleh. It just looks like a green little, little thing that comes up. Oh, I just caught it. I just seen what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like a green. It's not really all that amazing, but you can see it happening all the time. Like it's it's yes. pr it's pretty steady. Yeah, I wish it was like the D2 one with all like the little it's, bolts. And... It's definitely something though that I would want on a character that's actually scaling poison. Either that, or it's just like if I just needed the poison effect. Throw that on the druid. I don't know. This character is pretty steady, though. I mean, he he does lots of damage. He's pretty dang tanky. He can handle pretty much any boss. I mean, he's, he's about as solid as you can get with the kick in there. He can pretty much just, just like knock down an entire group. It's great. Are you keeping unstoppable? Up? I do think, um, yeah, I, I try to keep a stop a lot between the two berserking effects. I got the Rallying Cry and Wrath of the Berserker to try and keep it up constantly. Let me try something here, though. It's an idea. I don't think Harlequin Crest is the best damage. I think Tusk Helm is. Uh, where's my Tusk Helm at? Oh, that really nice one that I just, I just found. Let me uh, upgrade this real quick, and let me try it with the Tusk Helm. I think I think the Tusk Helm is probably going to be better damage, less less survivability, but more damage. It's my hunch. Yeah, you have so many more improvements to make too, which is good, which is a good sign, because your neck can be more oh, damage. The, obviously, the neck was the the main issue. I can I got a neck. Stupid neck. The melted hard would solve all your problems. Yeah, the melted <laughs> hard would give me the salt survivability and thirty max resource, which would in scale my damage even more. Honestly, it's... infinite survivability there too, as long as I have resource. The beauty. She's a beauty. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, 18 max resource on this one with 6.6 .6 attack speed. It's a pretty decent roll. It's not bad. Alright, let's see how I can get with Tusk Helm. Alright. Resources at full. I mean, there's Isn't two it? mil, two point one. Isn't the Tusk Helm you liked me earlier better than the one that you're using? Has more attack sword, more damage while berserking. You know what? You're right. I think I upgraded the wrong one. Ha! Ha, ha, ha. Way to go. Watch me not have any Forgotten Souls left to upgrade it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that must have been one that was sitting in my stash. Dag nabbit. Yeah, the one you had linked earlier should have a lot more damage on it. 
I think the other problem is, is I may not have activated my powers either. Yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This, yeah, this one's way better. This, that's, that's a piece of junk. That one's chunky junk. Why do I got that one? Come back if you need work. Can you just what destroy that? Let's get that out of here. Oh, no, I accidentally destructified my Harlequin Quishaka. Oh, no. I would, I would cry if that happened. Ah, uh, yeah, so Flowing Veins is deactivated. I gotta... Gotta fix the helmet. Yeah, the favoriting items could have came at a better time to just have that safety net from dropping the item. From... <laughs> or accidentally hitting all items and just destroying it. Yeah. What? It's a good thing. Very good thing. Robust oh, I, I put it in my stash when I'm not using it. I don't even want it. <laughs> I don't even want to risk it being in my inventory. Yeah, there's there's no risk. I don't want to risk it. I'm not going to risk it to get the biscuit. You can have two, like uh, crispy apples. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're fully spooled. Alright, then we hit this one, and then we hit this one, and then we kick, and then we build it back up, and then we use that. 3 mil, 3.2 mil, 3.3 mil. Oh yeah, I definitely hit some numbers there. Three point three mil bleed for a second there. I don't like taking hectic out though. I like being able to spam all my do janks. Another the other bleed we're seeing, the smaller bleed is uh the berserk ripping. I would imagine. I'm not sure. But I saw like the two point eight, then I saw also at the same time like a six hundred K or something. So there's like two going on. I mean there's a lot of bleeds happening. Look at the X Falls go off. The X Falls is, is crazy. Like, you can just see it. I'll just, like, attack a couple times. And you can just see the x falls proc. And whenever it procs, it's just like... Yeah, there it is. One, two, three. <laughs> Four, five, six. It's crazy. I don't even understand. It's just, like... It's like a nutso just explosion that just happens. And it chains off itself, too, which is kind of crazy. Like, you'll see it hit a monster and then cause that monster to bleed. And then while that monster's bleeding from the bleed that X-File put on it, it can cause other bleeds to proc on the other monsters. So, like, if I just attack this guy right here, and he procs one of the X-File bleeds, he can make the other ones explode. It's great. So in the middle of a battle, it's actually kind of crazy how many little explosions you got going on with this thing. I don't know, it's great for all the little small monsters, like when you get all the little spiders and all the little craps. I don't know. For survivability, the Shaco is amazing. And I think when I'm doing higher level content, I think it comes down to the survivability of the Shaco is just way too good. But the Tusk Helm certainly doesn't doesn't do poorly in damage output, that's for sure. It doesn't disappoint. I mean, for especially for like when you first do a season and you're a barb and you're like, let's kill Duriel and you just get the Tusk Helm and you're just super happy because it's that good. That you're like, yeah, I'll eventually get a shake or whatever. But that Helm is just... Just such a good helm. I'm so addicted to uh, freaking the hectic. I don't even want to. Like, I put the vampiric prey on the weekend here just for fun, but 
Honestly, the hectic one can go right back in. I I really I really like the uh, the hectic power. I just put it in on my bard right now. Well, it just it keeps the like full time you know like up up time on everything, so that you're constantly up on everything that you need. It's like a mini nature sherry. I mean, it's it's great. And you can combine it with Nature Shuri too, that's the crazy thing. I'm at the world boss, by the way. It's two minutes. Uh, I make my coffee, kill a pizza, two minutes. <laughs> Sorry, meow. <laughs> okay, meow. I'm gonna bring my Tusk Helm and we're gonna murder the world boss in two seconds. Hmm. Thank the light you're here. I don't know, it's fun it's fun playing around with all these fun builds. That's what's uh kept my interest all these weeks so far. I mean, I'm playing this season a lot longer than we played season one, that's for sure. <laughs> Justin said he didn't know Meow was here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and then the fact that they're delivering, like, a month in content is pretty cool, too. The Avatar. One minute, 44 seconds left. They're doing a lot, a lot of right things, in my opinion. I think uh, Vicarious Visions is doing a lot of right things. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I think we can pretty much just look, be like, all right, yeah, they're they're doing it. My mace could definitely be better. I think I have a better mace sitting in my stash, too. I need to go check. Could have sworn I had a better roll on the basic skill damage than that. 64.5 is terrible. Oh, yeah. At a 118? Mm. It's like half. And it's a bottom roll on the all stats, too. I mean, you do have the right stats on it. So it's, it's got hard, the right it's stats. Hard yeah, it's, it's got the hard. right stats. It just doesn't have good, the best, the best right stats. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch it through the stream again. He's. <laughs> that was hilarious. I was trying to use my last attack on him and he wouldn't he wouldn't die. Oh malignant heart, nice. He was just like uh, he just I, I I was like, oh let me see if I could use my big attack. I was like, I'll kick him, I'll kick him. I was like, no, no. He just he was already dead. I couldn't kick him because he was already dead. <laughs> oh man. He's dead. I appreciate that. He's already dead. We got some uh, parts too. Yay! You dropped me a ring of red furor. I don't need it or anything, but. <clears throat> red furor. I gotta get to work tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a bunch of videos. Yeah. I think. I gotta do a grandfather video. I gotta do some research into this Andarials and figure out how the life leech works. I have all the specifics that I can figure out. Like whether it works on bleeds or not. I could get that on camera, you know, that sort of stuff. So people can people can see it. That one's a lot of scientific more scientific. That's why I've been holding off making the videos for the longest time, because, like, a lot of the uniques have these crazy things that need to be shown off, and, like, how am I going to show them off? 
Like, what does the Andorials Visage Nova look like, you know? I did Shaco when you found it, because, you know, at least we had it, and we could test some of the more basic stuff, like, um, you know, like, did it add to passives? Right, right. Like, that kind of stuff, but Andorials is a little bit more difficult than that. I'm kind of glad I actually got my hands on one so I could... Oh, why did I do that? So I can do the, uh, do the do jinx. Oh, I'm just in time for the druid as well. Yeah. yeah. I guess I'm going to convert his build. Honestly, I think he can still be a basic build. Yeah. It would just be claw. And then scale off of claw, I guess. I mean, we both know the basic builds are the best builds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then you don't have to spend a resource, so. Yeah. I mean, if I took a look at this as it is, I mean, I probably wouldn't go Nature's Fury with this with a with a basic claw build though. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, since Toxic Claw scales off of crits, I guess it would be Lupine Ferocity. Yeah, because it's base damage. So critical strikes with werewolf skills deal 8% of their base damage as poisoning. This has a 70 times increased damage. So it would increase the poisoning. And then I'd get the... Uh, obviously spamming the crap out of Claw would make plenty of the poison Novus proc. So I wouldn't have to worry about that. Probably go with um, Tempest. I mean, uh, Great Staff of the Crone just so I get the... The storm strike additional. Yeah, you need a toxic claws neck and maybe toxic claws in and venom. Yeah, toxic claws neck. So you get six there. It'll be really nice. I guess I could go with um, the werewolf form, the grizzly rage werewolf form. You could go Resident Rage, but I, maybe it's, I don't know if it's gonna scale your damage the best. Maybe, yeah. I mean, what is it? Uh, I have that. I have that aspect sitting in my stash. I'm sure. You could go Rabies too. What's the, what's the last raid do? I I never really liked Rabies. I don't know. I don't know what to, to say about that ability. It's very, it's very uh, hot and good. Yeah. I don't know what to, I don't know what it does even. It doesn't I can't even tell it's doing anything half the time. What is the uh, I don't even know what the hell it's called. The aspect for the the wolf. What is it like dire dire werewolf? Dire werewolf. I might have extracted it then. It's very I'm, expensive to run it because it costs two aspect slots. Grizzly Rage. Oh, last oh rate. there it is. A werewolf gained 25% movement speed, which would increase my attack speed. And then instead of damage reduction, the spirit cost reduction bonus. Well, that's not really very helpful, is it? Yeah. That's... Maybe you don't run a ultimate unless. I don't remember what last rate does that ultimate. I think it makes you immune, but I don't know what kind of. Oh, what does it do poison? Mm. I mean, I was thinking about the fact, though, that you get the scaling crit multiplier from the Grizzly Rage thing. What is it, like up to 200 times or something? Yeah, it's 200% crit, but it's additive now, so it's not the craziest. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, with the basic, I'm going to be... Hitting for a lot of poison damage. I mean, I would probably use the attack twice thing so that I'm hitting really fast and really hard. I mean, with a great staff with a crone, it'd be sitting at like freaking rank 14. 
He's only level 73. He's actually pretty close to wearing the Andariel's visage. I wonder if you could do something... Remember there's that werebearer aspect that does poison damage as well? Like, I mean, that was a percentage of the poison. Like yeah, the one where you... you Yeah, you gotta use a werebearer skill and it automatically, like, consumes all the poison. You can put, like, trample into the build. Are you gonna use poison creeper? Like, are we going full poison again? Like, better? I mean, poison? if I'm gonna scale poison, maybe uh, maybe that would be a good idea. I mean, because it is probably the best poison skill aside from the claw and, I guess, technically shred. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like a bad idea to, uh, to grab Poison Creeper. I mean, you get the 20% critical strike chance. Or you can yeah, do, just the, or you can do the increased poisoning duration. I mean, if I else, let's just refund this board and let's play around with it real quick. So, claw, max out claw, attack twice. So that's, that's number one. Um, what I was thinking was Predatory Instinct 3... And then, because of Ravenous, I was even thinking maybe Digit Grade Gate 3. So that you get the 9% movement speed, which also increases the Ravenous attack speed. Um, yep. I mean, at this point, yeah, I could go 5 points in Brutal Poison Creeper. Um... Definitely Neurotoxin. Three points in Toxic Claws. Three points in Invenom. Um, I mean, we're going to need a good way to fortify ourselves. We don't have any Earth skills, so we can't go down that side of the tree. We don't need to worry about spirit, so we don't have to worry about clarity. Nature's reach isn't really important. Hmm. Well, if you're using great stuff with the chrome, then you can make use of all the nature magic stuff. Oh, so why? Because I'm getting the... Um, this claw counts as a storm skill? Yeah, so claw becomes nature magic as well. Okay, so in that case, I'm putting five points in a storm strike. Yeah, well, I'm a basic build, right? So yeah, five points in a storm strike. Probably grab the vulnerable. Still got 24 points left. Uh, Lupine Ferocity, most likely... Um, try to think here. I still got twenty three points left to play around with. Did you grab all the nature magic stuff? I think you're there now on stream. Yeah, I'm, I'm like looking. A... I'm looking at it. I'm thinking about like, because I mean, natural disaster requires that they be stunned, immobilized, or knocked back. I mean, oh, defiance is good. Residence, yeah, defiance is nice. I mean, residence gives you a small amount, unless you're swapping back and forth. It doesn't really help all that much. Right. I mean, it's okay. It's definitely a bump, and if I have extra points, I could totally throw three in there. No problem. Um, it's like, how, you said rabies is really bad. I mean, this is a, just an idea, but I know that the poison that the enemy is slowed by 8% isn't really, like, super amazing. But 
with the amount of AoE poison that I'm constantly putting it out, would it really be terrible if all the monsters were slowed by 24%? Well, you know what you should take, since you have so many points? You should take all the shapeshifted nodes at the bottom. I really like those nodes. Which ones? The quick shift and stuff? Yeah, yeah, because you can fortify off them. It gives you a lot of fortification. It gives you a lot of damage reduction. And it gives you a multiplier on your damage. All three of those are good. And you just have to make sure you're pressing a button that takes you out of uh, Werewolf, which I think you will have. Well, I got Poison, poison creeper, creeper at the very yeah. least. So Yeah. So w w that's going to take you out of Werewolf, and then you'll go right back into it, and you'll get all those buffs. The more times you do it, the better, obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have more sauce, because you can put Bulwark on your bar again, too. For help of fortify and the barrier, and that will also take you out of the form. Yeah, I was thinking yeah, about I... like a defensive skills and stuff. Um, I mean, I got fourteen points, so I definitely got some some room to work around. You should probably definitely take the defensive ones that were the passives you were just on. I was thinking the... about some of the storm ones too, since claw is counting as a storm skill. Yeah. I like Electric Shock. I think Electric Shock is an interesting one. It's dealing lightning damage to enemies, has an 8% chance to mobilize them. But then it says if a target is already immobilized, the lightning damage dealt to them is multiplied. Uh, but that's only specifically the lightning damage, so that's not really all that great either. Hmm. I mean, probably grab Earthen Bulwark. Don't really see any reason why not. They pretty much nerfed the uh, explosion into the dirt, right? Yeah, I don't even notice the damage. Yeah, that's what I thought. But more fortified. I mean, what are we looking at for skills right now? So I've got left click, claw, right click, poison creeper. Sounds about right. Storm strike doesn't go on the bar. Uh, Earthen bulwark can stay on number two. I mean, at this point, I think it's pretty much just choosing the either an ultimate. I don't know if I want to use an ultimate or not, but. Yeah, I don't know how many aspect slots you're going for, but we, we did talk about the trample thing with the bear. That's another unstoppable. I think trample gives you fortified too. Yeah, so you can get another fortify there if you wanted it. That you're at the point where you might want to even consider using the the other ring too. What's it called? The unique ring. I mean, maybe a rabies at this point might not be a terrible option. I mean, if it's just an additional poison that's working. It should be. I mean, you're building poison. I don't see why not. But I don't know. You're saying it's pretty bad. But maybe the last time you used it, you didn't do a full build. Well, they also changed it considerably. Like, I, I, there's a couple patches. They talked about what they, like, stuff they did to it. I don't know. It's it's weird the way it works. I don't, I don't know. It's I'll, I'll test it out and see how I like it. I have no clue how this character's going to work. 
Andy's Visage, though, should take care of most of the AoE concerns. Between that and Poison Creeper, I mean... I mean, I could grab, like, one point in Nature's Resolve just so I have an additional Fortify coming in. Uh, definitely grab the defensive passives. There, there's a lot of defense you're missing. Which ones? You mean Heightened Senses? No, no, no. Go, go up to where the defensive tree is, where Bulwark is. Uh, you mean uh, Ancestral Fortitude and uh, Vigilance? Yeah, the one is, like, 15% damage reduction. Against elites, vigilance, yeah. It's a lot of damage reduction. 10% damage reduction for 6 seconds, 15 for 6 seconds after using a defensive skill. Okay. I mean, this will require some interesting do jinks. Definitely need to get him leveled up if I want to play around with this. <laughs> Dariel's visage looks so weird. It's just like a weird pair of antlers for this guy. Well, I don't know why they changed the icon for every single character. It's kind of odd. Yeah, Unique should have the same icon. At the very least, the Unique click. And Griffin's eye should be a Griffin's eye no matter which class it's on, right? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Let's go test how terrible it is right now. Don't even have pants on. Yeah, I don't even have pants on. <laughs> Why don't you pants? judge my pants? Why have pants? Don't judge my pants. Put some Tabalts on it. Might as well put Tabalts on. Just sprinkle Tabalts in every bed. Tabalts is good. Just put, just put them in there. <laughs> they're not, they don't even know if they're good Tabalts. They're just Tabalts. I'm not using my precious forgotten souls. Oh, the hectic my power precious. is off, but whatever. My precious. I know what you are. I need time to I'm gonna catch you in the morning. All right, man. I'm about to hop off too. Yeah. Good day. Good night. Nah. I need time to do that. I must wait on. And the passive poison damage from the creeper is so bad. <laughs> Alright guys and gals, I am done for the nights. Oh, and our Daryl's visage. Woo! I'm gonna go get something to eat, and I'm gonna go watch some uh, Invincible. I think there's a new season of Invincible is on, so I'm gonna check that out. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals joining me for these fun adventures and being there for me when I find my Andorial's visage, finally. <laughs> and as always, keep watching.